had 20 games on Orn. Yeah. Ninety percent win rate. Ooh, that's a good one. So you guys are trying to explain that cold open, right? The Aryans. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, the whole thing is that it's meant to be subtext and people can read into it. We're not meant to like drip feed it completely. Well, I feel like at this point we've done that. <laughs> nice. Right? So we're looking to the Aryan you Orn. Stream is on too. Perfect. We're not gonna be seeing these. Everyone can hear me. Everything's so good. Nice. And so great on them that they're most likely not be going through that draft phase. But we're looking at top esports particularly. We've already dissected the fact that their top laner is phenomenal and does not necessarily rely on that jungler to actually make anything happen but the rest of this roster is just as scary yeah so top esports you know 369 coming back into this roster um where he made a lot he basically made this team if you think about yeah. it with the 369 history with it um top esports as a whole has had to put a lot of work in to <laughs> recover from last Looking year now, because if you look at these re these results from their, their golden era they expect excellence. This is a team which has done some fantastic work. They are one of the most dominant teams in the recent history of the LPL. 2023 did not meet those expectations. And now coming into 24, they need to prove they can recover that. It was absolutely a sad year for 2023. Didn't sleep yet, like waiting for the stream. Respect. Um, Respect. I just want to highlight that every single time I'm looking at these top teams, and now we are down to the, to the top three, basically. Top Esports have four members that are holding an international title. The experience. Damn, bro, that's actually crazy. Level, and I wanna hone it bro, you got three down. world champions on top that's esports level. with and three different teams. World the three different LPL winners. Along the other Each had a player from top esports. Can see the entire roster right here. Jackie three Love in 2018 with IG. So much of that experience. Ian in 2019 with FPX. And, will always be about and Mako in 2021 with EDG. But then of course Jackie Love and Mako. Hey. They hey. cannot speak enough about Bro, this team is actually good. I would not be mad if they're representing LPL. LPL and MSI. Like, I, I really hope that Jackie Love can show the world what he's made of. Because he is so fucking underrated at this point, man. I see so many, like, people just still run with the narrative of, like, Jackie Love just ints. He's just an inter. It's like, I mean, that's just such a played out narrative, man. This guy has been ultra consistent. Think about the games he was playing. He was playing games first JDG last week. We watched all the games where he's playing games where it's like Annie, Wukong, Rel. There's all all this this ability to get on him he's playing with zero peel he's playing varus and he's positioning well and outputting a ton of damage every single time this guy is so insanely good and people talk about him like he's you know like he's like a b tier 80 carry that's what people talk about him they talk about him like elk and ruler are like way up here and jackie love is like down here not true he's the goat resources but then most importantly they have the highest peak gameplay wise for years i mean dude he he's just been so good the entire split i think he's just been the eight best ad carry in lpl now, i think that blg plays better around bot side in general see the, the difference between blg and top esports is i think top esports is the best at like just straight up 2v2 laning i mean this could we, this could be proven wrong in the series i also think it's champion dependent right but in general i think top esports has been the best bot lane at 2v2 laning but blg is the best bot lane at setting things up for their jungler splitting the map diving with their jungler they have consistently in this yeah they have a really good idea of how to play the super abusive lanes like how to play lanes like ash varus with a jungler how to zone people off millions of waves damn they're just getting gifts like this bro look at this look at all these gifts they're getting god damn that many bro they get this many gifts just when they walk to the student what the fuck ain't no way bro off the LPL, and I would love to see when they're pushed to the brim, what can they come up with to get back onto track? Because I want. Look at this, bro! What the fuck? Win. I want this to be broken. They're making out like bandits. We're talking on the way to the studio. Particularly, I'm, okay. I talk about the fact that I would like to see an Ari. I would love. <laughs> the You're not gonna see that today. Sorry. To come. <laughs> True to I think get no fucking presents. I mean, I'd love to see that. Sports gets yeah, nothing. Definitely, that. definitely not an Ari, mate. No I mean, one gives these guys a present. Feels bad, man. Look at Cream. The game breaker. In fact, present list. Back into that game, got a great little um, kind of tidbit about that because Rookie also had a hundred percent win around Ari. Um, this split. He was <sighs> My goat walks like an NPC. Like I love it. Um, rookie, so, but Rookie was playing that champion for ten years, and he'd always use the same skin in Foxfire Ari. Um, mm -hmm. Knight 
doesn't really care for one particular skin, and then he went towards Rookie's skin when he played it against him, and then 1v9'd him using the skin which Rookie had used. Yes, is locked in. Dude, we might get a, we might get a fucking banger, man. I'm hoping for a five-game banger. A five-game banger would be sick right now. I would love it. And then coming away with a 1v9 performance where he was the one with all the kills in that game and went towards now. Incredible stats. 40 KDA over this year as well. It's just so important to see that this champion does not get into his hands. Career record being 47 and 7. Uh, my brain cannot comprehend. He's only played this since 2022 as well. This is not a player that's played it before that era. I mean, if you see back to players that played in Season 3 and Season 4, which we don't have that many of nowadays, you can see those numbers getting high. This is entirely since the new era of Ari. I feel like if we have to pinpoint a particular stat in this um, in this graphic, it would have to be the Magi's buy rate. <laughs> I, know you would say, I know you would sneak in a stat Optimal like this. 8-0 always buying Magi's, yep. confidence of the player as well, right? He, he buys Magi's every time. Head on these champions, I mean, the... the never, ever the thing about um, Knight that's that separates him is like people will, will be like, oh, he just buys Majai's every time. But the timing where he buys Majai's, he always buys it before like the third Drake fight, before he knows there's about to be a big fight where he's gonna be able to like maximize his stacking. Like he doesn't buy it before he goes to that side lane. That's actually like the most crucial part is the timing where you buy the Majai's because if you are split pushing top and you buy a Majai's, it's really risky. If you die, you like you have a high chance of dying because you're pushing without way. vision a lot of the time um and yeah your magi's you can just lose like all your stacks but he always buys it before a team fight where it's like this is where you're going to be cashing in all the kills and then if you do win a fight it makes the it makes the fight go from like being like oh we won by like two or three oh we got like three kills they got two to like oh now we just have an extra like 1k gold lead effectively because i got all the stacks on the magi's a lot of mvps over in lpl he's got so much to learn from him but also cream coming in as a lot of people have categorized him he's like oh he's just an assassin player however he's brought in a lot of the maids and he's shined so well onto them the karma in particularly and i feel like going up against knight you need to show that variety in your champion pool absolutely if you go back two years ago um and you said back then uh cream will be a player that plays karma and Huey and yep. carry his team from the mid lane on mages i mean they wouldn't know what Huey was back then they'd think what is that champion but uh, if you go back that time i mean they... i still do <laughs> <laughs> and that is completely valid but the thing is if you tell him that he would be succeeding on the mages they, they would say you're joking he was the akali player he played leblanc and he played the silas and, and, and whatever he was the melee only assassin player of the mid lane now he's come through and he has developed over last year and he's really become a big player for his team and we're going to find out whether or not this mid lane is what we're going to be looking at the most. Will it be the top? Will it be the bot? Is it going to be the jungle pathing Everybody. or the early game? Or is it just going to be a little bit of everything? We're ready to head into the first game of the series. So let's head over to our casters, Lyric and Mazel, to break it down. Welcome, everyone, uh, to our upper bracket semifinals. It's going to be a lot of fun, obviously. Uh, Lyric is here. I'm Mazel. And uh, couldn't be better of a duo to have a slugfest of an early game here between Top Esports and BLG. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it, it's going to be an exciting day. We have two great teams on the Rift. Again, the long time rivalries between so many top players, obviously Knight going up against his old team. We're playing for MSI already, Mazel, which it, it's weird. It feels early, this is gonna be a banger. late because a lot of other regions- Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm fucking excited, man. It's so nice to have like days like this. Because like sometimes days. when you have like the yeah, really, man, really long days where it's like, man, I got like there LCK into LPL, LEC later. Up. Like but sometimes like like the LEC streams, like the reason why Yamato, me and Gilius are just joking, we're not analyzing the game that much. Like people don't, don't consider this when they watch the videos, but it's like on those days where we're doing LEC, we have already, by the time the LEC starts, we've already been up for like 10 hours and we've already streamed for like nine out of those 10 hours. So when you're like actively analyzing the game, you're talking about the game for nine hours straight, take a one hour break, maybe you go to the gym, come back and you're going into an LEC series. It's very hard to like keep that level of super big obviously that um, game win streak i guess performance in, in anything when you're just doing it that long Green played it in all three games and there went up against jdg i'm also really looking at bot lane but like days like is this it's just there's only one the so one major thing i'm doing today like this is my schedule you know, for today bro woke up come out, right? woke up at like 10 I, I went to bed at one i woke up at 10 nine hours sleep perfect right played two games of tft with rachel got a coffee sat here going to watch the series then I go to the gym the and then I'm going to like bowling, already, so karaoke, fucking kind of restaurant, drinking. 
that's my I mean, schedule. It, that's the day. Like and then tomorrow I have nothing. Maybe. It's so you know, nice. And, and but I can put my like all my energy day, into this because everything else is just like chill. Because there have been a lot of red side bans of it so far in playoffs, but are yeah. not really being a champion that, that we would see first pick all too much again, especially with a lot of the prio being down towards those bot lane picks. But who knows? Uh, maybe top red esports have then. something prepared. Yeah, I, I'm very curious as well what the top side matchup is going to be because I feel like top side has actually dictated a lot of the recent best of fives that we've seen in the LPL. I know Flandre was having some good times. 369 has been a trendsetter in terms of the kind of tankiness approach that he can bring to it. But now we have a classic matchup between 369 and Bin, and they're going to be saving counter pick, no doubt, for a lot of these. So that early phasing is going to be towards their priority focus for the bot side. Yeah, and I, I feel like you have TS one side where it's Europe, bro. Straight up two, you like two Germany, two imagine Portugal, dude. I'm I'm for thinking about buying an apartment in Europe. I think that that's something I need to start doing, bro. Like I've been such a, I've always been very slow moving on decisions like that. Like I guess big decisions. Like I should have, I like I probably probably should have bought a house in like 2017, 2018. Once I started like actually making money from streaming, but like it took me. What until the end yeah, until 2021 I bought my house? It, it took me like three extra years where I'm just like burning money, paying rent, them, um, so and having a house was just like such a uh, thing that just increased my my like I don't know my my life. You know, it just increased my enjoyment of life. So like having an apartment in Europe is something I should just do. I don't know why I'm like so like I know it's a good idea, but then for some reason I'm still like hesitant. I'm like, oh, is it wasteful? Like, obviously can't like be in the apartment at the same time. They, I'm they trying to find one of those companies where I can like they, they purchase an apartment, but they also like run it as an Airbnb when I'm not there. Uh, see, so if, like, see if I can make like some of the like recoup some of the costs like that. For the organization, to where Tez, it's kind of interesting. Tez are a team know, man. who have reached finals many times, right? They they have won yeah. the big LPL championship, but then they have Cream, and this is Cream's you know furthest he's ever made it. So you have kind of. Even though BLG don't, don't have the move to Europe, you're so much positive BLG and happy there. No, bro, bro. Like, come on. on I've been having so many more dramas since I've been in in, in Europe. I had the T1 thing. I had the double lift thing yeah, yesterday. It's, uh, it's crazy to me as like, well with the kind of recent history. I don't know. I've had the Mad Lions thing again. I've had the French thing, like, since I've been here with like, the Niski tweet. No, no, no. I'm getting, I'm getting more hate in Europe for sure. Really well. I know one of the big points that we talked about for this roster. You should try Spain. The thing is, I think I would enjoy Spain because, like, Spain is similar climate to what i grew, grew up in and i grew up with a bunch of spanish-speaking people bro like i'm from miami really it's that veteran bot side it's jackie love and mako the first time we're actually getting real veteran presence for so, jackie so much more positive about it it has been nah bro i haven't been that positive yeah dude and just I yesterday say, i called you know, double f uh, a liar and everyone lost their mind the best support jackie i think it's actually true though like <laughs> But we ain't throwing know, no man. shots at Fallon. Like, no, 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 no. Exactly, you can't, you exactly. can't. Ayo, hey, Dom, Pedro has been sending you some emails. Please respond. He's crying. What? But, uh, again, it's, it's fair to say in terms of being able to What does he mean Pedro's been sending me emails? There's no way that Pedro's been sending me emails. All right, hold on, hold on. It's so nice to see that... Why would Cajal have sent me emails? Hold on, I'll look. Why did G2 just message me that Cajal has been sending me emails? 369 can play whatever role you need to. He has been able to step up as more of a carry, having the highest damage percent out of all top players. I'll message Cajal. And it, it just feels like this is the most balanced that top esports have felt in a long time. Yeah. The thing that is going to surprise a lot of people watching the series tonight that maybe haven't kept up with LPL is the quickness of decision making for both these two teams. A, a double isn't a liar. He just got no sparks firing between his neurons. I think that people just overestimate how stupid, absolute pinpoint like, or they they overblow how stupid double is. is. Like, I think on some level, double has to be like. I don't think that there's a way that he literally played thousands of lane swaps. And like, if you look at how he how he proposes it not only and how he shows the clip like why would he like hide the points of the clip and not actually just play the clip to show that it's the exact same if he thinks it's the exact same like the reason he pauses the clip and the reason why he like tries to brush through things you even see it in his eyes is because he knows that it, he knows on some level that it's not the same so he's trying to like mask it and just like throw it to the side Better than Two games year. better. But at the same time, that is an all-time record, right? So it is. So it kind of does hit hit hard both ends. But you're right. I mean, BLG are just firing on all cylinders. Uh, even though it wasn't as maybe in the scoreline dominant as people thought uh, BLG would be against Nip. Like Nip were able to find some kills, right? Nip were able to take a game 
in that series against BLG, but in a, in a majority of those games, it really felt like BLG just had such a, a chokehold on the map the whole time through. Uh, this is a team that he, he is just pretty much deadly everywhere. And hell, that's even yes, with what him, is you know, having a good season, but his champions not being meta, him not really being a focal point of this team yes. at all. And they've um, still been this dominant. So I don't like, want to hey, watch anything that Dominus is say. This guy's the even even stronger parasite on the right community. Now. Oh, a parasite on the community. True. Like you, like you realize that this clip is just like the reason why he doesn't want to watch what I have to say is because there's no like what what is he going to say to refute it? You know, like it's easier to just attack me than to actually attack any of my points. Like this is this is the response. Nice. React to the lying allegations. Um, I I don't want to watch anything that Dom has to say. This guy is just a parasite on the community. Nice. Complete moron. I'm a complete moron. Okay. I mean, one of us is a moron for sure. Like I'll tell you that. Like. It's either me or double it for sure. One of us is guaranteed a fucking moron. And I guess you guys can decide who that is. At the same time, Tien, Tien's always willing to be a little bit crazy in hell. Tien's a guy who's consistently been able to get his team to the finals, right? A lot of the criticism comes. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, that is for damn sure. One of us must be fucking stuff, restarted, bro. Itself. Uh, I'm on so, a coach stream right now, so I can't go as hard as yeah, I do on uh, one, live view, but yeah. It really feels like it can go either way, which is is kind of crazy and, and scares me a little bit because yesterday... You only talk shit because he can't beat side. your point? Well, I mean, it's just like, the season built like, bro, up like he just says shit that just didn't happen. So, and then you're like, hey, bro, this yeah, didn't happen. And then he's like, you're a parasite. No, like, so that is literally the, the discourse. I'm like, hey, bro, like, are you lying or are you stupid? Like, those are your two choices based on what you did, like, because... You it's either think a lane swap enemy, and a 2v1, like a lane swap in, and a pure you know, 2v1 is the, the same as a Scion so. cheese bot strategy. Yeah. You either I, think that that is often, the same, get the feeling, right? It's usually for a or game series, but I came into day telling you, you literally just made up some bullshit to try to like pile on Monty and make him look bad. Also, you just made straight up, you just made claims that were just straight up false. Like he literally just said, hey bro, T1 was doing this at Worlds. I watched Worlds, bro. I was there. Even though BLG, I took the time to uh, go through all the games to make sure that I am not the one that's wrong in the situation and, uh, because it seemed wrong and I was like did they do that at worlds bro like I watched worlds like T1 like I remember T1 just out laning people at worlds like that's what my recollection was that T1 like Zeus was just playing like Yone versus Aatrox he was just monstering people he had all the the good picks their bot lane was playing the like aggressive 2v2 Ash Varus like you know, they're playing a ton of Varus, they're playing like uh, other AD supports. Like that was my recollection of Worlds. And I went back and I watched the games and it didn't happen. It's like, what do you want from me, man? What do you want? It's like the Lucian or the Draven. Let's go. Still Jackie loves Draven. TES know where they need to contest the series. If you look back when these crazy thing in Dublin's video is he said, unlike you know, Thorne and Monty, he, he can admit that he's wrong. Game, and it was all about Double cam? Denying them in the bot lane 2v2 and they're looking to do it again. An almost 70% All right, let's 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 focus on something that's actually more interesting and important. BLG versus top esports. To take dominance in like lane. Callista, we'll Vi, uh, Draven, Talia, Talia for Cream. Okay. So Ari is banned. Ari is going to be probably banned by Red Side the entire series because Cream is a really good Ari and Knight's a really good Ari. So probably Red Side is banning it perma. The Draven for Jackie Love in Game One, dude. This is one thing about Jackie Love. I've I watched Jackie Love for years. He loves playing Draven in game in ones, bro. Go, go look at his game ones, man. Like this guy really loves playing Draven in game ones. Let me go find some stuff. Let's see. Games of Legends. Really strong in the early game. Obviously can sustain pretty much anything Did you know I'm a parasite? And now Tez, it seems like I'm a parasite. A lot of signature picks for their side with the hover on the in. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, she agree. Maybe I am a parasite. I guess I just have to. They're gonna lock in the top. Yes, I have to agree. And I was gonna bring up a conversation about the Rex side because it doesn't feel like we've seen a true. Okay, game one versus TT. Jackie Love played it. Let's go it through like his. Uh, kind of let's go to like playoffs. And then have bigger team fight implication. Well, that is the answer right now for top esports as they take the game one regional finals. Here's an example. Well game one regional well finals. Uh, this was versus. 
We had the bit oh fuck! I resized. Where no, where did it go? Nymera, but hey, <laughs> Game one regional finals versus Wavo pulls out the Draven, Smurfs with it. I'll find other examples, but this guy loves playing Draven in game ones. Is the point? Has been for you know at very least the last year and hell maybe even two years before that. Have been game one JDG versus JDG. Um, oh fuck it, resized again. Game one versus JDG summer playoffs. Draven again. You have to. Yeah, this guy just loves like I've seen him do it like maybe like four or five times. Is he loves opening a series with Draven? And I think it makes a lot of sense. Like consider that, bro. You open a series with Draven, and then they're just forced. Like if you win the game, then suddenly it's a fucking ban for the rest of the series. And it's such like a mental edge. If you pick Draven game one, you just fist them into the fucking floor. Floor, it really like makes them reconsider uh, it's like shit dude what do we actually do with this guy like this is a problem that we haven't uh considered you know here's another example um 2022 summer playoffs versus jdg okay we got that one last two years but he's just so big brain in that factor i like game one the tools being taken away from top esports wait hold on there's more wait why is this match history not going back i want to see a longer match history it's gonna be crazy bid going back on to his signature pick i mean you know the solo QID for years. I don't know if it still is, but love Camille, bro. Love Camille. The co Dude, I love this, man. I love this. 369 on his Orn, his best champion, versus Bin on his Camille, something that he was known for that at one point was considered his best champion. I think not anymore. Like, most people consider him a Jax main. But his original best champion was Camille. He was love Camille, the Camille guy from Korean solo queue. So the and he was the fucking goat at it. So I'm fucking uh, hyped, bro. This looks like a, an absolute it. banger. All the ways that BLG are gonna be able to dive oh, wait, right no, never mind. It's it's actually just they on playing just Camille so support. Never mind. I thought it was uh, gonna be Camille really top versus Orn, but then I, I realized there's a Rek'Sai in the game. Never mind. GG. Let me see season 11. Honestly, Dude, really did he open any series with Draven in season 11? I How long have I been watching this guy straight up open with Draven? He loved it, but uh, it's going to be interesting how they execute that into a very proficient Jackie Love and Mako world champions for top esports. You know, Mazel, I saw the Camille. I thought Ben, you know, we're having a bit of tech issues, but like you're saying, it is four on. So sadly, not going to be able to see that one up in top side. Yeah, but, Caster's fucking. Yeah, this is gonna put. I wish. So much <laughs> Caster's fucking on sent me on one. They told me about the love Camille. It's really nah, bro, it's just a Camille support. I mean, Camille support versus Draven. Like, I don't know. This this lane should be a fucking banger bot lane. And honestly, it it does feel like a situation. I want to pick your brain a little bit. Where BLG definitely need to be proactive. Uh, the Callista, uh, obviously, another. I mean, Callista Camille. Raven to try to get the snowballs going. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like with the Orn, they have some counterbalancing on top. Callista Camille versus Draven. Thresh. I mean, I feel like yeah, Thresh would yeah, actually be pretty good here. Really need to get their front. Top esports actually just uh, wins this early game. They should just win the early game. Ball in. Again, like their 3v3 is much stronger still, and generally much front line later on. i feel like and top esports if they win bot lane if blg so loses BLG, bot lane 3v3 normally they lose the game really so could be just a win for top oh, esports so immediately for this. It's a banger. how's camille support supposed to play yeah camille support seems kind of bad here bro msi and a ticket to our finals let's hear those gios for blg versus top esports Love to hear the crowd in tune. Also love to see the top esports want to go for a level one here. I think okay. rightfully so. They have pretty strong composition. I'm sorry, but Talia is here. Uh, RA need to get out any BLG members, though. something. I'm sick of these yeah, champs, man. All right, nice. Their way around. <laughs> really being on the Were they like be able to run into prepping for a lane swap or something? Are they, they lane swapping? The no way, right? BLG. Okay. No one getting caught out. They're actually more worried about an invade <laughs> coming out through top side. I mean, depending on who you ask, this together. might be considered a lane swap. And, uh, we just walk around the rift together. Apparently, if you lane two v two bot, okay. but then your like uh, top laner is on the bot side of the map, then it's just a lane swap. So, no cap of penis. I guess early advantages, but we do get to laning phase, which is a little bit of fun. And uh, opposite side starts for both junglers. Yeah, and again, everything going to be about how they do here. I mean, wanting to start up towards that top side for Tien, making a lot of sense. I'm curious to see what Shun does. Probably gonna make his way top and try and wrap back around to be able to enable this Camille, especially the double hail of blades, the ignite. 
I mean, when you W start at level mentions. one with Camille, I mean, again, I guess, slip, bro. I, I like guess. I mean, it makes sense. I guess you have to W start. Back to those days when he I mean, if they get pushed, that'd be really nice. They're, they're getting pushed. Off, right? Wasn't being able to show up, but now <laughs> yeah, level two first, guaranteed. Oh, they just walk up with a heel, bro. Okay. Wait, that was clean as fuck. He's very low. Doesn't up getting out. Wait, that's that's actually a clean way to play it. They early healed and just walked at Jackie Love with Ignite and W. The W start, bro. With an advantage. Sadly, the Draven not going to be enabled early. Damn. Draven lost both sums already. They can run this forward, especially getting that plate gold. Onto Elk's gonna be huge. Maybe even being set up now for Shun to look for an invade into that. I see Double call me a parasite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, love that you bring up I mean, of course, the, that's like uh, that's like the way that he's gonna like get out of the situation, a, right? Of a weird story. They call him the husband, right, of BLG. But I think Man, I didn't put him in the best situation, bro. He either looks like an idiot or he looks like a liar, right? So, well, I mean, he put himself in that situation. I just called him out for it. I didn't, I didn't actually do anything. So, a nice combination between him and easiest way out is to be like, fuck, dominate. Yes. I mean, yeah. They, they really just have been able to figure out. Dominate a smoke crack to cocaine. Yes. <laughs> Does have that is literally the only way out. So nice. Tien has to be careful, but with Mako being nearby, it doesn't seem like anything should really be possible. A juggle, but that's not the case with mid. No hook shot going to come out. Doesn't want to get stunned up by cream there. And uh, yeah, I, I just wonder now with a little bit of the mobility. I know it was a conversation we had before coming into this one, but also a lot of the point of presence for DLG was on getting mobile, getting on the map with Shun, but also some of that connection happening earlier rather than later. And kind of the same for top esports. You don't? I do, but that's yeah, like not the point, bro. Bad manner to bring it up in conversation. They do transition All right, so no sums on Jackie Love. Like, how they do they punish this? Are they just going to like farm six on Vi and try to like ult that? I mean, you won't be able to get six before Jackie Love has flash up. Maybe like a night roam or something could be good. They really try to dive here. That'd be a little bit ham. They do end up getting the control ward, though. Bro, yeah, diving here looks crazy. Without sums, without heal, it, it's not easy to dive. They have both so flashes too, there. and they're like gonna, Camille is a fucking tank in this situation. Oh, I like it. They're gonna put the ward down just as an escape plane here comes. Uh, Mako is like insta dead, bro. This looks horrible. It looks LG. terrible. Oh my god, the whole game is over, bro. I told you it was gonna be bad. Camille is a fucking tank right now, bro. Camille is OP. And everything going over to the Camille on is going to be so powerful. Maybe yeah, not, GG. you know, ideally what you would hope for, but now you're going to have this Camille roaming around the map oh, assisting yeah. his other lanes, just being able to cause complete chaos. Man, Holy how, how shit. That was so in. Yeah, it looked yes. really in, bro. Like, if you had God, summoners, maybe. So to but like I was saying, like, this is just yeah, fucking I mean, it, tough, reasons, man. Right? Seeing so many heavy trades have to come out before these plays go in. Because they have double flash, man. They have double flash, and Camille is a super tank. She gets her shield, and it's really hard to dive through that. Like, maybe if she trades and she has spells on cooldown, you can look for something, but that looked impossible. Oh, he has Tunneler now. Now, Nice. Okay, cool. Jackie Love lost all of his stacks as well. Nice. Kills, it's fine. Like it'll be all right. It's a weird pick. It'll be fine. You Don't you feel really depressed? Is three six nine in this situation? Oh, of the, course, uh, bro. I mean, everyone feels like, feels oh, depressed. Cream feels equally depressed. But like, yeah, man, I'm just laning with Talia, bro. I'm doing my thing, pushing my waves. You guys got Draven Thresh and lost so lane 2v2. And then you fail so to dive. Have this advantage. And they lost their sums 2v2. Have that that we've been but, I mean, it was good from BLG. Like, I haven't seen that before, man. I always see Camille's just starting E and, like, full trading. I haven't seen a Camille, like, start W and play to poke in lane. They were getting every Drake. In competitive, uh, at least. Not going to be able to do that this time, which again kind of tells to the proficiency of. of, of and maybe people not do this in solo queue. Like I see Camille supports, but like on top. I don't know. I mean, to be honest, when I play with Camille nice support in solo queue, like, a lot of times they're like roaming the map level so one, just making random shit sure happen. Then, they're they're, they're not laning bot and forward. starting W very often. Momentum is key, especially against two of our uh, strongest pressure. Who do you think called that bot dive? I think that that's just like a set play that you go for a lot of the time, and you. Like, because oh, it's a set play that you oh, go for. Oh my god, shot, wait, that's pretty that one goes through even after the hook shot. It is Mako that gets Good for Mako, but um, 
I think it's just like a set play that works against most bot lanes, but you just have to consider that this is a Camille support. Like you stack a big wave, you have Draven, Thresh, and your jungler come. Like normally you can do work with that. Oh, Shun gets flayed out of it. That's really bad from Shun. Oh, they're just in feeding the Draven. Nice. <clears throat> nice. They just in fed Draven for no reason. He's going to get his heart ripped out of him by Elk, but it's worth it. So finally gets the cash in, but like like you're saying, still goes down. He's gonna lose a bit of CS and uh, allow Elk to, to start getting that Q momentum. flash was We're sus from Shun. It was not good. Picked up, so gonna come back with a nice bit of damage to this lane. Pretty ugly mechanical play in the first seven minutes. Hey man, they're going for it, but it's not it's not pretty. We'll just be trying to clear out his side of you know normally i don't see this much action in game ones i've been watching like all the leagues and it feels like game early, one is normally like zero there, kills there really long game like it's always like a low back. kill no, no, we're gonna get high exactly game time game down. shouldn't going for it but great play from mako tries to follow through with the flash isn't able to get it and then right into the hook just allowing jackie love to be able to get that gold 235 he's gonna absolutely love that it's so big, especially with the first one. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> Get some love there. Got the Whirling Death now available. Level six is there. Cream needing to be proactive. Yeah, he and missed the Q flash. The, the thing is, he like tried to Q flash at an angle right because if he Q flashes directly, then he can potentially get flayed out of it. Map, so he tried to like Q straight and then flash in. As well to try to combat BLG. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how it happens, right? Because BLG definitely having more threat in bot right now. So that's where we're seeing on able to lean towards mid. For TS, it's gonna have to be the opposite of where you're having Ben. They do actually catch him out here, even with that sense. Oh, Ben, he gets a nice I mean, he's just fine, no? Well double knock up. They already got a lot oh, of maybe not. There. How long for tunnel? Used, oh, he's not fine at all, never mind. That will be a dead wreck side. Tian picks up the kill. I guess he was way too like pushed up. Hey, not too many options around bot lane. Let's look for Ben being this far uh, extended in the lane, having the call of the forge gone there. So at least you can start getting your your tank, you know, a little bit tankier on that side. But it's really. I mean, they recovered the game. The game should have been completely over after what they did bot, but they recovered the game because BLG has misplayed. Get any information. They misplayed like multiple times, like on misplayed, and then Shun misplayed, and then Ben misplayed, and now the game is like. Okay, kind of okay. There's the flash out of the uh, prior play, so that's why he wasn't really able to find an exit there. We are getting more bodies down bot side, and a 3v3 is brewing, Lyric. Tiana's no kick. I mean, they should definitely not be trying to fight this. There's no um, ulti on Draven. Mako's only level 5, and Tian is has no kick. Okay, if they can get a one shot like this, obviously, that's really good. Oh, he lives? He gets fates called to his safety. Okay, man, he lives. I mean, that's still really good from from uh, top esports though. There looked like he was down for sure, but you know it's not great for Get Callisto ult for pretty much no reason. That they they'd work for. Allows you to re-enter the lane. But not able to convert it, but it's been solid back and forth so far in this two v two. Despite you know seeing BLG find kills earlier, top esports able to answer him back. Look at the CS staying completely even. The only real disparities being in the in the solo lanes for blg and it's allowing them to have that that very slight lead in the gold you know i'm very proud of our uh, 10 players here they were very gentlemanly uh very astute they traded those uh early objectives this next one i you know i i thought maybe and, it's not i mean shun at least wants right to get two denying five grubs is episode. the main and Tien is main thing you go for play. i don't know if he can actually contest this one just yet. you flake camille out of her e yep we're gonna see if they end up you have to fly okay, I mean, it's it's like over. any other Steve spell with camille the way camille well. works is like so you have to flay her numbers after the e connects on the wall like if she throws out the e and you flay her and her e connects to the wall she still gets pulled so same with like nautilus hooker or like anything uh, um i shouldn't stick around any cc so on her in, you either need to cancel once she's hit the, the hook and she's flying at you or she needs or you need to cancel um before like after the hook lands and she's pulling herself uh really only able to commit to that play because tian already coming off the reset being up towards that side of the map but now it's gonna be about dragon 13 seconds till that one goes elk has stayed in bot so they have prio to be able to follow through with but the thing it's actually really good for blg is they the got two two grubs so they deny the six grubs from top esports and they were playing bot side this whole time 
Got to get as many dives as possible. He said. Uh, uh, Knight is pretty strong, bro. Knight is. Uh, well, he's not pretty strong, but he's there doing really well. He's going Ludens though, man. Is this really a Ludens game? You really don't go Seraphs in this game. I thought it was just gonna be a. Don't stop. Act like that. Uh, Seraphs, Leandri, Void game. I guess not. Get on the other side. They contest for the two mites, and they will get their second dragon in a row. So it sets them up for some good decision making later on. And so far, a bit of a similar. He got hit by a W. He must have got hit by a W in this lane. You find pro views for LPL. Um, they're on Chinese sites. Like, you go on Billy Billy, they'll have. Oh, that's a long range hook shot. He tries to He's all right. And here comes that. Hey, on is dead. And it's a bit ultimatum. He does end up going down on the back end. They're both dead. Also, Tian catches out Knight. And top esports are the ones that come out the <laughs> like that, that was anyway. pretty ugly. <laughs> Can they deny Callista here? That's the main thing. It's like the kills don't really matter that much. What matters is that they're going to lose a lot on the wave. Everyone has to run bot. But Bin being able to find a lot of free time up with this top lane turret. Bin is doing pretty well. That's another top important lane. Thing they have two Drakes as well with their Callista. But the Drake top and role was not great for them. Lose a lot of that advantage elk now, walking to lane. Knows pe there's people behind. Oh, elk might have baited Yen has end, kick. Though, that's gonna be Wait, Elk flash for top e no back. reason, I think. Get a play two on. I mean, I guess maybe the hook would hit. It felt, felt like he was trying to flash like a Q flash almost. Or a kick flash. Especially on that essence reaver spike he has. I mean, you just pointed out the you know the plates down for BLG in that bot side with Tez. Answering right back with the same amount, really valuing uh, the control over this pixel brush and river, and especially the tri brushes to be able to force these aggressive plays. Shun's nowhere near, so yeah. Tess can keep going with this. He will spot out Tien. Elk has Fate's call. Gonna and burn they do the a four grubs. They're gonna ult onto Elk. Cream. Wall can can you ult him? Dude, wait, why did Elk not ult on before the they left? Look at the opposite side of the map. 369 recalling at the same time. So really nice map play play by TS overall. Not allowing for a dive to happen on top side while wow. creating one in the bot lane. Now gonna be nice. able to we'll play from top esports. Up like, and guess yeah, what? Really, really nice map movements. That brings up a huge point that we'll talk about after this replay here. I'll, I'll save the surprise. This, kind I mean, of this ugly. I just absolutely fool. I mean, there. This is like the first time that sure I think they've ever played Camille support, down. so definitely doesn't look as clean as some of their other stuff. Night getting exposed. Yeah, just finding the perfect secret agent angle to get in there. Caught watching. Caught watching. Uh, top esports have been I mean, good. CS from Night though. Thing, Night is choving in the as mid lane. It has been insane. That in the LPL, with all these games played all the way through playoffs, they have a hundred percent first tower win percentage for top esports. Again, when they find a lead, they are able to hold on. But now we got to keep our eyes on this fight for Harold. Three six nine does have call of the Forge God to try and. Oh, okay. Let's see the fight. Does Jackalove die? Is the question. Jackalove is one shot. Cream is no flash as well. Cream can die as well. They're gonna go hard here, I think. Oh my God, they're gonna kill everyone. Oh, I guess they have no mana. Never mind. Knight has no mana. If he had mana, he would continue going on to Cream. Big fight win for BLG. Didn't get the Herald, but they won the fight super hard. Run in. I thought there'd be a bit more posturing there, trying to help your Orn get involved. They didn't even He's use sums either. So like, there's no sums the used by BLG, side, but no, they and they're TPing top God, here to just take the core. turret. They are. We get the double beams up top. The tower is just falling right now. It's three six nine. Gonna pop that Orn horn. Call pretty Orn clean. Gonna land with the seismic shove as well. The double combo. Clean. Oh, that's not gonna hit enough damage there. Cream. That's a very good play from BLG. The TP from Knight to top lane here. The TP from Knight to top lane to force the turret and and force 369 to pretty much die under it. I like it. Can't complain. And now they're just going to be playing for Drake in one minute, and they only used Bin's flash, really. Game is so, this game is really fun to me. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Get mid-turn as well. Just some very high pace. I mean, there's been mechanical misplays all over the place, but... Normally the way LPL series go is like the the first the first game is normally slow, but if it's fast like this, generally what happens is like the mechanics increase over the course of the series. It happens in like almost every region. Besides for LEC and LC. I mean I guess it happens in LCK too. LCK and LPL are similar as like the first game is kind of like the slowest and the messiest, and then as games go on, sometimes they become messier, but like the mechanics become better and better throughout the series. As well as the uh, most important factor is now top esports don't really have a base to leap off of.
into this dragon. Build grand finals, let's be real. I, I don't know, bro. I wouldn't count out JDG like uh, potentially beating like, like top if they the go into losers bracket it wouldn't be crazy to me if jdg beat top in a rematch that they want. i think these so three the teams that are left are just by far the three best teams with, with the pick, and yeah because of the no in. flashes on top well, esports or because they have uh i mean they're just behind right in in items they're just down 3k they're going to give this drake and they're going to try to scale with orin get orin to level 14. doesn't look like it's going to happen they're cross mapping though up with that going for the trade on top Ben has to be careful with like how he's walking in and in a matchup VLG gonna do anything with the ball wave no they're just gonna full collapse and try to send it on top giving those decision making tools to BLG. somebody should go bot I think Knight should probably just walk bot but top esports he has no TP so he's a little bit scared to do it oh on there's Callista ult oh they go on Jackie Love oh Jackie Love lived Gets his oh, Jackie Lives Alive? Oh, Jackie Love lived. Jackie okay, huge. The test of time. I can't and they did get Jackie Love sums here, though. Or his flash, I mean. Yeah, it's it's going to be kind of hard for Draven to play against all this shit. Like, all this is crazy to play against. There's nothing they could turn it into. I think what BLG needs to do is, like, Knight can catch this wave, but they need to get the Rek'Sai bot now. They really need Absolutely to get Rexai bot here. Will. I, love how I think Rexai should probably recall after one more wave, and they should the swap their lanes. The come out, the better of it is huge. They actually initially started this by getting on, caught out. Yeah, trying to get on top of him, uh, following it through with the Lee Sin, but quickly he stirred on. It's like, hey, we really can't follow this up. They think there's an angle there for Jackie Love. But again, I'm just amazed. Has the movement speed? They're really nice Damn. displacement. Jun just queued into right. Like if he held his Q longer, the there's a chance that like, right when I mean, he doesn't actually get off the auto, the so he just thought that he would kill him because he had two stacks passive. We are now Plus third auto is pretty four. close. Like the ignite was ticking as, as well. We it's hard to estimate uh, the damage there. And now we'll see if Jackie Love is getting a little closer to that. Also, but Knight didn't have E, so he wasn't able to just E the Vi and put the ball on him. I mean, if Vi goes in with ball onto Jackie Love. Big lead and Knight just ults off of it, it's a pure one shot. There's nothing they can do with it. Advantage. Which is they why I believe Knight is going this like power. super sports, pen or not like really nine, super pen, but he's going this um high damage, high burst build. Pretty much the highest damage, highest burst Oriana build that exists. Because he just wants to put the ball on Vi and just ult off the Vi and one shot Draven. And then after that they just play the fight normally. The idea here is that if you kill the Draven, then you'll just be able to out tank them really. Oh, on kind of grieved here. Who misses his hook shot there and might just be dead to right. Jesus, the heal. Oh, whirling death goes the other way. Zon makes it out with a heal from Elk. I think for TS, we're just we're just waiting for a point where the lack should be able to get a solid 5v5. You know, and 369 can, can really get involved. You actually have more peel and more CC in the equation to try to make sure that Jackie Love and Cream don't just get taken down by the combo. So 369 might need to worry about himself, okay? Well, one after this time, but yeah, may, maybe going forward, it should be a little bit conscious about the combo. He's I guess you wouldn't have to care that there. much. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's let's be real. If, the support if, normally if looks like that, of course, man. But it's just one of those things where I, I talk about it with dice. with the Rex uh, I players and the the Uder players top. There, I mean, random champions just come into uh, support, Jackie and supports have never played these champions because they never thought that they would actually be some of the best supports in the game. People didn't think that Rumble and Camille would be considered two of the best supports in the game ever. So support players have spent their lives playing like Thresh, Lulu, Rakan, you know, fucking Nautilus, Leona. Rel, these types of champs. Yeah, no, I, Never I in a million years did they think that they would be playing Camille and Rumble in like pro games. Then this next rate coming up, like, sure they could try and pivot towards top, maybe trade for Baron and just like hope to smash the game. All right, 120 on Drake. That, you know, like quick uh, succession where they have it. The Rexai is really tanky here. Would be, that would be crazy. That if would Draven not, dies, I think the Rexai is borderline down. unkillable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, He's got so much MR now with Merc Treads plus. Uh, the jock show completed for 369 you know answered that last wave can go for the recall and even start passing down now a decent amount of hp as well got a minute till fight fest i mean the whole fight is just going to be about them diving jackie love it's just going to be them like just all flashing and diving jackie love and then they're just going to try to it's important to see like kite it out after play front to back after do you want to commit to that and we'll take a second here to I mean, the orange should be relatively unkillable i mean it was all bot lane he's not like that tanky he's pretty tanky into Callista, 
but it feels like via some shred i guess oh they're going for jackie love jackie love is just dead he can't play oh jackie ran it bro that's that soul for blg camille ult bro camille ult you can't lantern pretty big mistake from jackie love though he gives up his life still i don't know if they could have ever walked anywhere near though ult him out okay box from thresh there Right, even if Jackula wasn't there, yeah, they should Jackula just play for soul here. They should just walk to the soul. I don't think yeah. guys Oriana has no ult though. I mean, they did use a decent amount of ults. The thing is, Vi still has ult, so they can play off that. Yeah, they have to give Cloud. I warned everybody coming to this one that you gotta be careful. These guys, they're quick decision making. Seems crazy that they're actually gonna try to fight this. Sports trying to make the steal, trying to get Tian in there. He's done it once before. Can he do it again? He's not gonna take it, and it's gonna be BLG that's secure. Oh, there's a slowing here. Uh, they don't need to play this. Jackal is coming back, and they still have no ult on Kalista, no ult on Oriana, and no ult on Camille. So, re ults down. They should chill for a bit, and then when they have ults again, they can have Shun send it onto Jakulov. Jakulov has flashed that now, though, so he can create. Hopefully, what, what his goal is is to create enough space between him and the Orianna that the follow up won't one shot him. Because the real fucked up thing is when he gets ulted by Vi, and then it's just like the Orianna shockwave follows. That's the no counter play where he'll just get completely one shot. Oh, also Knight just bought a Magi's. Cool. Yeah, he didn't even have a Dark Seal. I'm pretty sure. He just bought a straight Magi's. I think between these two teams, that is the most important factor. Kind of keep an eye on going out through this best of five. I'm actually surprised that they weren't more confident just for the fact that you know BLG used some ults. Uh, I wonder in, if Bin goes a Randuin's here, or if he now, just goes for the, um, just came up. goes for like a Visage or something. So go on, Jackie Love. Oh, Jackie Love's dead. Oh, One shot. Can't play. Oh, he's super dead. Ulti off this? Oh, okay. They flash part of it. Oh my god, the angle from On was so bad. Jesus Christ. That was ugly. Here comes three, six, nine, There's the buffer. Ben is here. They don't realize Ben is here. Really good angle from Ben. So smart. Because they're like threatening to go back to Baron. Go on to Cream. BLG is so good, man. They're like the most bloodthirsty team in the world. The only team that can compete with them when it comes to like playing fast games is T1 when T1's on form. That's it. Without without T1 being good, BLG is so fucking cracked at like putting their foot on the gas and just fighting. Yeah, BLG dominating TS. Nah, bro, Vi, Oriana, Callista, Camille ult on you. How can play? How can play? How can play? How can play? Never afraid. You can't. I didn't even notice that Knight was dead. Wait, what killed Knight? How did Knight die? Uh, this is like actually not that good. Elk is dead to Baron almost. They need to run. Wait, what killed Knight? I didn't even notice the Knight got killed. Any tools to get there? BLG. They try to take a confident Baron, but they do back off. Still, though, they're gonna be happy with what they got in that fight, right? Take, taking down four members. I mean, the main thing that they got here. Look, this is how you have to view these types of situations. I feel like not enough people will think about this. Really just running them out. The big advantage they have now is that they got all the subs. So now when they go back and start Baron, they can send it on to Jackie Love, and there's actually zero counterplay. Like when they send it on to Cream and Jackie Love in the next fight, the game is just over because they can't do anything. Like Oriana has flash, Vi has flash. They have flashes up on key members, and Top Esports doesn't have flash on members. So even though they're up 3k gold, when they go back to this Baron, Top Esports is either gonna be forced to give it or they're gonna be in a fucked situation where they're like AD carry gets one shot or their mid laner gets one shot. It's be so messed up. You're really relying on cream of all people here. Who were you talking up? So Wait, what heavily? killed Knight here? I didn't even know but he was dying. To be honest, you know, Talia might not be the biggest cream champion here. I, I think lacking some of that consistent damage is really just, Oh, that's so it. unlucky, bro. That's so, so hard, unlucky. Right? Like, it's hard. They should yeah, go back I mean, and start Baron again, I think. The they can do it. They're pretty much unkillable, again, like at the Baron, and they just automatically kill Jackalov if they're anywhere close. Like so many things you have to worry Maybe one more wave mid into the Baron start. What I would say. Always been there usually when one other member is is, is catching a wave off on some yeah. other side of the map and, and BLG just overwhelmed. I think here they just start Baron here. They start Baron and they look for turn. They just turn on to Jackie Love is like very little counterplay. They could also just try to kill Cream. That's what we said. Both these teams, when they get leads, they choke you out. They I mean, the reason why I think that they should force the Baron is because by Elder, fighting. enemy team will have um, so far, BLG enemy team will have their thumbs up. 
So this Baron, they can just force a fight that's like super cringe for top esports to play. See if they have any like really like unplayable. So they're starting Baron right now. They're hitting it. Like the problem is once they just want to know where Jackie Love is. When they find Jackie Love, if they oh, get some vision, Love, they, do not. they know where Jackie Love is. They're just going to send it. They want to turn here. They're going to turn on Jackie right here. On's going to go on Jackie here. Watch, 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 watch. Look, 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 look. I think they just go on Jackie Love. I think On could have just pulled the trigger. It would have had to commit like super hard, but I think it was actually pretty good. He just had an angle. Mako was in no man's land. They just all can't funnel through the choke. And they're gonna force them around but I think that like just just a couple people is enough to kill him at this point. Oh, Ben? Ben's kind of briefing a bit. Maybe they go mid tier two now. I don't think they leveraged this situation as hard as they could have. I think they could have really ended the game here. If they were playing on like up for him. Terrifying. Uh, also, just being able to, to pull on to safety, throw on in more and more with that Axiom arc. Even with Flash Up, though, I don't know how under their belt now. Jackie Love can live. Like, Cream can live with Arm Guard and, yeah, Arm Guard and uh, having, like, HP from the Andres and stuff, but I don't know. It seems, it seems like it's literally, like, a 3v5 at this point. Like, Thresh is pretty useless. Draven is going to be one shot. But the other three can maybe do something. Like, maybe they can, like, AoE gangbang BLG if BLG commit too hard for one member for another game but blg want to keep i think it would have been worse yeah. <laughs> yeah i don't i don't think either of these teams should really lean into scaling or, or just <laughs> in bot lane like you can't afford to do it up against the opposite bot lane again the bigger problem is just that that lack of mobility and the amount of threat all right elders up for blg Orn items are coming now, through Orn can build item for jackalib no like why does he build jackalib right here you should do it Sports. There, he's they doing it right now. Hesitantly positioning around the top side of the map. The Build the IE. Just waiting for them to come in. Ben has a flank, but is spotted out by the ward. He's still going to look for an angle there. Nice sides we shove. On the okay. Let's all force because on messed up. It's going to make it really hard for... Or it's going to make it way harder for BLG to fight the next Drake. Or the next uh, fight. Because when on goes in now, he can't get pulled out. So he's just going to die. But BLG going into river... I mean, look, look at all these angles they're now challenging with Lawn. All right, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. They have no idea, and Jackie Love's on this side. Oh, the there it is. Yeah, I mean, how, how can play, how can play. Shockwave delivery combo, baby. We got that Orn Horn that's trying to deal a little bit appealing. They have the death sentence too, but Cream is next to go down. A double kill, they should. Now it's end here. He misses the Sonic Wave for another They have no way. I guess they just go Elder Baron. It's Elder Baron, it's Elder Baron. Uh, it's it's like so hard, bro. It's so it's so hard for uh, Toppy. Sports. I mean, this like they had to snowball to bot BLG's way harder because they had winning 3v3 bot but they kind of messed up and, and enemy bot lane was just completely stable so it became very difficult please no more draven they got advantages yeah. for Elk early. I mean, Jackie Love really likes playing Draven game, uh, like just to put pressure on the series. He likes just playing Draven in general David because it makes the other team like have to respond to it. But I mean, yeah, there's no gameplay here. What did Jackie Love do to these guys, man? <laughs> yeah, Jackie Love said some inexcusable shit in all chat. And then they just got torn to shreds. Didn't Jackie Love just build Jocho? Bro, you, what do you think Jocho is, man? You think that if he builds a Jocho, he's living through that shit? He was overkilled by like 3,000 health, man. Like, he, he's so dead, man. He's, he is the thing after death. I mean, this should be the push for the end, right? This is where BLG really have the strength to not only just... just make top esports face crumble but also force that game winning fight it feels like they're right on the edge of taking Jacho ain't saving him game number one it gave some tussles early it was like fresh even good r5 this game game i mean the thing they is thresh draven like gives you pretty good laning because you have uh thresh so versus they the camille support the tying knots on which is that like i mean theoretically is a counter and it also is something that can help the draven be somewhat down. safe i guess as we actually take a look here Oh, the whirling death. But, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. just there's not many good R5s yeah, here. Feeling, feeling the need to uh, use that ult just in like, case. what support are you going to pick? But now, like we said, right, I think Baron playing and Thresh and then trying to win lane was probably the right back. call. They, they just fucked it up. A bit cautious, right? Because they go for a dive, maybe 369, and Mako can buy enough time to where it does get a bit dicey. But even then, I, I don't know. And you could see BLG not scared whatsoever. 
They're just gonna move up and crash the base. This is where they are strongest. They don't want to give any more time for scaling or top esports. Yes, actually going to be left alone a little bit. But they will transition towards mid lane, try to take even more. And brother, just egoing right through there. Uh, now, actually, they just have another minute and a half on this, so they can take another. They're going to rotate dip. top after <laughs> they have uh, top wave the slow pushed. They could just force it. They're just going top. Yeah. And we oh, maybe they play. Actually, they're probably going to play on. Uh, they're going to play once forward. on mid because they have elder for 15 just, seconds. Once the once seconds. this wave is gone, they go they're top. Hoping they can find some value out of it, but it seems like Tez are saying no. We are not going to give you the opportunity to fight us. Take away. Yeah, now they should go top. Our base. Oh, clean. Oh, my oh, shockwave. That elder dragon can do some work there. Oh, they oh, might. I thought they might just now, though. They still have like just try to force as hard as possible, like Violet or something. Place, but it is still trying to. Yeah, now they're pushing top. They're trying to keep the waves pressured here while they oh, rotate top slowly. Top side, so it's just I mean, one at a time. Go buy, there's go no shockwave for night. I mean, right, Makes it the situation a little bit harder, but when that shockwave came through, you know, should be okay, man. Sprinted in and made the fight happen, but no one near. So just have to accept what they have for now. They do still have Baron for another 35 seconds. And with all these supers coming in, I like it, right? You, you have your your very mobile Camille off playing that side alone. He can easily escape if they try to all in on his side and allow the rest to just keep bearing up, baroning up those minions towards Poor top. Poor up the waves. Down his top inhibitor turret. Should try. They have about 15 seconds left on that uh, Baron buff here, but they'll be able to do it. So one at a time. Oh, the structures fall. Okay. And one at a time. Played out. Top esports are put back against the wall. One more in game. Oh, Cream just got is getting one shot by Knight. Oh Knight just one shot oh Cream. God, Pretty much. So much damage, All right, man. GG. This is game number one holistically going to BLG. Oh, uh, Shun is dead. It, Maybe it's fightable. Maybe it's fightable. Oh, wait. Wait, Jagulov just walked into Bin and he just ulti he just uh, knocked him up. Okay, still kind of fightable. They're still trying to fight it though, and Elk is still kicking. Bin is still kicking. And 369. All right, all right, okay. They killed Shun. He didn't get anything off. Yeah, it's over though. They managed to make it work. I think it was Mako finding a hook on the night. Oh, never want to see Cream on Talia again. What really led the game to, to continue, but at the same time, that was a complete mess for both sides. But a mess BLG are gonna be happy with because again, look, <laughs> look at Top Esports. You like makes. messes? That's that's what they made a mess of. That's not theirs. It's like when you know you have a kid and they make like a beautiful mess by throwing Legos and Play-Doh no, and stuff all like, over the floor, and, it's, and like, it's like, oh look, it's a mess, and you're like, oh yay! Good it's job. like if you ever invited me over to your house, I would throw a huge house party without telling you make it a mess, <laughs> and then I would leave being super happy, and that's BLG right now. That was Honestly, their as house long as party. I get invited, I'm down. <laughs> oh, you know hey, Tez, Tez were invited, right? They were there for that dance in their base, but... Oh, they shouldn't have accepted that invite. I'm just telling them right now. I don't know what happened. Mizzell, but, Mizzell uh... the problem is we're up for round two. BLG are already back on the map. TP's coming out. And now, I mean, look at all these supers. They have the ability to try to look for the end. Cream is coming down from top side after having pushed that one out a little bit, but you have the double super oh, coming in. Dude, this fight. Wave. One Nexus could be turret. Very hard to defend and top could be very hard to defend. Sorry, I'm getting like an email or something that I'm supposed to respond to. Looking for it. We said once one of these this game should be over. Goal, they should just be able to send it on BLG my man, Jackie Love. One in kind. Just gotta find the push. One last touches, send right? on Jackie Love. On he has no sports. sums. Uh, 369 still very tanky. A lot of tank it is. Oh, Tien. Oh, Tien tried. Good reaction oh, from Knight. Oh, no. I mean, Tien had to go. Like, it is what it is. Jackie Love is the focus, but they can't get him down. Elk just takes down Tien with the help of Knight. Bim is almost dead. 369 gonna pop that call the Forge God. They try to get Jackie Love on the back, but he has so much damage potential and so much peel potential. And the last Nexus Tower does end up falling. They're going to go for Jackie Love one more time. They get the oh my god, did you see the QW from, the from Knight? The QW oh, from Knight strong. killed him from 80% we'll HP or some bullshit. More like 60, but like, you get the point. The bot side pick. And what a way to kick bro, they scrapped it, bro. They are scrapping. Okay, BLG got some hands. Great performance by him. Been really showing up like across the board. Uh, the engage was there from BLG, and they want to get this. He just win. threw they it out, bro. The fucking Oriana just threw out a little QW. Just game. boom, QW. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's yeah, your whole HP bar. This series gets our first Insane. To MSI, but also the first Jock Show the Gap Kappa. Yeah, no. If, uh, if he had Jock Show, bro, it was winnable. Teams. Uh, you, you know they call them championship rounds nice. for a reason uh and I, especially ufc you always go to five 
I think top esports have not shown us the big fight that they have ready to go. And I'm very excited to see how they adapt from that game number one, specifically the draft itself, and a lot of that bot lane 2v2 aggression that they were working with. Now we are going to send it off to a little break. On the other side, we'll have our LPL lounge ready to go to break down that the first game of that series. Right, I'm playing the ads. Probably gonna get something to eat. I've not eaten anything yet today. Ian literally did nothing all game. I mean, it was hard. It was a hard game for Lee Sin, I think. All right, you're back.
Mm. I'm gonna miss Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt you guys have over here. Alina's, bro. Alina's Greek yogurt. Shit is so good. Welcome to the LPL. I hope you guys had an enjoyable game one because uh, we said that coming into this, we were going to be looking at the top lane, we we're going to be looking at the bot lane, we we're going to be looking at the mid lane, at the jungle, but it really felt like the bot lane is where everything happened because God, I just took a really quick turn there. Yeah, I mean, there's two other analysis. An enviable position of saying, well, we've got to narrow this down. How do you narrow down two teams like this? You yep. know, I mean, we, we, we have Bin versus 369 in the top lane. That was like the top lane matchup of like the heavyweight, like two best top uh, laners in LPL like, for like years now. Leave probably. Knight out, right? you, you can't leave Knight, and I think Kareem's been playing really well. But I think, particularly when you look down at the picks which got left through in the draft, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But when you have like bot lanes which are locked in like this, or like Callista versus Draven, it, it's going to be about the Callista versus Draven, at least in the early game. Yeah. I feel like it really quickly became a game of um, whoever wins that level two actually yeah. wins the game. And unfortunately, as we'll see like later on through the clips, um, Top Esports kind of brought it on themselves, uh, the result, as we'll get to see. You know when you try your best and you don't succeed? Sometimes that try happens. Again? We have the MVP for this series as well, and that's going to be on on Kuhn. Really? Th this is particularly, I think, due to... That death. No way, bro. Absolutely. It's gotta be like night, especially no? Especially when you're locking I think it's gotta be night. as a support, if you do not succeed in lane, if you do not get these early kills to be actually a force on the rest of the map, it goes really south. And through that dive, that's the one that I said Top Esports brought it upon themselves because they decided to go for this without their mid laner, which then unlocked the Camille on the map with two kills to become a killing force all over the map. And the, the, the real kingmaker for um, the Camille is the fact that you have multiple people which can help you on your dive as well. Now, if you're a support Camille, you are squishy. Now, you have the Callista pull you out with the ult, but you also have the Shockwave to add extra CC and damage. You have the Vi I messed up so much. Yeah, I think, I think Knight. Fight. This is not an easy team fight to Did fight. Did a lot of work um, in this game. I, BLG, make it look easy because everyone is there on the right timing with the right setup. You know, their vision control was great. The way that they played out the macro was really good too. So when they're looking for the fights, everyone is on the same page, just doing unspeakable things to the backline. And honestly, I want to give uh, a few props to the top side from top esports uh, because I feel like they had a pretty good game. I feel like Cream played uh, yeah, it's good. played super well uh, versus uh, Knight on Orianna as well. We saw a uh, we we're kind of joking about the whole rookie part. I was like, we got rookie at home, you know. Cream <laughs> on Tali as well played pretty well. We had three six nine on his own TN. On it was an unplayable game for Draven. As well. I feel like the top side we of saw the it map, throughout the game. The bot side bled so hard mm. onto the map. We have Thresh and Lantern to trying to peel a Draven that Draven uh, from Vile. Camille ult, and honestly, Oriana ult on top, and a Rek'Sai flashing on him. Critical, uh, Actually, impossible. Positioning of Jackie is what it is. A lot of these fights and a lot of these clips, because I feel like a lot of them were a little bit disrespectful. The point where you overextend, you get caught super easily. And it is so hard to position well. That's the other side of it. It's like, yes, did he miss position? Yes, he did quite a bit. But in terms of like how minuscule those differences have to be, they are really not forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Jackie Love, before he was a pro player, he was always the Draven guy. He was yeah. the streamer. He streamed back in 2016. And he is maybe the most famous Draven player in the world. If anyone is going to be confident enough to pick it, it is going to be him. Well, Wait, so he was 15 years old <laughs> streaming I'm Draven? I'm and then he won world know, two years I later? I different ballpark how here. But that when guy? we're looking at the Draven, particularly as we were seeing in the clips that we're going to be playing is that there was literally no space. They're, they were not given a single centimeter. Yeah, so the, the, the problem here is that you have the Callista and the Draven, which are very, very snowball champions, but particularly with Close the Draven against this comp, you have to get ahead.
said, so Top Esports overplay this dive bot side. I think they kind of bait themselves into this thinking, we we have to get the kill spot lane. We have to make something work. Because if this doesn't happen, well, we see what happens in the clips afterwards. Because if you do end up walking up and then someone manages to get onto the Draven, uh, things go really, really bad after at this point. You can't escape from the Camille. The Thresh can't get you the lantern outside of that Camille ultimate. We see later as well, even if the Rex I managed to tag you, they're following that out all as well. Jackalove cannot play these fights. And I feel like the follow-up in general from the sort of BLG was so good. You've got the shockwave for the for the boom factor, for the wombo combo, but there's just so much follow-up walking into the back line. We've said so many times, especially with the likes of the Vi, she needs a dive buddy. She had three. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the big thing from nah, BLG. Nah, bro, it's um, so impossible to play. Yeah, we were talking about how three people in diving on your face. likely just, going just, to be just gets ahead, will stay ahead and close things out. We have seen that really start to materialize through, through bot lanes. So when we see a bot lane draft without the Kalista, the Draven, the Lucian, um, you know, being banned out, the Varus, of course, as well, you're likely going to have very snowball bot lane games. And just so happened that Jackalove was on the, 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 the kind of poor end of this too, of course. No, so now BLG walk away from this, not just beating Jackalove's Draven. You know, so unlucky that Knight died there, by the way. The time. They also be, um, um, beat out. Crazy Orn cringe. On, uh, Orn on his 369. Orn on, Orn on 369? 369. They're one now. I think, Same thing. But do, like games like this with how cleanly they were snowballed really shows us why we are so um, afraid of what BLG could do to other teams in our league. Yeah, to be fair, there was a little blip in that gold graph when it shows that ahead of 15 minutes, there was a little bit of gold advantage for the side of top eSport, but that very quickly just went straight off the charts in favor of BLG. But looking particularly to how all of this played out, I think the draft played a huge part in it because you're looking at that bot lane, you're looking the Camille getting locked in for support, ahead of the thresh you want to play aggressive with that you want to get into people's faces absolutely and i felt like uh, especially since top esports left the support for r5 i was looking for a counter pick right there i was looking potentially for either the alistar or the thresh to come through whether you want to play a little bit more aggressive or try to disposition the draven through the fights we saw that the lantern in the end did not work out at all in their favor Let's put once, a ward on it once camille you know blocks you in you cannot get out however i really want to mention the fact that we're talking a lot in general about vi shun is probably one of the best best Vi players worldwide and he had so many dive buddies right here and knowing how aggressive BLG want to play through that bot lane and bleed it out on the map it felt so seamless to have that Vi Kalista synergy going through. And I think particularly as well when you've got that draft, when it's the Vi with Callista first pick, that's a winning lane most of the time. And then you have the Rexxon top lane. Well, that's very much a winning lane. Nothing beats Rexxon lane right now. Immediately you have top side, bot side winning lane. You're going to trust Knight to win lane as well. So you have Vi with three winning lanes, which is absolutely what this champion thrives off of, even more so than others. So, I mean, uh, I think, yes, there were some really good punishes coming in from BLG in regards to that Draven. But I also think that BLG set themselves up for success absolutely. before it even came through to fruition. So all I'm hearing is win lane, win game. Don't need the jungle to these be teams no. legitimately <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you have a team like BLG which can pull the trigger so well? I don't, I, you just sit there and you cry. But either way, we'll see yeah. whether or not BLG will be able to replicate this success as we're going to be heading into the second game of the series. So we're going to be throwing it over to our casters, Lyric and Mazel. Guys, take it away. Fucking true. Welcome back, Thorin. everyone, to the desk. Thorin about Double of Call Me a Parasite. You want to know who is a parasite on esports? Current day Double of Same guy who helped sabotage his pro players so he could get one last check and have one last shot at Worlds. Didn't uh, make Worlds and then just retired. Cool guy. <laughs> Actively sabotage the negotiations. Camille, it worked incredibly well again. Actively sabotage the walkout. What a great journey of a, of a player that has just consistently been able to improve it's okay. over the years and now being one of the best supports in the LPL. People could argue he's the best support in the LPL, right? Like this guy really showing his impact in that first game and now TS gonna have to counteract it because my God, like like uh, the desk was saying, it was- Oh wait, Top Esports so has OMG's coach from last year? In that game with, with the, the like, such I didn't even know that. Like I don't really moves. know much about coaching you have to in China. Worry about Camille from one side, Vi with the ultimate, Rek'Sai jumping in. But BLG probably aren't going to stop making Jackie Life's life hard. <laughs> Zell, so, Jackie uh, Life's figured out. Yeah, Jackie Life's going to be in trouble. Uh, I'm really interested what Jackie Love can do though. Uh, I want to actually see. I, I know you didn't like it. I know, and you're gonna you're gonna hate me. But I want to see some late game carries for these two guys. And I would love to see maybe some Zarys coming to the series. That Varus as well, a big one for Jackie Love in the past. Oh, they have despair. The series nice. Against JDG itself. But at, at some point, you got to wonder, do some of these bands have to start coming through? The, the adaptation from that game, number one. I think the Ari is something that has to stay permanently banned. 
but we start looking at the different setups now. What does BLG bring to the table? Is there an answer to the Camille if they just go that again? Yeah, I think it, it I mean, I don't think they can just outright show that, right? With how the draft had already panned out, having the Draven down in that bot side, feeling comfortable that they were going to be able to win out through jungle, pressure down towards it. I, I think it was all able to come together. So, I mean, TS not showing too much in that first game, right? Lent on some very familiar picks with the uh, Draven and the Orn. Mm. So now we'll get to see, right? Things like that, Varus, if they'll be able to rear their head. That one was open in that first game. And again, gives you that that consistency and being able to contest okay. early. Kalista banned by top esports this time. Draven up. up. With team swapping sides, the Kalista now going to be taken off by Tez. Varus gone from BLG. Varus was like really OP for Jack Love in the previous like series. Ash. Ends up being a Nautilus first pick. Okay. Even, you know, her two no Senna though. Carries. Not oh, Rek'Sai. On the table, but it seems like maybe valuing top lane pressure. Even if they go so, Rek'Sai for 369, will Bin go potentially Udyr? Really been loving it. Is that that is like the best in the end. lane that we've okay, seen against Rek'Sai. Jackie Love tried and true, but Lucian Nami. Okay. In the 2v2 bot side. What does BLG play into it? We came into this series. They can go Nautilus the themselves. They How want to. Quickly, are we gonna get resources delved out to Jackie Love and Elk? I think this game is going to be no if not they can go things like um uh, like people do like so zeri lulu so people go zeri nautilus zeri lulu um affilios lulu down there we'll all this type of stuff is for blg they are just okay shun playing so zin jail sure. normally you pair zin jail with like karma or um make sure he has or oriana that jungle and again, a lot of, I'll just say a lot of our more aggressive lanes are taken away. BLG do end up okay. with the Kaelin. BLG end up going Kaelin. They used to like Kaelin Milio when Lucian Milio was being picked early. They would always pick Kaelin Milio into it. But I don't know what they actually go here with Kaelin. Do they go Kaelin? Like, what What are they actually prep, prepping for? Because we don't see Kaelin Lux much anymore. Happy tree. Not happy. Uh, but Tez gonna lean into it. So a lot of you know easier setups with with vision and controlling objectives. Gonna be never play scaling, but scaling I think they literally now, played Zeri before, right? And this actually sets up for a very interesting second phase for them because to me, oh, BLG are so fun to watch, man. This feels like the, that Cream is getting some sticks here. He's getting some fisticuffs to fight of his own. I'm very interested in what they want to go for to pair up with Tian on the Maokai and a lot of the the objective control you can have, which was lacking. I feel like in that first game for top esports that Lux lock in though you always know BLG got to keep it spicy and the Caitlyn Lux super good together. Caitlyn Lux, yeah, okay. I'm I mean, no one plays this anymore, but let's see it. Tristana, I, I'm, I don't really like Caitlyn Lux in the current the Nico, current Nico time. Question that, is, that, does um really shown that, that he's able to does Cream play Jace here? Maybe really like Tristana would have been his his preferred champion, but that's banned. Does he play Jace? Or is it a Cream Yone? Wait, it's Cream Yone here, no? <gasps> Wait, is it Cream Yone? Did BLG not realize it's a Cream Yone pick? I feel like Yone would be actually sick. Like, Yone's pretty damn good into Caitlyn Lux when you have, like, Maokai Yone. Maybe it's too, uh, too out there. And that's a conversation I really but Cream Yone was, like, one of his best champs. That's why I'm thinking about it. Like, all the time I watched him on OMG, at least his that last, became uh, one of his main three picks that he actually went to top OMG four with OMG with. Feels like as a mid laner, but he has slotted in so a creamy well Yone? God damn, bro! Please, put it right here in the draft. And his flexibility in draft is what I really love to see them use this split. Rexai Do we get potentially or Yone? You know what else might be obnoxious despite being very nerfed and us not seeing much more of? Is if he just ends up going Karma and we have all Oh, I thought he was going to go Yone. I thought he was going to say Yone. On their I don't know why I have a feeling, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. I mean, Jace time. would be the standard pick. Yeah, yeah, you also could really go like Udyr top. To make that pick work. 369 Urgot? TS. Again, we don't have a lot of great answers. Yo, okay, 369 Urgot. There we go. We actually have the, the original. The original. Oh my god, I love it. Oh man, it was so funny to me whenever I was uh, guesting on LCS this split that Whippo has become a prominent figure in LCS. And do the Yone, bro. Come on, bro. Memories with the Come on, he's thinking he's about so it, dude. You saw the hover. China and his, the Urga, oh my god, I'm so uh, it also gives them They thought about it, bro. They were talking about it. Esports. Yeah, gonna, gonna wanna hope and try to bully out in that top side. TS, you can see, showing the Yone, thinking of going that route of, of bringing Oriana. more engaged. They can go AD having... 
uh, the Maokai in the jungle, but instead opt out of it. Azir will still be able to try to find those angles himself with the Emperor's Divide onto the Lux and Kaelin, but providing you more consistent DPS, going to be able to try and stay uh, a fair bit away from things like yeah. the Zinjao and the Rex. I'm down with right Asol. I'm down with Vagar. So it seems like, okay, BLG end up blocking. I think all these picks Vagar, are fine. But still, it, the, the name of the game would have been the same, right? Playing out. I don't remember range, too much Knight really Vagar, trying. though. I remember There's a lot of uh, Yagal Vagar, but I don't remember a Knight Vagar, really. Lux duo three times so far, and we're, we're generally finding success with it. Uh, I hope everybody's getting their invites for the party bot lane again. Uh, I hope this time everyone gets everything they ask for. Uh, but I think the, the real conversation is how quickly Shun and Tian are going to get down there. And, and I do really like, as just a little caveat for the, the Vagar, uh, the amount of peel and denying. He only has two games of Vagar all time. At least from the Maokai of Tian. That's huge. Only two yeah, Vagar games yeah, yeah. all time. Really might be able to, to, to prevent so many players so, yeah. from being able to come through. And this one's going to be interesting. I think, especially with the addition of that Urgot in top lane, I'm, I'm really curious to see how that matchup goes with Zell. And if 369 is really just going to be able to like drive this one home and, and how much jungle attention that ends up pulling. True. So, a lot of questions to be asked. And again, neither of these teams showing their full hands just yet, getting a curveball every time. In game number one, we talked so much about these teams being our two most dominant early game teams. It doesn't mean they can't fight in late game, but we have seen them completely destroy games. BLG, they had TS in a chokehold in that game number one. TS Last time he played it, back. apparently it was in Everfrost meta in 2022 spring. So he didn't even play it last year. Like last year, there was some Vagar, I remember. And it's game Is there a little bit of Vagar? Between Billy Billy Randomly popped up. And top esports. Legends abound, but all of this on a potential comeback from top esports after game number one. God, I love these crowds, man. Just give it up for the audience. I, I, I appreciate the energy so much. I'm sure the players do as well. But that's an intense matchup. So many stars. So many world champions on the side of top esports. And a super team in the making, it feels like. On a the channel link is wrong. just split so far here, Lyric. Yeah, they've, again, really showing their stuff. It's just being able to take down JDG in that last series. Now, going to have to be able to come back against BLG, who, the lane. again, have a lot of range to be able to play with. So they're going to try and just bully their way in here. Oh, yeah, it is. With Ons oh. E. You could see people like Jack Hilvin make a waiting in the wings, but I don't really know how much they could do to contest this. <laughs> I'm going to take oh, a ton of damage. I'm actually going to fight for it. Oh, man. He's going to burn the flash. And Ooh, what's happening, bro? Summoners what's going on? Bot side burn from top esports. We saw the last time that Jackie Love didn't have flash. It didn't go well. BLG can use this level one to move Ian? on to TN. He does end up getting that one. I mean, Shun does hit level two off of it. Well, that was uh, interesting. Still, Are they going to stay in the jungle? Fuck it, bro. I mean, Tien has smite and Shun doesn't. Don't tell me they level one gank. They're going to level one gank uh, Jackie Love, actually. They actually are level one ganking him. I love it. They just want the advantage. Okay, should go for the... Uh, oh, never mind. ...to see if Tien had been down here because they realize it could be dicey if they do Tien. Bro, they're still not in their lane. Oh, Knight got, or uh, Shun got level two off this. Guys, I guess BLG really want bot side presence. I love that they're playing this like what the game. fuck am i watching what kind of adventure board. game is this the fuck am i watching the kind where you're giving nah they are so ill dude they just hit list do random shit for, but we come back to lane again blg have found an advantage to this early game and kind of looking more holistically at what blg want to do right we, we talked about in draft jungle pressure on bot lane but for blg it's not really about finding kills it's about enabling the 2v2 to bully out through the range ts though they want to find the kills they need kills on jackie love to have any success tian has skirted around any vision okay. even though they're this is just some psychopath gameplay get it because of how much range blg can play john is here over here Tien's here now making his way oh they're just 3v3 laning bot nice what well, happened to the game i love still not level two Get one light binding from on it could make the biggest difference here the slow gonna come down jackie love stepping up to force on back the tension is huge down here and ts no they give up this presence 
the Caitlyn Lux will rule this bot lane kingdom. They cannot let that happen. Mako flashing. My goodness, the damage potential there, and they're going to crash the wave as well. Shun and Tian just standing there. The longer the standoff goes on, the more it just favors them, right? Because this is pretty much the name of the game for Shun, which is find out where Tien is, hover around bot side, yep. make sure... Bro, he's, he's done one camp. He's done one camp as Maokai. He's starting his second camp now. It's 3.30, man. It's so crazy ill what's going on. Uh, we did see, just to kind of go back to the opposite side of the map, because who, who knows mm -hmm. when we'll really be able to talk to that. Surprise, they actually, um, go Lux after the support item nerfs. And even, uh, Urgot's passive, you know, the shotgun legs. I think it would just make Lux damage, weaker, but maybe not. Later on. Is the LPL Still, I'm familiar with? Yeah, it's just, I don't know CS what's going on. I mean, I know what's going on, but it's like, it's fucking crazy to play. Here. League like this, man. As we see, the last time played was himself with Top Esports. Still burrowed by the way. I'd love to see it. Been a thousand three. Is the Urgot really good into Rek'Sai, man? Ooh, and that, I never I, minded I, playing I, like sustained matchups into Urgot, even if they can like execute you from 25% HP or whatever. Oh, flash Q flash onto Mako. Mako is dead, bro. Mako is just, just straight up dead off that. Shit, now now uh, Jackalove is kind of fucked too. Look at his wave. Already five minutes in. And I mean, Mako just thinking he has a window. Jackalove might get punished too on. Gonna throw out the E, but he he rooted the cannon. We'll lose one of the melees, but cannon is ours. It wasn't too far away. It was like up more towards mid in river, but still. I mean, there was enough distance there for BLG to be able to find the kill in no time for any follow-up to, to show up. The craziest thing is, On is not some new player. Yes, he's made a, a big splash for his game on BLG itself. Oh, right, clean? We've seen him on Suning, we've yes, seen cleanse. Him on Weibo. There's no it, trap from Elk to follow up. Difference, but here it feels like he's setting the Dude, tempo. Mako still doesn't have Q, does he? Champs. And yeah, Botlane is lost. Really? Just Ball and stuff here. Done's walking again, bot. Like, so so consistent uh, as a support towards the top end over this past year. Still, we're gonna see TS at least able to find something with the pressure that 369's been able to generate, picking up. Oh, by far my favorite uh, support in the world. He's so good. Right yeah, he's he's really good, man. Oh, oh, he walked into the trap there. That walked into the trap, but he still had his cleanse CC out. reduction, whatever. And, uh, Bullshit. Gonna be worse for wear, and that's a decent. Subject. And gets three grubs. Cool as those three grubs finally go over to the end. So Shun still is not based, man. Kind of crazy that he hasn't based. I feel like basic would be yeah, so nice for him. Slow pushing. They're gonna play for. Anything. What are they playing for? Yeah, They're doing Dra yeah, Drake? Really oh my god, this is gonna take 45 years to do, so man. It's crazy to do Drake here, Sean. Big thing is I'm starting to get the ball rolling with the Drakes. We saw it actually lead out to so much success. Team's coming, LG helping. In the last game, setting their tempo of getting those objectives, taking the early trade of those grubs to top esports, even though they were on the other side. It's gonna be continued. This took so long, man. Shoot has found uh, a decent CS differential over Tian. He'll he's got crab up. Upgrading that, I feel like. Dude, he still isn't based. I, I do wonder, is, is there some proactivity that needs to come from? Like base for any items, I mean. Bottom side, or are they fine getting to a point where they can get team fights going? Like I mean, he actually has no items, like man. TSR this is so crazy to me. I think three six nine should be able to keep generating pressure like throughout the game. Again, he's gonna be a real source of damage later on. Now, what is he based on? Tunneler. Tunneler longsword. I mean, he's forty three CS. Tunneler longsword. All right, based on tunneler longsword, guys. I guess. Down to to just the executions and like the angles they could find, right? I think TS are gonna have to. Not not to the, the crazy extent, right, as BLG with the Camille and the Vi last game, but it's going to be about trying to find some of those angles to just close the distance against BLG's comp. You should assume they should be able to get Prya wherever they send their artillery squad in the Caitlyn Lux. You're going to have ways to be able to get around that as the game progresses. But sadly, during the laning phase, they really will yeah. just be locked in down in this 1v1. But again, look, there's both their soul laners are winning. We haven't talked about Crane, but even he's finding a bit of an advantage up against Knight. Bro, is this yeah, really Urgot? Urgot gameplay? Ooh. Okay, flash settles out. The damage there in the end. And Bin still has CP, just TB's back top. <sighs> 369 has CP as well. I feel like come between these two top laners as time progresses, Tien. Going for a little Rek'Sai bit of full build? Yep, now he's full build. Find anything, but back towards bot side we go. As, as we'll always, as we always story. do. 
But still, we haven't actually seen the Kalen. Oh, let's get getting the calling damage down early. Pretty nice, making you know trying to stop those. Uh, I mean, it's not like they've got on. many yeah, plates bought or anything. It's not like they have like done too much. Plates other than just the one so far. Falling in this game. Oh, Tian is level five. He's behind them, but he's only level five. I don't feel like they would want to fight right now. Like Tian is just hiding out. We actually get a nice. This is crazy for him to be here, man. Vision. Wind does become lightning, and Mako can have to burn his. Jun gets a flash heal. With this gank, so he could have committed under the turn, but he would have probably died for it. Would have been worth. Now they can bring um, Vagar down, and they can three man it though. Or they can look for Tian. Tian is uh, no man's land. Tian's in no man's land right now. On on is gonna move. Tian has to like try to flash and phase rush out. I think he has to like flash on Knight or something. Okay, okay. Oh, he got a little. Yeah, he ends up living. Coming in as well with Ace in the hole. He's willing to burning the flash. That's big. On. The Maokai, we've seen so many plays with that Flash Bramble Smash. Yeah, so gonna be able to make sure that it's even harder for him to be able to close the distance when we said for TS, at least once we get that's post lane phase. Do. <laughs> yeah, that, oh. that'll be with a look. Oh my god, Knight nice CS is it too, he doesn't give a fuck. More than just a bit of damage here. Oh, oh! oh my goodness, he has oh, wow. Q Flash R, Q Flash R, he's, he's, dead. Dead. he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Does he have the damage? The Damn! That's that's sad. Oh, cream, bro. Cream can't make mistakes like that in this series. Oh, 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 oh. That's super illegal, bro. You can't let the fucking tier Merc Treads Amp Tome Vagar kill you. That's so big and a big setup for the scaling aspect of BLG. That's something I wanted to talk about earlier. Is you can't let this guy kill you on these items, man. The BLG is too good. We got to play better. That's my goat, though. They have so much CC. They have my baby goat. And he will scale to infinity. And again, the just the cage. Just oh, is this guy? Oh, he has flash. Because three six nine now has to have a bit of He's got eight legs. Okay, lyric. He can move fast. Still, though, you know, I don't think it'd be ideal is for him to be legs down a flash. Six? six legs, I think. I don't know. I think it's Urgoc, six. Urgoc I mean, he has six things legs. around him, so Wait, it should be six legs. Six legs and two arms, so it equals. Eight. Okay, it's fine. I, I, my math is fine. Results based analysis. Does he three or reverse sweep? Yeah. Exactly. Solo kill. This is what we want to see, right? I mean, it's really just great use of the cage, not having that dash there as we just saw it being already used by Cream, which is why the flash. Yep, has Q to flash R, bro. Out. And I love it, like you said, ba -ba, having ba -ba, the ba -ba, ba -ba. running him down. <laughs> you think, finish it off. You think that, that's what Knight's saying in Chinese? First saying the Chinese is equivalent? Like, who knows where Mad, did you just games? hear your fucking no mid laner just start making those noises? Mid-game. Oh. Like he's fine, he's fine. Those, like, sound came up Cream is ult as well. Cream flash. Knight was like, oh. I got this. No flash on Bin, but he has a tunnel pre-made. Bin here won't be able to find him. They've got yeah. so much mobility to play with here for BLG in the early parts of the game. We are getting a collapse around these grubs, and Top Esports gonna start it up. BLG's composition plays a lot better when it's already on the objective first, and it could really try to zone you away. <laughs> ba 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 Chovy, yes, true, bro. That is literally what he said. In, but it's, looking rough. it's not like a it's great sure fight for BLG on. yet. They're not on, like, huge items or anything. Okay, Ana's just dead. Kian has no flash, though. Okay, Cream still has ult. Cream is still has ult. Yeah, BLG doesn't win this fight. Six of the Telegrubbies to top esports. A nice job, TS. I mean, already making their way up there, playing off 369's prior to, to start those off. And again, usually you want the Caitlyn there first, setting down the traps. The Lux constantly throwing out the poke, and that wasn't possible. So, going to be able to find some some nice advantages now with the six. That, as well as the first item spike coming up. We are no flash? Static ship oh, oh now he might be in trouble. Uh, you don't have flash this time, but you do have oh, oh, okay, he's dead, he's dead. He's going to flash for him. He wants he's to dead. get a little bit more right. damage here. You have TN coming down the way. As they won't actually, they're just gonna commit for it. Okay, they really want Kareem, they want some more stacks. Jun is alive for right alive. now. Knight's still alive, too. He has the cage to deny Tien, and maybe Damn, he bro. around here get some damage back. Wait, on 369 him. had a wave on turret, he didn't even like walk. Bandits. I guess he couldn't walk. I mean, BLG real. Oh, Onslow is flash. Oh. Bro, it just looks, it looks so weak, man. Lux looks so weak with these items now. Maybe when you get Zaza Pachulia, you're fine. I actually have the angle here. Nice oh, the Q, the R flash, bro. He's sick. They're gonna get the TP out, no though, as that will be cream. I like it, bro. Okay, no sums on uh, Jackie Love. No sums on Jackie Love. No flash on on.
I love LPL way Mizzy too much, man. Shit hypes me up. That almost looked really being back and forth. On had to blow his flash, but he ended up getting both of Jackie Love some. So just like last game, it feels like any time I'm looking over at Jackie Love, those just not being available. BLG doing such a good job of consistently punishing him and making sure he's able to get that one through. Did a whole lot of this nothing, but it looked cool. No, I mean, the reason why he has the R flash is like, you can channel your R and then you flash backwards and then you're out of range so they can't hit you during your R. Early last game, but now top esports getting more of that <laughs> chatting they're just getting fighting for the dragons, for no reason now, though and we're getting to a point where they no yep they have zero reason fight composition to move around the map they just fight for zero reason and, now, and uh, about just ends up working out somehow place where they can show off right you already have jackie love in top side so they're gonna have prio you can move down first blg gonna try and contest that through mid but again, it just might be a bit scary with with jackie love not being able to safely enter but Tian Zolt can also just still cause so many problems for the whole of BLG's composition. Yeah, our flash on Lux is like um like our flash on Ezreal, same type of thing. They stay at full vision on BLG here. Top esports just looking to continue objective dominance, and this is Balin is just laning in all lanes. Yeah, they're just walking around, bro. They're just doing their thing. It's not a big lead, even though we're dead even. They are in the driver's seat, it feels like. And BLG Knight drops away. a wave here to walk down, I feel like the help his the team. Should just be so much I don't feel like they should be doing this, though. I feel like Knight should just go back it top. hasn't been able to finish up his Sunfire just yet. They do both have TP, so if 369 did What's TP, Zaza yeah, Pachulia? It's the item that uh, towards Lux Tez. players build. But Tez are taking their time. Cream pushed After Bloodsong nerf. Now Knight is forced to answer. You can see him leaning down, which is enabling this aggression from the rest of TES. And I think a little thing to look out for uh, is once Jackie Love gets to that second, third item, the immediate en en engages, especially with his dash, to take big chunks of health off people is going to be super important for top esports. They are just forcing the fight over this Rift Herald. As soon on the other side, we will get the 1v1 with okay. the here. He gets pushed back. The Rift Herald goes over to Tien. They're going to take the fight here, too, as Jackie Love uses it. looks pretty good. That is the Crescent Guard used as well. So a couple big ulties and a tussle side too. Yeah, TS I mean, they have really to just keep on scaling. To find a I think this is, there, but still at this least is probably going to be a game where Knight goes... You know, they get, they get oh, maybe not. I was they thinking he would probably go Shirelius here because Azir range and so like, Lucian is kind of hard to get to. As well. really now he's just going full AP. He's going to go Death Cat Void. Minute sequence from TS. PLG now. Wow. They really want to come contest. The Crescent Guard does so much. Just, oh no, Tien. He has primary. Relax, Knight, bro. Relax. So damage, just a couple more trades there. Knight wants it. He has flash. Don't Q flash it, bro. You're so ill if you do it. <laughs> that bubble pulls them off. Chill out, Knight. Chill out. His jungler. As Cream using his sun disc in the top side. We have to look at now. 369 on the opposite side of the map trying to get some work done into his turret. Yeah, having a bit of a CS lead. Uh, so Vin is losing out, but he just got off his reset. Has finally gotten the Sunfire Cape bot up. Still not really going to change the dynamic of the 1v1 <laughs> again. 369 is really just being rooting for one of these teams or it doesn't matter with that. Ergot. No, it doesn't really matter for me. And this is again, I like, like both the, the teams of TS where maybe past years of TS like, would. Yeah, I like all the teams that are left, to be honest. Their foot on the pedal a, a bit more aggressively. This what teams that I not like? I mean, I wasn't a big like fan of WE. I didn't really like Weibo or LNG the split. After getting mid as long as those and teams didn't go far, I was fine with it, man. Right, playing a bit of the map, start leaning down into bot side jungle. And getting vision set up to make it hard for blg to be able to walk in and that might be your avenue where, where you finally find the picks you've been looking for top esports will once again hit the milestone of uh first turret in a game consistent success story for them even though it didn't work out for them last game Ooh. full combo like barely does half the hp in the trade i don't know man that's what blg are looking for that right is there, luck support actually good for success with a little bit more follow oh he didn't even go so, uh zaza patrulia it's a less the opposition, I guess. a bit of time to, to get some of these items going is, uh, uh, I'm getting tense. I'm getting tense. Both, <laughs> both the teams, 3v3s, are in the same area. And it feels like every time that happens, uh, we see the contest come out as shown, having no fear contesting these rap Raptors. But Jackulov has been doing such a great job, man, with this yeah, calling, forcing Elker on out and, and really not giving them the freedom. Hell, this is one of the, one of the, only times really seeing BLG not able to get into positions where the Caitlyn and, and Lux are. You guys in a so sec. Hold on. When so everything dies down. They have cream coming down. TP 
from Knight joining the bubble with the Crescent Guard pop. That cleanse from Dracula was pretty big. The Ace and Hole used. Oh, that guy's is dead or what? Not gonna catch anybody. Oh! Here comes the play. Kareem making the big dash, and they actually. Dracula dead? He's under Been old? Still. He's taking so much damage. Okay, it's a scrap. Oh my God, it's Vagar. Wait, it looked it looked oh sick, but it was terrible from Cream. Oh my God, 369 actually ended up trading one back. Damn, big fight. Big fight, big win for BLG. Dude, this Vagar is doing so much damage, actually. Knight is doing so much work. I cannot wait to get a replay to see exactly how all that went down because my God, BLG somehow. I thought BLG was getting smurfed on there. It's all gonna be from here, like you said, a ton of mites coming through. Jackula forced to use that cleanse early on, so Knight with a really good cage. But it's like, all right, we know Cream's going upward, but how do they? How does Elk not just get turbo one shot here? Oh, the flash from Ben was great. Cream just was sold out for it. I guess it was too deep. Yeah, I guess it was just simply too deep. Is what it is. Also, Elk completely griefs here. Walking forward to Q. Alright, there's no flashes on people now. Top esports looks like they still want to contest. Biggest thing about this rec size, we haven't seen true answers into it. The answer has been, can you be bigger in team fights? Both 369 and Bin have been massive already in the few engages that they've been a part of. Now we get a dragon reset, and this is second dragon. It's not that big of an objective, but momentum is key, and both these teams want to. Both fight. these teams want to fight this shit. Wait, does the what are the items? Does Knight have death cap? No way, right? Uh, no way, he has death cap. He doesn't have enough farm for it, I don't think. Pretty nice. Who gets Drake? Advantage for uh, Maokai with Smite War. Oh, just dead or what? Oh, okay. Cream went in. Kind of scary how Cream went in there. Oh, they don't even kill. Hey, big. He didn't have death cap, right? Oh, he went. Oh, wait, he went Banshees. Oh, my God. I forgot. He went Banshees. Nah, there's no way you go Banshees here, right? Banshees sounds so whack on Vagar this game. I hate that build that people go. Bro, also, JDG's watching the series. They have a box at the arena. It's their arena. It's JDG's arena. Look, they have a box. They have a box. All of this food. Look at the view. Bo! It looks clean, no? Their arena looks insane, bro. That's just their arena. That's just the JDG arena. These teams just have fucking their own arenas and shit. That I thought would completely disrupt the play. It's like, how can they keep going? Well, there's your answer, Cream. Finding <laughs> a way. And it seems like Shun also did kind of just accept his fate a little bit there. But it didn't matter. The, ca the cage placement, the binding from on, it just wasn't enough. And that's why I said, right? It, it really feels like this dynamic's going to come down to it if TS can, can find the way onto BLG's members. But even at this point, it's like. I feel like we're seeing a lot more value in the poke coming out from Jackie Love in the culling. Yeah, it's the newest really arena. Seen, the new, the uh, newest arena in China is JDG's arena in Beijing. Coming out from the That's where the playoffs are this year, I think. Pretty sure. That's the most uh, interesting thing is he had such heavy presence in the 2v2 and bot side early, just like last game. And we're getting to team fights where it's very hard for these guys to navigate this. But a little bit easier execution for BLG's side. Just land a combo, land some traps, and you get somebody dead. But we are getting close to those third items, at least for Jackie Love as well. That'll be a big spike for them to utilize. And it's going to be about how BLG can pick off members before these fights. Yeah, right now, as we can see here. Bro, I hate the build. I mean, he needs to go set something up, but it's, it's hard. void here, no? Especially from, from behind. It's even Knight needs to go play. void. Bro, I hate the Banshees. I hate it. 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 hate it. hate it. hate it. hate it. hate it. I fucking hate it. Give him the safety to be able to clear some of these waves. And for TS, I don't really feel like they're feeling too pressured themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen many times, again, especially once Culling's up, they can very easily chunk one of these members through and... They have Cream right now pushing aside unanswered. So they know they're at least finding yeah. pressure somewhere for free. LG actually looking to posture up that way. And I, I think another interesting point here is how Top Esports have given Cream a little bit. Phase Rush, bro, the sapling proc this Phase Rush. So he didn't have the W. Relying on him for a lot of 
EQ. And even though he doesn't have any kills to himself, right. he's already been really, auto really sapling. Setting up oh my god. Damage. See, this is something that happened in game number one. Jackie Bro, this Lux looks like, fucking so useless to me. Lux with Mikhail's rush. That you want to see out of Lucian. He's trying to make his way up against the and I think hope for an opportunity to hit Tyler. It was fucking shot. gross, no? Just not expecting Elf to be right over. Is that shit table. not fucking gross to you? So not the end of the world. I mean, he did oh, have yeah. his team right behind him and BLG not really having any easy ways of taking him down. Maybe I guess the binding from on chained into the ults there could have done a bit of damage, but even then Jackie love his cleanse. Yeah, he's still Oh, the Whaler is back. So the Whaling right William now, is back. Four kills on 369's Urgot. He's almost on those three items, but another big fact is that Knight, the MVP of spring regular season, 3-0-3 oh, on the Vigar, almost on three items himself. He's really going to be the one you have to worry about because he's going to be the hardest man to find find access to with the cage. Just covers such a large area, right? And hell, even having the Banshee, so having the Spell Shield there too, just in case. Just has to ult, just like that. There's a Crescent Guard out. The bubble doesn't connect. Uh, it looks really hard, man. How do they fight this next Drake? The utility they can't, no? That BLG really want to also, have. is Randuin's even good here, man? And a blue buff for top esports. Not too like Randuin's is pretty mediocre. The Randuin, so gonna have just that little bit more tankiness. That little Doesn't even have it yet, bro. Scary. Damn, he's actually so yeah. far behind. Like you said, now Chun was... Uh, uh, Chun had, like, what? Like, 50 CS? Like, like, in his first clear like before he basically had like 43 cs or some shit since then he's farmed less than 100 that's crazy man i get choked out right now burn the flash does doesn't want to get connected on in case tn can follow up in case the rest of the top esports can follow up the division game being played towards top side but we've been much more reserved in this second game than we were in that first game Bro, how strong is 369 actually? Comfortable in this Look at 369's items. It, it feels like a bunch of things, right? TS, I mean, since they got on the front foot, like having the ability to finally play their game. Is such a giga chat? Nah, yeah, he plays the game in like such a, such a respectable way. Also, on wasn't even getting hit there, man. He's lost all of his life by accident. They just have to give third Drake. Seems yeah, impossible to fight, man. Keeping it nice and steady now. Just need to wait another five minutes, and they will be able to claim that hex. And I goes crit boom for it. He has to go crit boom Much here. Like BLG in game number one, they will. If he doesn't go crit bloom, I don't think they can play. They have the advantage of almost three thousand gold. They also now have the third item on Jackie Love with an IE completed there. But that power feels like it, it kind of slips under the radar a lot of the times especially in a situation where you're playing so dominant that next dragon blg have to fight this is a hex tech soul you cannot let that one go and top esports can be ruthless around the map because of that and they're gonna keep they're gonna keep it up as you pointed out the ie now is huge jackie love seriously is going to be hitting so incredibly hard uh, already having the wave up towards top side because they've been playing around cream and he's so I unkillable I mean, they're waiting for. Be a trap. Oh, like they're waiting. They're waiting for uh, Caitlyn to be there to try to kill. I mean, at least they got his flash. Legs, like we were saying earlier, and you're losing your entire top side. Well, especially like that play only opens up doing this even more. So right, it's like, oh hey, they have they have three members there. They're got good into Rexai. I mean, it's playable. I feel like nothing actually stops Rexai from being Rexai, but some stuff is playable, I guess. All three of them are out here. Nature's oh, they just walk away from the oh, ulti from Maokai. Nice. It was so close to being able to connect. Kind of, honestly, though, from the point of view, it was kind of anticlimactic. Like, all right, let's just speed up little Maokai ultimate. Tien just walked up there bold. Trying to contest their global red. Them. They were still mid lane. I think BLG Tien, relax. Tien a little bit out, but he is very tanky. Red buff stolen, or at least taken, not stolen by BLG. They were trying to turn this into a fight. To come out with. Now, Bin was looking for an angle. They Shun has two Qs stacked. He's looking for, like, flash Q3 though. auto. Let's knock up somebody. This really the build for Cream? This looks so ugly. What is he building? Ionic Spark? The hell is going on? But Finn walking over, so I like the TS have the consciousness to back off. And now this is what we've been waiting for is when they're gonna look to pull this Baron. Tens up is our ult is already almost up again. If they do, oh they're just going. Three six nine coming in. 
he hasn't been one of the most decisive barons okay shun shun they can combo with vigor they can combo with vigor oh he gets it is cream dead bro that's a crazy one man that's so unfortunate uh tian man uh tian what a huge steal going over for Sean, and it feels so sad for TS who've been playing a nice game. You know, the past 15 minutes completely wow, wait. in their control, but now wait. BLG might be able to get some of those sieges they So want Cream You're gonna have like is sitting on Zhonya's components, but then he just built a full Rabadon, or uh, not Rabadon, Abyssal Mask. What the fuck? That's crazy. Out, but Shun's just being that much better, sadly, coming down to the flip. And Crypt Bloom for Vagar. I don't know, man. Like, he needs Rabadons. They have LDR completed for Elk. Maybe they start fighting soon. I mean, they have Baron. They can. They gotta be careful, though. Like, they're they're kind of weaker than the enemy team. And sometimes when you're weaker with Baron, you get baited into sieging. And then you just get your neck snapped. They have to just play around this Drake, probably. I like that TS, you know, just the resident Gambas over here. So we're gonna see what went down in the right side. But... You say, yeah, it's a nice stadium, man. BLG nice stadium. have the Baron. Their comp is great at being able to siege you down, but it's like, huh, TS can just preemptively group up and, again, kind of have the threat of those engages there. BLG might not actually be able to do too much, but so far they're doing a nice job. I love that they're just, like, pivoting in this area and river, constantly being able to threaten playing down towards Ben and at least just taking that one turret. So the threat is always there. It really is. And that's... Honestly, this is the kind of game that I, I really wanted to have. We get a little bit more reservation because both these teams love to explode. And we are one or two big team fights away from this game exploding. And that makes it so... Who is the bigger choker, Socket or Tien? Seconds until a Bro, you're comparing Socket to Tien? In a Hextech rift. Are you ill, brother? Socket is a three-time 10th place LEC player. Finally, Lord Doms and, you know, even Crypt Bloom there for night. So they're going to be able to try and deal with 369 and TN if that's the only option they have in terms of hitting frontline. Might actually have enough time to do this. There's opening mid, bro. They're opening mid. Mid is open. Mid is open. barreling down mid. Okay, BLG are just saying, oh, Knight is CP. Wait, this CP is mega it, no? Okay, it's fine, I guess. What the hell? Horizon, pretty big to Guys, they're ending the game. Oh, nice. BLG they ended the game. Oh, nice. GG. Yeah, we just lost the game. Excellent. They strike at the <laughs> we got tier two and they get uh, soul and they got mid. Nice. Well played, guys. The bot side tier two that BLG got. I mean, they should just lose Drake here. They should just lose the game. crazy. They didn't really have a wave, but like if you tried to commit Cream to stopping recalls, but with the Baron, it would have been impossible. Cream probably would have died. So I love it. Pivot over to the Hex deck, Drake. And now I need a nice Hex soul, man. How are you going to play against Lucian Nami with Hex soul? We're predicting this to, to, to go the distance, but it's nice to see the back and forth coming through with TS being in control of this game for for, for almost the whole time, right? It was really only that, that like set of laning phase where it was especially just so back and forth in that 2v2. Yeah, it really was. And uh, now with this soul, we have the timer on the Elder here. BLG got to play around with that one last time. So the top esports will allow themselves to be pushed that far. It's like they have a strong upper hand even with just the 2,000 gold lead. It's about the way that their composition comes together. The fact that Jackie Love is almost on full items now and you just got a third and a half item completed for Cream. Yeah, and right, Cream. Cream went the more defensive route, uh, having the grasp, going the abyssal mass. I mean, now we're just waiting his, for Knight Deathcap, uh, or the game is unplayable. If we're Jack, Jack BLG, only getting harder to actually be able to take down. Are we fighting for no reason this time? Just, Wait, who was fighting for no reason? There was no fighting there, pretty much. Line, but pretty much any member on TS is Cream, even sitting on that buckler. I do really um, like that Elk's going the kind of. Crypt. Wait, so we're just gonna build a Horizon yeah, Focus dry? We're just gonna go McHale's into Horizon Focus? Ain't no way, bro. I refuse to believe that's a thing. He does get that sun disc in mid. His knight coming around the corner here. They're just going to press this one down. They will lose their jungle, though. Top Esports coming in and taking clean and house a bit. We could actually see a big part of this gold league being up in that top lane. The one between Jack oh, and Elf is not as large, but 369 compared to Bid. Yeah, about 3,000 gold. Massive. For a guy that has been massive since his homecoming to top esports, I, I know in our previous cast we called the best top laner in the LPL, if not maybe the world, uh, and, and he has represented the way that he plays the top lane 
against a lot of our top laners where we see a lot of aggressive picks the side lane Top teams are chinese only uh jdg has two koreans exactly blg you know, is people, five chinese now, top like esports is five chinese as well yeah jdg success especially with knights success best two teams right now in china three, six, nine, are all chinese really though started that like that, that we'll see maybe jdg can can JDG, come back right? he, he went to that roster a year before night now leaving he's someone i think we need to look at the same level of reverence you know yeah. is your turret proc the hexel does it able to get TS sounds crazy bro into that finals i guess i, I can see it kind of JDG, they did all those kind of makes sense my biggest uh happiness for 369 he's the smile isn't guy. mako he's korean yeah he's the fun guy and yeah uh, he's korean definitely bringing some fun with the origami at the top side maybe not to bin's fun as TS moving out with Jackie Love, they'll get so much damage on Shun, and now they can just push up mid lane. Knight oh, Korean? No? Yeah, Knight is Korean too. They're actually all hey, Korean. I just like lied to you all. They are all just Korean. Just it's 10 Koreans side, in the game. Maybe they're just waiting for the Baron to come up. In though, like, like you're mmming at. Trying to be sneaky. Mm. It's a trap. Oh, it's a double trap. Maybe Jackie crazy. Love, bro. Oh, no. Jackie just fucking put him in the dumpster. Oh, and Ben and Jun flashed it. His game's over, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's fucking lost. GG. But you know how, like, I'm a fucking, I, I'm always talking about the screamer. What happens if the other people in Germany just think that that I'm actually the, sa the same screamer because I'm just saying all the time? They must think I'm fucking ill. And it is top esports who have awoken and given BLG a little their own medicine. And they take a one to one even up here in our best of five in the upper Big. semis. Nice. A spot of finals and an MSI on the line. Exactly right. That's the big one. And for TS, they have never been there. Game three. Never yep. It looks like we're going to game three. So I think for them especially would be we are going to game like three, boys. Incredible occasion to be able to actually go all the way. But seems like Urgot is actually a pick if you're not as bad as Capo Shard. Bro, I've been seeing Keen played in LCK. I don't really like it. This is the first Urgot that's looked kind of useful. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, there's been some times where Urgot has looked useful, I guess, in LCK. I just don't really like the pick. Uh, we're gonna sit away to a little break on the other side. We'll have yes, we Germans think you're fucking sick. I am just a mentally ill parasite. Bro, Thorin just sent me an essay. Thorin just said, you'll lose your mind if you look up examples fans were citing in the comments to defend double left on your video. <laughs> they are all just having an invade into a scion bot dive and then a normal top first top and 2v2 bot laning i've so rarely seen a topic like this where people are 100 wrong um on even the facts but claiming it's someone else who is wrong there's zero wiggle room for them they're either idiots or liars yeah i mean it is what it is bro don't make fun of popular people or call out popular people if you want to um be popular on the internet, man. It is what it is. Penta kill. To these creatures, there is but one thing left to do. <laughs> what is this? What am I listening to? Metal. The hell was that, bro? Oh, like Pentakill or something?
Uh, might have to do something. from G2. We'll be able to on chart five. All right, be right back. Be right back. Welcome back everyone to the LPL where top esports have equalized the series so far. One and one for both of our teams. BLG the first one to be taking the win, but this time around, top esports came out swinging even though they lost to Baron. They lost to Baron. They lost the early bot lane as well, which has typically been very, very bad signs um, when you're against BLG. Um, but top esports, I think that macro is insane this game and they walk away with a very important victory. This was, this was very much hard earned from them. Absolutely, and I feel like it has been the story of whichever bot lane comes out ahead in the early game ends up sort of closing out the series. And it's not necessarily because, hey, they're so good at their skill level that they'll take over the game. It's what they do with that bot lane pressure, the map control, the map pressure, depriving you of all the vision, which uh, sometimes you think leads to a pretty safe power, which wasn't this time around, as you mentioned. <laughs> no, a little bit of a burger of light, but also when we're looking at that bot lane particularly, would you say they would be candidates for the MVP? You know what? I have a really big uh, love for top laners who thrive. Uh, however, this is a confidence boost for Jackie Love. You know, he didn't have yeah. the cleanest games in game number one. So right here on his uh, Lucian, he managed to grab the MVP. I really think that Jackie Love um, had a very difficult game to play. And again, when you're against stuff like the Caitlyn um, and the Lux, you cannot afford to misstep. They very nearly did in the early game. We saw right away from the level one, huge amounts of pressure on them. The fact that they fell behind early against that Caitlyn Lux um, yeah. and still managed to come into it and then being a massive assassin in the late game is so huge. 100% KP, by the way. Exactly right. This guy was like involved in absolutely everything. And the fact that he did that against, you know, Elk and On, who are incredible bot lane themselves, who did have the leg up in the early game, just tells you exactly how this guy can play and why he is one of our most decorated players in the LPL. And I feel like it tells a lot of the story of how the LPL uses the Lucian a lot. We've seen it a lot from Ruler too. This wasn't in particular a Lucian that stomped that bot lane and then got translated mm -hmm. through the map. They just removed him out of the top lane. They put him towards this Herald fights. They took him towards the objectives. They used him as an assassination tool and a poke tool at that because the thing, that, the thing with Lucian is like, oh, if you don't kill people early, you're not relevant. But if you get out of lane even, and you manage to poke people out, and did he poke people out, 26.9k damage. But you know, we're talking a lot about the bot lane because of these champions in here. I really, really want to shout out. I mean, you were halfway through shouting off as well before the MVP came up. But 369 on the Urgot um, brings back a lot of memories for me, actually, from the LPL. If you think back to 
Hell, even back in like uh, some of the really early seasons, back in terms of 2015, I remember being a bot lane pick. That was more of an MSI thing. But when you go to like season eight around the LPL, um, it was a huge pick when you looked at that like, rivalry between RNG and Invictus Gaming. You know, you had uh, Duke and like Let Me and a load of these big top lane players playing it back then too. It's been a while since we've seen it back in the top lane meta, but 369 pulling out something, which is again, some of that halfway house between the tank and the carry, which he's been doing really well on actually both classes of champions this year and being um, just actually a just more impactful top laner than been in this game. Game, so important. We knew that, of course, in JDG BLG, that top lane matchup last year when these two were facing off um, would determine a lot of the way the team fights would play out. Bin um, was second fiddle to 369 mm -hmm. in this game because of that Ergon. Yeah, you already touched upon a little bit in terms of the macro from the side of top esports, but more necessarily from the side of BLG because you get a Baron, you push out bot lane, but your mid lane, you just. Oh that was so painful oh my God. to watch. That was the most disastrous Baron push I've ever seen in a while. They were pushing bot lane and then they lost mid lane. They lost mid lane inhibitor. They lose their jungler through and that. And Drake. All right, <coughs> we're back. Because they lose their mid laner through that, it was absolutely nice. disastrous. Nice, so I have two. However, I want to take it back into this oh, whatever. early game. It's fine, I'll talk about it later. Caitlyn getting ahead in the early game. Dude, I literally have it was through that the ability, invade, like if Riot just allowed me to, I could co-stream. LEC. Like I have, there's no problem. Like there's 10 LEC co-stream slots from the orgs, right? And there's orgs that just have their co-stream slots open. But I literally just can't ever use them because Riot just permadenized me. Because my viewership isn't high enough. Your only two targets from the was Lucian Nami. And if you overextend to get those, you're going to end up dying. And what we saw really was the fact that Top Esports had to Good comp from Top Esports, actually. And they did. Yeah, it was a close I feel like the Lux the was kind of sus here, to be honest. To you you for free. You know, like, Lux didn't really look like he did anything throughout most of the game. And it felt like On was playing it well, too. Like, that was... Like, my feeling, like, he was hitting a lot of uh, stuns. He was providing a lot of shields. And it still just didn't look like any of them were impactful. It looked like another support would have been ten times as useful. The dominant front line, which is very rare to say against something like that Rek side, but this Urgot was so powerful in that regards like this is the oh, here we go. we're just look we don't close your eyes no don't show it that's what happens look look NA has the dignitas barantos we have the top esports baron flip it's it's definitely something which we are kind of a we, we know this and this is exactly what i was talking about in terms of like hey who are your key targets yeah, jackalope right just here? broke their necks azir? but also they're they engaging on a tank azir here the tank the get, azir uh, is actually a tank uh get reversed on and this was pretty much the story of it it's just lucianami can you reach them and if you do what do you give up for it and they ended up youtube viewer count count as well for those submissions yeah i mean i assume so yeah LG will not let you go without a fight that was the final breath right there yeah possibly more to come. all right about to be in game number yeah, three got the boxing gloves as uh both lyric <laughs> and uh both lyric mentioned uh, but i, I want to talk about the fact that it's been blow for blow so far and top esports maybe not necessarily expecting them to blow to actually just punch this hard i thought this series would be good I didn't expect Top Esports to manhandle BLG in terms of. Whoa! Um, what the uh, hell? Game two, in a lot of ways, is a macro masterclass from Top Esports. Now, RNG business that, alert. They've had some worries here and there. RNG is we'll millions of dollars in debt. Them. There is a new CEO to take care of this mess. They plan on releasing NFT as exclusive membership to join the operations of the org. RNG has one sponsor left. RNG expects to bounce back within eight months, bro. All right, I guess we have to buy the... Dude, actually, if we don't buy the RNG NFT, does that mean that they don't get Milky Way back? How do we make sure that Milky Way doesn't go to RNG? That's my number one priority. Sort of clutter themselves in a particular draft where, especially with the like the Lux, Caitlyn plus Fagar, you need to be first at the objectives, trying to stop people from coming in. And that wasn't the case. You mentioned the saplings. There was so much vision from the set of top esports. Viewership live viewing isn't high enough. I'm not sure. first into these neutral objectives. I mean, the time when I applied, like it was right after Worlds, where I was like. Yeah, uh, I think it was like 20k peak and like 10k average. Next game, we have Lyric and Mazel breaking this one down. So guys, please do take it away. Welcome back. We need Milky Way in the LEC. No, we don't need Milky Way in the LEC. We need Milky Way to not go anywhere near the LEC. Yeah, hey, you know, that's what we need. Wait, wait, about the Chinese death. Sorry, God, we've been excited about that. That's a day we haven't seen in a while. It is one to one, tied up. Uh, we do have to bring back in the stakes of uh, MSI ticket, but also a finals ticket here for the winner of this best of five. Also remembering that they have a second life after this one. So a lot of strategies already being played towards for BLG. They've had the Camille support. They've yeah. had the Lux Caitlyn bot side. 
Do we get more standards? We need Milky Way for the LCS? No, no, no. We don't. We don't. We need Milky Way to stay exactly where he is, bro. That's what we need. Stay exactly where you are, Milky Way, please. They do have a lot of different drafts and a lot of different looks. And, you know, you were already 1 0 up. Throw that comp out. See if you can just roll TS through the bot lane once again with that combo. Oh, it didn't work. All right. Look towards something else in the next game. I definitely think they'll be able to re gear and retool going into this draft. For Tez, though, nice to see Jackie Love really stepping up, picking up that MVP, especially against Elk. Because, man, I think back to Elk's Joe Mung, Joe Mung days where he was like that super aggressive <laughs> AD carry that, you know, Jackie Love used to be criticized for. I even knew the WE coach at the time, Domo, is retired now. And uh, I we'd, I talked to him like, hey, you guys play really heavily around bot side. He's like, mm -hmm. Joe Mung will go in no matter what. So the best plan of action is making sure we're always there to make sure that the aggression goes our way. So he had a bit of a parallel yeah. in a way. Uh, again, earlier times in Jack Lips career, maybe without the same level of jungle attention, but still uh, <laughs> able to come out ahead in this game, too. For Elk as well, I remember uh, in my first couple of years uh, on LPL, at least when he was on Ultra Prime, he used to say, you know, does he have the, the mad elk disease? Because he would just always go in like crazy and just going after fights and uh, actually coming out on top of them, even on a struggling team. Now with BLG, it feels like he's honed that a lot more. My players for the Western region, would you put on an LPL team for BLG compete on the, the LPL? I would put... I feel like one of the best years in recent memory no one. from him. I don't know. I'll uh, put Ansel caps. Kind of capitalize on that. Definitely. I think, you know, I think especially if you... If you I mean, you could look at this, this split in isolation. I don't know. I'll put like G2 with Razor or something. Ah, uh, man, it's like it's fucking doom though. Really being better than or like know, G2 with with a Razor, but a yike. Maybe that's it. Inconsistency and like a lot of that ag aggressive playmaking was there and was biting him. Uh, so it's been nice to see again. Picked up MVP in the last game. We'll see what changes it does look like. We're getting into draft once again. And again, BLG have Life many. Story. BLG have many different looks, many different things that they can and have leaned yeah, on it's time. split. I just more wonder is, is it going to be blue side domination? Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm going to. It's a likely candidate here. Blue side picks aplenty as uh, right now, 100% dominance from that side. And if uh, things keep going like that, BLG will have the uh, upper hand. Anyways, okay. we get Rumble Band versus Top Esports. Immediately that first pick Kalista. First pick Kalista. Oh, is it Lucian Nami game. into the Kalista? This time around, maybe there is a it's Lucian Nami into Kalista. And maybe it's bouncing do they the pick something more aggressive do they just go camille again or do they go something like still gonna be able to match uh, the level of aggression right but gonna have more mobility there yeah, i mean just dash. something something like uh from game one, even in terms of i was gonna say nautilus but it's banned something like blitzcrank maybe game one. this time around they're taking that one away instead of the nico so definitely some i would be down for camille again but they don't have to pick it here wait it'll probably get banned though if they don't pick it here do you really want to play renata into this i mean renata into lucianami is not considered to be that good generally oh knight is playing azir by the way knight is known as a guy that can't play azir but he's playing it here let's see what happens and we saw green have some big impacts last game on that one I think it provides so much strength. Uh, don't go Cream Corky. Cream used to be good at Corky. I just don't want to see it, man. Ah, Corky just never wins, man. Since it's now been available. It is Corky just never yeah, wins in the LPL. Probably. I saw also Cream go, nope. I hate uh, it. And it is going to be that kind of late game scaling for the mid laner of top esports. A lot of criticism of this Corky pick uh, yesterday for Rookie. Yep, the fact I'm a, I'm a Corky hater. Kind of, you know, it was against his ears. I, I just hate Corky. Uh, today, I'm to Oriana here. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, Talisha is also fine. Talisha is also <laughs> pretty solid. Talisha into Kalista Azir it looks good to me. Getting away from that criticism still, though. Uh, you are giving away a lot of agency, right? With with you the are. playmaking that is. That is about to smurf out of his mind. A lot coming down to, the, to yep. how you play with the package. But we saw yesterday a lot of times going for the big package play, right? Isolates yourself to then be turned on. And BLG, even just with the Renata and Azir, have a lot of tools uh, that would make. Cream's life very hard if he ends up going too deep. I really like some of these targeted bans in the second phase. The Rek'Sai, again, even with the Urgot last game, even though Top Esports were able to even it up, Rek'Sai was a menace. And also, Sun's Sun's out. So those targeted bans... Yamato locked himself out. He's walking. Game. He's watching on his phone. No way, bro. Continuously focus. No uh, way I go to Yamato's stream and he's locked out of his hotel room. And they are going to go for the Sejuani ban finally. 
He's locked out of his hotel room watching on his phone. Ain't no way, man. Now that the Rexai's taken. Nah. taken off the table. I wonder if Tez are gonna try and like patch the holes. Hey, yo, Mato, man. The what the fuck? I so many crocodile facts, man. I was ready to go. Mm, is, it your, is it your time now? Do you, do you get to share them? Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't seem like it. Uh, Tien, known for his Lee Sin. He does have a skin on it. Uh, for being a world champion, you know, no big deal. Uh, it is a very, very aggressive. I'm gonna pick Tully right instead of Quirky. Between Tian and his bot lane of Jackie Love. Or at least Asol, if you want to scale. I mean, I love Asol, man. Best. <laughs> like Asol said, is broken. We've PLG, said it for the longest time. We'll keep on they saying it. A lot of different things throughout the regular season. Kong. Of these ended up going with. Uh, would you know be one of those? I mean, I guess you can Wukong go Wukong here. It's not like insane to me. I'm the Volibear. Being able to have that that really coherent five v five right. Having okay, so if Bin goes Udir, really just makes three six nine just grab a. Ergata. I guess Ergot is not the pick. Again, uh, I guess he needs to play a tank top. Like the waysides of Pryo. We've only really seen it over. I mean, would this just be an orange? In recent times. But Ben also never been like the biggest. It's a Renekton. Is it not just an Orin answer from 369? He played it in game number one. He prepared it. I mean, I think it would be another decent angle for it. Hey, did you know that crocodiles can regenerate their teeth? His team has enough magic damage. Just like sharks, kind of. No, so I don't know. I would assume it's Orin. Maybe there's another pick he goes. So, but what does that mean for Ben going in? He goes Aatrox. It's like kind of losing, I think. Fights and bites of people down and still have. Win. Oh, there's no way. Three six nine Quinn. I don't know. I mean, historically. Three six nine would lock it in. Historically. Always. Been a carry player despite uh, the role Bin has been pretty good at playing Renekton year. into range matchups. Like, he's pretty good at getting through these matchups. Even when he plays um, other stuff, like, was able to translate we talk about him playing the Jax, for example. Bin was always good at playing versus range champions that other people thought were hard counters. They can be everywhere on the map from the red side. And I'm very curious how BLG can respond to that. I mean, shouldn't has to go give resources bot side, it feels like. But he's gonna need to respond to, to the side lanes. I also feel like the Quinn kind of kind of glues it, uh, glues the comp together a bit better because right we're seeing Lucian a lot of times like just kind of function to, to use that calling and mid chunk people out. Corky will now be able to do the same. So you're having like this one four setup later on. So the Quinn can just go and push. You have Corky and Lucian just taking care of the waves. Uh, and it's gonna be about BLG with trying to disrupt that. And again, the best place feels like it's going to be coming through obviously bot lane in terms of laning it really feels like a lot's gonna matter on the 2v2 in this series but then post six with those emperor's divides coming out from night and what he's able to set up with shun both teams have gone to the mat it feels like in this boxing match it has been the first game dominant by blg top esports came back swinging in game number two both of our early game teams finding dominant starts and choke holding the other now game three who's getting engaged for top esports in step towards that goal, uh late towards game that finals and towards i mean top esports it's we're gonna be more about them disengaging than engaging but yeah i mean i think that this is a blg favorite draft we got game three starting now i just don't like like drafts with corky i mean corky quinn lucian that looks like a terrible draft no corky quinn lucian all on the same team like triple 80 carry i always hate but i guess we can see still just going i love it hey everybody wants to cheer i'm here for it yeah we did get level ones like uh ships passing in the night opposite side focus for both these teams yeah uh blg maybe hoping that they could find the quinn and and get ben started off on a high note even if you could have forced like a flash uh would be very much i am that eating lane, a right? cupcake right now and the cream is filling up in my mouth and it is very range. tasty not gonna be able okay, to find it, but BLG nice. uh, didn't find anything. At, like Tez didn't find anything of their own on that opposite side. And like we said, yes, there's no front. Really I think like it's so hard for TS to play. The they had such a good draft in the last the game, two. man. I think it is very. They smart had front line. They had good damage. They had good damage split. Starts on the back foot up against the opposition. Like, Three six nine uh, has like to do something crazy top lane to Bin. Bin's got the tech cloth armor four pots. Probably E start time, as well right? as normally what people do. Renekton and Wukong, if you can get them on top of the Quinn, if you can get them into that oh, 2v2, yeah. they will be very strong. It's going to be up to 369 to chunk him out before any of that could happen. 
I like the point you bring up uh, for the 2v2 conversation because I feel like this is the only matchup we would really get this. Bro, just letting the, the, the minions die in front of you. Like, get scaling carries, at least what okay. we've seen in playoffs so far for them. But we actually get the 2v2 Lean. that's so important down here. And speaking of... Jackie Exhaust, get him to cleanse it, then ignite right after for max damage trade. Take a lot of damage I wonder if it's worth Mako just early healing DLT just for the movement speed. Here. But they do have sustain, so maybe now, it's so okay. Already keeping up with an incredible trade at level one. And right, Jack I mean, Elk missed like so much CS here. Levels of the last lane, but then we're able to make no way, lane. right? They want the dive. Oh, it's just like that. Is it timed well? They're just that it good, is, still taking another dude. They have shot. such a crazy one understanding one. of these the lanes, man. Problem, though, is that Mako got the kill. He's about to get a second one onto Elk here. He does have flashes flash in, he's dead. One more auto I mean, it ended up being two for one, but the AD carry loses all this. But I mean, Nami getting gold is not bad, so wanting to push their advantage all the way forward. Ends up I don't know. Them Guess it's about end. which jungler there visits bot. Some minions obviously being lost for Jackie Love here, so that plays into it a bit, but still, massive fumble coming out from BLG with both going down. I don't know. Is that a massive fumble? What's up? With I feel like they acknowledge this is a possibility. <laughs> Actually, On could have probably three. lived here. He could have flashed well, out of the turret when he was getting, getting the bailout proc. No, because that has been a crucial focus for both these teams. How quickly their supports can get out on. Oh, the only a six CS. Yeah, it's not about the CS. It's about the experience. He might be dying right now. I mean, we're in the middle of the replay. He might be dying literally as we speak. Let me see how On plays it. Flash here. Flash here. Ooh. If he flash forward. Does get them Before bailout proc, I think it was you good. In aggressively. Uh, yeah. so you've already used everything. Mako still having that one available just made it an easy cleanup. But again, you at least were able to deny a lot of minions from Jackie Love here. But it still doesn't doesn't feel like it swung the way they wanted. I think that's like not just yet pretty game reasonable game that play early. we do have our objective spawning in about a minute top esports have put heavy prio around those grubby you die not, yeah but i mean if he dies so to Navi, then LG elk would probably be able to live so we'll see what kind of presence belies in this roaming style that both these teams represent nako already out on his first roam also getting some vision down in mid lane Nice for Mako. Yeah, really good nice roam. Job of just allowing cream to make this Doesn't have to buy really here, so he goes and he pressures Knight. Play because Knight is going to TP anyway, but now he loses he some minions for it. Of that 2v2. I mean, Hand walking top. Like the Wave is, is fine for Bin. Dash a bit with the clone. Wait, like Close here he gap. got 369. Like even though he didn't crash the wave, he got 369 to hit him, and then it made it so the wave is pushing back to him, which is all he's trying to do. all the vision in the world now. Oh, he didn't have vision on the, um, either connections there. Yeah, he had, he had no vision there. After he eat, he was just trying to blind cue it. They diving this? Diving onto Mako? I don't know, bro. This looks sus. They're diving onto Jackie Love again. Never mind. It doesn't look sus at all. They're just the goats. Oh, Jackie Love is suffering, bro. Okay. Really nice for Shun as well. Uh, this is, I mean, we said it before the series. The, the understanding of the lanes and how to, like, crash waves with jungle is just second to none from BLG. How jungle and I guess Lucian is just together. I don't know. I guess I Lucian is just fucked. This is where they should really be able to take it. They are, man, they, they have such insane Another understanding, man. Holy fuck. So far for PLG's bot side. We heard the death. That's the high of LEC history. The thing is, like, BLG has been so like probably the best at 3v2 diving in the world for like over a year now. It's kind of fucking crazy if you think about it. Like, it's really fucking crazy if you think about it. This is how they beat T1, by the way. When they when they stop T1. They yeah, just right. dove bottling now perma. It's kind of like it, it's adding up multiplicatively. Like that that first dive, all right, he lost a bunch of CS, but at least both of them went down. At least sums are down. After the second dive, after falling even further, the model locked behind, outside his room. He hasn't come back really to the stream. Just to yeah, apparently. For Jackie Love, and again to bring it back to the regular season, these teams played in week one, and that was really the story about which team can invest better in their duo lane. Again, we didn't exactly see that play out in the last game, but now with wonky picks coming across the map, it does mean there's other things that these teams have to be conscious of rather than just this early 2v2. Like the, the grubs. Uh, opposite trade. Yeah, the telegrubbies, they're being watched. BLG's gonna get them, all three of them this time. A um, big difference than what we've seen in the previous games of this series, but it will be Top Esports getting their first dragon under their belt as well. 
Uh, and, and I guess the biggest conversation now becomes how do top esports use some of the side lane pressure that the Quinn will have, and you have to use light it, utilize it well, because uh, this is a priority pressure point for top esports' win condition. Yeah, I, I feel like it's, it's especially rough right now when, when again, you could see uh, how 369 is playing to, to not put himself in a precarious position, and you're also getting consistently pushed in through mid, at least thus far in the game. So we'll see if Tien looks for a window. You don't actually have, like, really big playmaking ults in any of your lanes besides, I guess, Mako's and Bot. We did just get level 6 for Shun, so he'll get active with that Cyclone after the redeploy comes through. We'll also have Tien's Dragon Rage kick. How was your model reaction? Setup is He's base as fuck, bro. I expect them to be bolting down towards bot side for another 3v3 setup. This is going to be incredibly Ooh. important, but Tien's making his way over. Just going to end up going okay. for the reset in the end. I mean, even if he would have fully committed, right? Wave's getting pushed into bin. The ward's already there. Uh, really would have no opportunity. But this is where it feels like the game should really start to be a bit of a playground for BLG. You have Cyclone available. Dominus is up. Uh, you're getting very close to ults being up for your bot lane. And like we said, hey, be, like, Tez's aren't necessarily about oh, being able Jack to... Oh, is suffering, man. Really He's on a Kerchi Shard. Spikes. Compared to a serrated Dirk, all I heard there is I just based again. Serrated Dirk and a rectum, <laughs> whatever the item's called. I do. Why not? Okay. You know, okay. Be, I, okay. You, know you know what people like in media these days? They like anti-heroes or they, they like villains. No True. one wants to root for a good guy. Not even CS League top, but I mean that's what I'm so saying. Like Bin just has really good understanding of these top lane matchups. He goes early cloth armor, four pots into rushing tabbies. It but seems I mean, like pretty unplayable for for teams. He, wants, he actively wants to fight people. Like <laughs> yeah, true, he'll true. embrace the role. He's the the bad child, the the, the bad kid. The, the oh, ended up getting the romp in the end. Three v three camp. kicking off, and we called it. Denied it from it, Tien though, but they're gonna try for it. Time not good for Shun. It's dicey if they do. Yen gonna get engaged on by Shun. Kick flash, kick flash maybe. Oh no. Oh, the cancel. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, and he, he, he ulted at the wave. So good. So good from on. Did they bring anyone down here? Still, I think BLG should be incredible. Uh, Cream is TP. Cream is TP. Cream can cover it. Dude, they're so good, man. They're so good. Gonna be able to escape, but. Oh, all night. All night. If one doesn't work, if two doesn't work, if three doesn't work, bring in four. Oh, right, they actually don't right get They, they don't see him. him. Oh, all right, Nidus is basing man. here. Okay, oh, bot lane is suffering, so, bro. Yes, it's suffering. Doesn't have TP. Have to walk mid, but they at least get a bunch of plates for Elk, and that is the way they win this game. Yeah, and again, I really don't think we've seen TS themselves really pilot while sacrificing too much pressure mid or generally like when they have throughout the split right it'd be on something like like in akali where you already know cream knows how to pilot that a rectum oh what's it called rectrix but again Huey, can you what the really fuck is a rectrix the wave uh just just as fast as anything else to be able to follow up on these roams dom save your motto wait you guys know i'm not staying with your motto right game jackie love has finally hit level six here you guys realize there's literally nothing I can do for Yamato. He's stuck outside his hotel room. He just has to go to the lobby. Back to lane. And that is a wound that is starting to fester here for top esports. They got to find a way out of it or some. Nah, it's a rectum. <laughs> Tom was right. They could set the tempo if they get another dragon. Holy Tian fuck. Is consistently hovering over 369. And look at the minimap. Jackalove and Mako already moving over to mid, mid lane right there is now. There's just too. BLG so bullying really Jackalove. Yeah, sure they're just bullying him. BLG and then people will have not watched LPL all year round, just watch the series and be like, hmm, it appears that Jackie Love is washed up. Jackie Love, this isn't good anymore. He's just unable to lane versus better players. Knight is backing. He has TP, but shouldn't going to get about half his health down. Package there for Cream. Can't wait to be fighting Jackie Love. Deniers. Also, multiple ults not being up makes it kind of awkward if something starts yeah. right now. Cream is ult. Oh, no, oh man. Oh, nope, that guy's dead as hell. Oh, on tried to flash on Mako. Nice Wait, Mako just got there. Q through He's the heart, bro. What the fuck? The okay, Cream nice is going. Over the wall. Cream getting some damage back He's trying his best. Carries. Some rockets. Done his ult now. In. It is two grubs secured by top esports. Okay. So they'll deny Four to two grubs. 
And BLG goes back bot. Their yeah, Jackie Love is just getting bullied. Yeah, BLG, I think it's you know massive that they were able to get that kill. Bring him in. <laughs> I mean, I can bring him in if he comes here, bro. I can't get to your bottle's place. He's fine. I mean, now he's a croc in in the jungle, and I they don't you know, go there. I know, I know. Tien's diet might might include might include. No. Oh, he's he's going down. You gotta go back to the river. He has ult this and is tabbies. All those teeth that'll be regenerated. Oh, I mean, it's not the easiest dive in the, the world. Be, he can clear uh, this wave a little bit. A Let's see. Oh, he didn't get his E off. Oh, good, good flash Q. Oh, well played, Bin. Play here, and he is alive good flash Q, man. Get the maximum healing. Because he was far really away like from the... the he wouldn't have got champion like healing there. Kick into the bubble, there was no ignite. You're not giving him a chance to go for that Q to heal up. But actually... You know, a big part of it. Oh, is this close to, but this is what everyone goes now. Is this is just the build. Cleared the wave. That's what's denied so the dive 1v3. Uh, is Perma weak side denying the dive 1v3? Fourth plate gonna go down. And his team is getting first turn on the other side of the map. And they're gonna get Drake. His dummy has no ult and Leeson has no kick, so Drake is free for BLG. All five plates down here and potentially first turret. Yeah, so BLG can get the first turret whenever. They're just literally trying to deny minions. That's it. Probably just take it on this wave. They're, they're not going to waste time, I don't think. Just outright buy his static shift. So again, let a uh, elk solo gold it. So now maybe has to start really pressuring up there, but we can see BLG. Like you said, get bot lane turret. They're already getting. Hey, he wasn't even able to deny cannon. He probably should have just fast, fast pushed it. I guess maybe not. If he fast pushes it, then he won't be able to catch this wave. So by slow pushing it, he gets the next wave. Smart. He did. He did the right thing. Don't look at that gold grab. Don't I do not play bot lane. <laughs> it's a 3,000 differential between Jackie Love and Elk. A massive one. Yeah, really big. Uh, oh, no, I didn't hear what you said. I was lagging like crazy. We reconnected. <laughs> Whatever you said, I agree with it. And I, I still might sound like a robot. Uh, There's still a bit of lag there. Little thing. Like an little item thing. for Quinn? For the first time in the series. Uh, I mean, it depends. You get the first turret. I think Aha. Wait, what are what are Take people going now? Because I remember people were going um, uh, they were they were going uh, ghost blade before, but I don't think that people. I mean, you're not going ghost blade pl plus shiv. So let's see, Quinn. Where do people go second? Is it like because IE is buffed? I wonder if it's actually worth going IE or something. TS are still around this, but they're gonna actually pro builds. Are any like IE second Quins or? Not them oh nice no i i literally went to pro builds like and there's like yeah quinn has not been played by anyone this early on into the game but it's really very hard to like hell again crafting something like the it's not really just being about taking we are going storm razor into kraken you know, storm razor kraken shit uh ie there's almost no one going shiv. The hardest factor is that you have but shiv is nerfed on live right so, lane, so you can't really might be kraken second doesn't even sound good to me though. I kind of narrows your decision making for top esports. We see the decision right now is try to collapse over on game. Looks end. really good for BLG. Turret. They're just effectively That's stomping them. So much standing gold being given over to BLG. They have a three thousand gold lead fifteen minutes in. It's just quirky, man. It's unwinnable. Really wanting to try to wait. What do you mean the boss plays Quinn? Wait, does he still play Quinn? But it feels like they're gonna be sitting in their laurels for a while. Especially when BLG and did get the herald now. Be able to start opening up this lane, right? He doesn't have the damage yet, though. Jackie Love doesn't have the item differential as he did last game. Again, he's so far behind. Soon gonna get blasted here as he tried to take the uh, Rift Herald yet again. BLG no crack all the outer towers here. Also, Jackie Love can blast Shun if he wants, or it's vice versa. You know, the former IG boys. <laughs> it's like saying hello. Are those good memories or bad memories? <laughs> You know, it would probably uh, depend on the era. It would probably depend I think on the it really oh, would, I, mean, yeah. I guess for Shun, maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think it was very good for Shun. I'm just saying, he wants a revenge tour against Jackie Love and uh, and Mr. Rookie and the Shy. You know, he, he wants to, to come back around I mean, if anybody well, doesn't it was, know. It was not It was a different time. <laughs> different time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should obviously a big IG developmental project. It really, Cyclosword really awesome sounds pretty good. The call up from IG Young replacing such Cyclosword second. On a world I mean, I guess it depends on what you're and doing, but if you're going Cyclosword, so you probably want to be going like Lethality build all the way. So having more of a say. I don't know. I think he'll just probably go Kraken. 
I mean, I don't know. Like, how can he auto this game? It seems so hard to play Quinn. I don't even know if he can play side lane versus Ben. Like, once Ben has uh, Stridebreaker, I think Ben could actually win. Oh, Knight just misses the cannon dry in front of everyone. Nice. I'm just saying that that might be awkward. I could, I could imagine Ning playing a mean, a mean support. I, true, true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Looks like it is cracking. Now we are getting to a point where BLG have. Did ZDZ pick Quinn in playoffs? No, he picked it in uh, one of. I think he picked it in one of the matches that got them into playoffs. Hovering over this collapsed top side. One of like the important matches that he like one of the must wins to get him into playoffs, something like that. If Knight does overextend, that's the player looking for for BLG. I think it's just about pushing your vision. So normally here, I think Kalista goes pen item, like uh goes Sorrel this here. From what I've seen. You go brutalizer here. That dragon's actually going to be super important as well. I like that 369 is trying to take aggressive trades into bin early to keep that presence down here. Maybe pull that TP out. BLG know that there's not much response up here for top esports. And they'll take their top side here. Bubble is not going to connect. Nice clearing of the wave from top esports. I mean, again, this is where they're going to be able to do decently well. Quirky and especially the more Jackie Love gets items under the belt, just dissuading the aggression from moving forward. The problem is, right, you're already at about a 4k gold deficit. Uh, yes, BLG are really going to be able to start moving this forward, especially when something like Baron's up having a Callista. I'm sure it's a personality Callista, so not necessarily the same terror it might have been against Baron otherwise, but also sure. having Knight. On the Azir, definitely some pieces to, to play with, and your turn is exciting. And Force betting 14k I mean, on Top Esports game three is crazy. Yeah, dude, I would have right never bet Top yeah, Esports after draft. Walk up and object I'm a quirky hater, man. <laughs> I'm a quirky the, hater, uh, and I also and think BLG is just very good at playing. Like, I think Bin is very good at playing these, like, weak side, like, Renekton games. Weak side Renekton, weak side Jax is kind of a specialty. And the bot lane is just Knight, really diffed. Side, waiting for the Emperor's Divide. I think Top Esports realized they can't get to it. Tien, and maybe they kill. In. They, they, they get Callisto here. here. They wouldn't kill him, but they could have got Callisto. Second dragon in a row for them. Now Shun. Oh, go, go nice by Shun. He's oh, well played by Shun. Holy God, fuck. What is this He's a goat, bro. He's insane. They're going to get Tien on the other side too, but Ben realizes he just needed to try to find Cream. They want the slice to dice, but it sucks that Ben isn't tanking the turret here. The man is on they're so good, man. They're so good. They're so good. They're so good. They're so good. That was clean as fuck from Shun. Oh my god, Shun. Dude, the, what he did there where he eased forward onto Mako Q ulti, then W's forward, hits the blast cone to knock him in. Like, that was clean, bro. Okay, okay, okay. You want to try to make the play? 369. All right. 369 was looking. He was on the prowl. Valor to me. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that 369 is not going to be able to do anything to Ben inside lane now. Ben is going to base. He just got two kills. He's going to have a Randuin. It's so hard for Quinn to play. How many LPL teams are going to MSI again? Just two LPL. Two LPL, two LCK, two LEC, two LCS. It should be, min like, I would like to see three LPL, three LCK at minimum. Because I feel like there's three three really good LPL teams and three really good LCK teams, you know? Like, I don't give a fuck about anyone besides for G2 going to MSI. Like, if I'm being honest, bro, it's just... Yeah. Just G2 and then everyone else. Like, Hanwha Life, T1, Gen G, BLG, JDG, Top Esports. Quickness G2, throw G2 and TL in there. This Bo -bo. Is gonna be so insane. Some of the best in the LPL, and we've seen that be deciding factors in all three games so far. That's the tournament BLG, I want to watch. They found the lead early. They have been able to consistently push that lead forward, and that has been the theme of this best of five so far. Whoever gets that lead completely chokes <laughs> out the opponent. And hell, that's why we said the start of the day, right? I am just if this was a three mentally deficient, a I think. Snuck in TL. I mean, I think you've got to have number one seed from NA. You can't have number one seed from EU and then not throw number one seed from NA when the number one seed from NA outplays the number one seed from EU at the last international. Like, in previous years, when NA was dog shit, I would have said, or when NA was, like, more dog shit, I would have said, like, oh, G2 Fnatic can go, and then you don't need an NA team. But you can't just not put TL if you're putting G2. Managing in the top, but, uh, oh, 
Yo, yo, well, Mako is dead as hell, but Knight is, he is dead, might be dead as well. Oh, okay. Clean from nice Jackie Love, good cleanse. Here comes three, six, 369 nine. is joining. They have the no Pulis right, right here. From the bottom side. They're going to use the vision to realize they don't really have a big fight oh. here. Oh, 369 is just dead. He doesn't have the health bar to stay in this fight. And Elk just Stride takes breaker. him down. Bid is a big old crock and those teeth are sharp as knives. But Jackie Love trying to yeah. fight back a little bit. BLG, they decide yet again that the Bro, also, I feel like the uh, mountain drakes are yeah, so good for Wukong Renekton in this game as well. And another critical thing Not a great play from Knight here, but his teams are stronger, so they're trying to force. Of, of Basically, Rift Rivals, dude. Yeah, I mean, not gonna have you know that same sure. level of dynamic playmaking there, but you know who does? Tien, he's looking for. I mean, as long as there's like incentive for the teams to try hard, I would love like Rift Rivals between LCK and LPL. Midseason showdown, all this type of stuff. Like, I, I would love those types of tournaments, man. They want to make a play here. They've got a push play. They are using cream. But Ben, it's got to make sure that the teams are tryharding. Got to make it count for something. <laughs> Have an LPL versus LCK Rift Rivals. <laughs> Winning region gets uh, the region that wins gets one extra world slot or something. I don't know. Why does CS have the worst draft of all time? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty bad. I don't like it. And yeah, it feels like it's again kind of gonna need to be off hell i don't know even saying a big patch play from cream doesn't even really feel like it matters too much i really like how blg's comp bites into what ts have it feels like your only real hope is, is an extended standoff where that culling is getting meaningful damage down where the rockets are connecting and making blg have to second guess going for the engage all right drake you gotta find a way to kind of I mean, it, top esports have to give it, uh, right? They have to give it. They don't even have package, I don't think. Or do they have package? I thought they used package after the Drake spawn. Or after the Drake was killed, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, he actually has it. The push here, I mean, maybe they just go Baron. I mean, they can't contest the Drake. Still a good timing for TS to push towards the Baron because they know that BLG want to. They know enemy teams going Baron. I don't know. They can't even do Baron here. They have to just maybe like try to poke them. Get a fight or something. Right back to it. Cream. They have a ward and everything. The package efficiently this time around. So hard, bro. And the timing for BLG, that quickness of decision making, again coming clutch. Tan going for the back line here, as they do have Shun answering that one. I do think top esports have an angle if they want to go for it, Lyric. I don't know if they can actually pull it off. Elk. Package is expiring in like a couple seconds. Out. BLG don't need to take this fight. They will end up They're just going to wait for package to expire. Second package expires, you just turn and go. Yep, now they just run at him. From the Lucian 2. Oh. But now they're engaged. That fate call used, but on cannot okay. connect a handshake once again. Ben oh, Ben just flashed onto Cream. cream. Stridebreaker into Randuin's. He had two slows He's there, bro. One from Stridebreaker, one from Randuin's. Cream is just dead. I didn't know that Crocs were. Shun is ult here. That is going to be BLG. Or has no ult here, I mean. Baron, even though 369 oh, got the side lane turret. Knight was looking for uh, ulti on Tomeko. He has no flash, though. They don't need to force this. They should just try to leave, I think. Knight is just, like, unkillable because he's tank is here. I mean, they do enough. They make sure that no Baron goes over, but again... Now they're building armor. It's over? Yeah. Maybe BLG floating it then into, like, another huge objective. But they're already... Oh, at 5k gold up, they're, they're getting another one or two kills every few minutes consistently. Really, everything is continuing to go in their favor. Very big lead, but a scaling top esports who are trying to catch up, at least with Cream. And I hit his third item here. Top esports haven't been one to back down. Tian has still stayed proactive on his Lee Sin. The question is, can what is Cream doing? I mean, he's just playing Corky. Corky is so limiting, man, I swear. He still hasn't hit that fourth item yet. We did get third item for Jackie Love, the Lord Dom. And so you can't fight anything early. So you kind of just have to wait for like package yeah, right. I mean, again, to make something happen. And then when you sure when you have package, the enemy team knows terror. just to not fight no matter what. To be concerned about with package. So gonna actually be able to get some damage down, uh, quite impactfully. But man, I'm still just scared of Elk. Five, one, and four. What <laughs> but score yeah, line. man. Like, but he's I just think toes. it's like so easy to play around. Difficult position here. 
with the way that these teams have been playing it's like it also feels like if any Thing happens in the game that shouldn't the happen in the game in this, you just like, get completely game. fucked like that's like, how it, it seems like a lot of it just comes down like all right man you're you're completely okay in the game like, then like one person makes a mistake or one lane loses that's supposed to win oh now quirky team just loses guaranteed i hate the champ in these standoffs so being able to get that good trade on on early is gonna mean quite a bit blg just hoping that ts walked too far forward to catch a wave we can see where shun's playing off to the side but TS aren't falling for the bait. They can burn the Baron pretty fast now as well, even though you're getting more of that utility build from Knight. The tank like Ace is you that Corky, I think that's reasonable, yeah. They are I like Ace more there. than Corky. Into Azir, it's pretty good. Another thing to highlight 369 has I mean, the slow could be really annoying IE into the, Kalista as well. Third item. I'd be down with Azel in this draft. Damage goes. I think the wonder is that Tien... Wanting to keep that proactive nature on the Lee Sin. Actually gonna move around towards this the second game. How well did Urgot champ work? It worked pretty well. As I was saying, they take it it so was pretty good. Knight. Knight? You gonna Lee's build a turret Knight. here? That's the third item spike. What's happening? Knight doesn't really have anything to hold on to. Shun what is the hell? To save him, but the Emperor's Divide comes out way too The hell late. just happened? And that is gonna be a big pickoff kill for Top Esports. That looks so dry, bro. Yeah, exactly. That looks what they were looking for so dry. Enemy team is forcing Baron here. I think that this is actually a bad Baron force. Oh, no. Like, you might feel like you have to do it, but I think the enemy team just beats your ass here. And even if you get it, you probably just lose summoners, and then you end up losing on, um, on Soul. Rage Bar. Here. Like maybe you have to do it. Cool. I don't know. Knight has CP this. soon. Half health. Shouldn't got this last time. Top esports. The miracle flip. But the oh, they're just going for the fight. They just the went the for the bars. fight because they know if they win the fight, they get soul. The yeah, like this is good for them. This is good for them because now their death timers are so long that they won't be able to contest soul. So it's like essentially just mountain soul for Baron on like two members or something. Back them off with the rocket barrages, but it's not going to be enough. You can't stop BLG when they are snowballing. And Elk has been absolutely massive. He has. He's been the defining player. Yeah, for I mean, uh, this dude, this is the strongest lethality, Kalista, I've seen. I know it. You all know it. It's going to be the Mountain Drake. What is the it, Mountain Lyric? Soul for BLG making their way over. Uh, Mountain there. Soul is so good for them as well. Already. Again, some yeah, game's over. TS having this Baron now, but still. This is the like Lethality Callista that is making everyone rethink how much they hate Lethality Callista. When everyone saw this originally, including yeah, myself, everyone was like, this one over why the so fuck would you go easily. this, man? It's so fucking useless. Then you look at this Lethality Callista and his Qs are just doing like 800 damage. <laughs> and it's like, wait a second. Is it just broken? Yeah, I've been played this. Yeah, they do. And again, just Shun finding the opportunity to get on top of the enemy team. Sure, Baron goes down, but then it's like a free for all mm. of top esports. I mean, it's like Bin's E was expiring. Right. Certain members didn't get over the wall, but it's it not really that easy, I don't think. He had no flash for this fight. See, right? Mountain Soul really feels like it's going to be so hard to overcome. Uh, uh, Bin and Shun going to be so tough to deal with. Sure, again, yeah. Jack has been sitting on this Lord Dominix for a while. You're getting pretty close for 3692. But I don't know if it'll be enough. I, I think the other this game, no tanks. I mean, to be fair, though, like Callista is not very good at killing tanks, even when you go the normal sports. build. And besides Kareem in a way are being like Callista's right? tanks is not amazing. You have an 0 and 3 Jackie Love. I, I think if you're gonna have success for top, I think the way that people view it is kind of like you just go whichever one is like better for the way your lane works. We haven't seen that so if you need sustain from Vamp Scepter, your versus like some poke in lane, maybe you just go the other build. We saw what BLG did last time. This time around, but it's not like when I see like a Bork Ginsu's Callista with like a fucking Runans or like a Terminus on three. I'm like, damn, bro, the enemy Orn is fucking dying this game. You're playing more of a range game. You're playing more for standoffs. You're, you're playing more to, to pull pressure to sides and spread BLG out. Uh, and then when, once you fall behind with that, and again, you've opted into scaling with things like the Corky. Yeah. It becomes a lot crazy, harder. It's so crazy how Ben is arguably the worst player on BLG this split. BLG yeah, I think he's probably had the worst split. But the thing is, like, Bin is not doing what he's best at on, full build for Elk. on BLG. And, and uh, I think that that's, like, very, very close to that. a really good sign for so people that like BLG as a team that esports. this is not even Side Bin's meta. And I don't think that it's, like, BLG wouldn't want Bin to ever play carries. I think that BLG just thinks right now the top lane is not that strong. They think that, like, 
Bruiser top laners are not good, and then and then like Udir, Rek'Sai, and I agree with this this take by the way. That like Udir, Rek'Sai, Renekton, like these types of top laners where you don't have to dump in re resources, Cassante, whatever. You don't dump in resources. You let top lane do its own thing. It becomes tanky. It becomes really annoying later on in the game. They think that that is the best way to play League of Legends, and to play right with your top now, laner, perma weak side, and play hard through bot because all of the bot lane combos are really OP right now. Kalista, Renata, you know, Lucian, Nami, Varus, Ash, just like all the OP bot lane combos. So they just play the game the way that they think is best, and that just means that Bin is weak side. If the meta changes, and it's all about AD carries playing like Ash, AD carry, and Jin and shit like this. Oh, this guy's dead as hell. And it's all about like bot lane playing weak side. Side and top is playing Jax, Camille, all this type of stuff. I don't think BLG would struggle with playing that style either. I think they're just doing what they think is best. With their own pickoff, but it isn't going to be able to come through. It's not complete control of the top side. You can see them pushing in both mid and top. Not going to be able to get anything off that. As right, like now, I think that BLG can play all styles, which is really OP. That night was never up to enough on these year. What a strange game. See night zero two and two. Not really needing or having the biggest impact, but I mean, again, the thing that is so scary about BLG and really, I guess, any of our top three teams in the LPL is that there's other people can pick up the slack at any given moment. Mm -hmm. It's the craziest thing, and that's why, like, you can never back down from these teams because there is a reason why they are some of the most ruthless in our league. BLG, having had a hell of a spring split so far, they topped their record if not beat it uh last time around by two wins over their 15 and one regular season knight earning his mvp here in spring split it has been monumental even though he's 0 two how this team has come together leaping off of an already successful 2023 yeah they again they, they really made their names remember the desk earlier saying that you know last year blg blg double of Ascended still to a the top 5 AD team, carry of all time uh, and and they've really been able yeah, to bro. show it he's the, the consistency goat consistency still here I, i'm just i'm just excited to see them keep getting to move forward double lift again, clears all these chinese fraud AD carries that could rival this roster yeah. in the yeah on the fact that we've already seen god him fucking Maybe bless great to be saying it when, when the scoreline looks like this where it's like <laughs> hey one team is mountain so it's 14 to 4 but again if you missed the prior games, game two looked very Yamato Twitter? Oh, yes. no. It's all about blue side right now, it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that'll continue. Probably. We have an Elder Dragon about a minute and 30 seconds. It looks like BLG are going to spend time to get to this point. We have Elk full build. Now, <laughs> so, uh, should be getting a little bit what the fuck? Resource so my door ran out of batteries and I am locked outside so I cannot continue the stream. Enjoy my chair and the series. I will walk to Dom and Gilly's apartment without socks and money. What the hell, bro? No way. All right, Wild Yamato is just going to appear on the stream, I guess. Nice. Okay, ends up being secured by the Callista. Corky's just dead. They flashed on him. Knight just flash shoved him. When is splitting bots, so people need to base right now. Actually, pretty risky the way they played this. Pretty fucking risky, man. Oh, unpredicted it. Oh, on is so good. Wow, that shit did nothing though. The Q, man. The Q damage is crazy. Oh no, soon. That was crazy though, man. Unpredicted he was gonna go over the wall there. Knight has no ult. He just has to like auto them here. Oh, Elk just flashed on Jackie Love. Clean, 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 clean. They go dead. They have no waves. They go wave mid, I guess. They try to end with this wave mid. They have to play it a little bit slow. Have the CC chain to lock him down. Knight is over on the edge. Shun has to back off too. And this is a wild fight. Three All right. six nine doesn't want to go down, but BLG they're not going to be able to end it. Doesn't look like. Oh, maybe, the maybe. Oh so my God, the damage from Elk autos. What the hell? Dude, his autos do like a fucking fourth, a uh, quarter of the turret, a fifth of the turret, something like that. BLG already turning towards the elders. We can see on our screens. I wonder if they're even just going to keep Elk and Bin here. They could no. Not getting all results, but my god, man. Elk and On nuts. are going insane after not having the opportunity to take over last game. They really are this time. 
I think I just saw that Elk has crossed the 2,000 kills mark for the LPL. Huge stuff for them, but also okay, just... Okay, uh, some Corgi this whole game. Yeah, but it's like so hard to play. Like, I think their draft is just shit, man. I think he has consistent. Like, I don't really think it's the players not being able to play the champions well. I think it's just their draft is shit. So like, you don't get, normally you want to find an angle for a package. You like start the fight off with some people and then you get a package later on. You don't want to have to just look at the enemy team and just quirky package through them all like Niski, you know? And I mean, again, it's it's kind of nice when your team is five pillars, right? Like, I feel like that's how you build a building. I really feel like you can say that about either of these teams. Every player kind of being a pillar in their own right, being part of that formula, again, just being so strong in their own role. But BLG now continuing to push forward, having the Baron. It's over. We're going to see what they're able to do. Uh, the wave top isn't really that close. They have two waves of supers that they could play with, but Tez can be annoying with the Corky. BLG, they just need to find a way to wrap a bow on this one. It's a nice little present waiting for them. As they will take a step forward in this best hey, we're not old. against top esports. This allows them to hit the turret. That first Nexus Tower already gone. Oh Being man, the this excited just one shot. Elder Diff. And here comes the flap of the wings. One more tower falls. And BLG, they just want fight. It was they not a clean one. Azir game, but they whatever, man. Scream of top esports oh. as a big lockdown comes down, but it does not matter one single bit. A 13 and one elk. And a big. All right. Go two one in this series and are unmatched. Two one BLG looking pretty good. Coming out from BLG and especially but the thing the is, Blue duo. Side has won every single great. game in this series. The aggression was there. So maybe to like the, the only game, reason the yeah. really that top esports will it lose the series the is because they don't get Blue Side enough games. And man, again, we'll have to see in so, game so number four. To see, see this I'm gonna play the ads now on Twitch. Use the restroom. The fact that we get such one-sided games from that absolute control early. Oh, we got more Thorn bangers. Hold on, let me read with Thorn. So much then. more than we thought coming into it. And that was I'll read it point in two. three so minutes. I'm very excited to see what Game 4 has in store. And if we'll be pushed to the distance by Top Esports, we'll see the LPL Lounge on the other side of this break.
Holy shit, bro. <laughs> wait, what's going on? Yama wait, Yamato's stream is popping off right now, I think. He was at like 400 viewers, and then now he's... He has he's not on stream. Wait, I think his viewers just like him more when he's not there. He can never turn off the stream. Excellent. Wait, his door ran out of batteries? Bro, what type of fucking high-tech hotel does he have? Bro, I think he's got to go AFK more often, to be honest. Like, whenever he sleeps or he is just locked out of his room and he's not on stream, I feel like his viewership goes up. Like, he was asking me yesterday, he's like, yo, Dom, like, what do you think, like, my, my niche should be as a streamer? Like, how do you, how, what, what, if you were in my position, what would you do to make your stream pop off? And I didn't really have, like, an insane answer for him. Besides for, like, the obvious, like, you have to differentiate yourself. Like, me, I'm just mentally ill, and I flame everyone, and I hate T1, like, I don't know, like, maybe just fucking become mentally ill and hate BLG or some shit. I don't fucking know. But now I know that his best thing to do is he needs to turn on his stream and then just not show up. That should be his content. Oh shit. Wait, I turned. Oh fuck. God damn it. According to Reddit, hating T1 makes your stream pop off. Yeah, exactly. I'm literally the only streamer that like you openly hates T1, wrong. but I guess that's I the only like reason why I'm way too thin, mm -hmm. too where I am right now. We have a jack of all trades this time around, but when we're looking at the queen particularly, we, we saw some incredible roams. We saw some great macro coming out as well, but it felt like it just wasn't enough because when we're looking at BLG particularly, they had the reins on this game since the very start. Yeah, you know, I, I, I do think- What did Thorne message me? By the way, Doublelift would have to literally not know, dude, Thorne is going off on Doublelift recently. By the way, Doublelift would literally not have to know what a lane swap is because I went back on the VOD and he literally says 100 Thieves did the strat. And he himself says the strat is to full invade, split map, and then dive with Scion. So he himself wasn't even claiming a lane swap on his one video example. He was just moving the goal po posts instantly from lane swap, Monty's claim, to a Scion dive, even though he said the draft was super obvious for a lane swap. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Thorn. I mean, I'm not going to go that hard. I just think he's a liar, but... Yeah, it is what it is. I actually, like, I know that most of the community wants to just believe that, like, Doublelift is somehow so stupid that he just doesn't even know what a lane swap is. Like, that's what the community wants to believe. I just, dude, I've literally scrimmed hundreds of games against Doublelift in my lifetime. I've scrimmed hundreds of games of lane swaps versus him from season two to season six. Like, we, I've played against him on stage doing lane swaps and stuff like I just don't think it's possible that he just doesn't know the difference between when he's laning versus a top laner or laning versus an 80k like that's just such a level of stupidity that I can't even begin to entertain real for BLG let's be honest they're the best team in the LPL like no right way now. man least, uh, come on even last game yeah well, yeah, there's no yeah, way that that he like yeah, is yeah, like yeah, he yeah. thinks that he's like top <laughs> lane when he's bought like i don't know man you know particularly given his history as well no, i think he's stupid but i think he's also a malicious liar expectations on him he was known as one of the and, and also uh, the i think that his stupidity is more like out of game stuff than like uh, league of legends related i think he's uh, pretty quite, smart about league for the most part i mean we could see what happened if i tries to pick a posting we'll we'll get towards if you can be a genius of that too but he was one of these like holy trinity of 80 carries coming up from that era of play he was back known as jomang back then and it has taken a little while for him to be like genuinely contending to be best AD carry in the region. I think he has at that point now. Look, look at how he grew last year in 2023 under BLG and then into this year as well. Elk has done so, so much good work. Like what does he have against Monty to lie about? And especially, this is why it's so I mean, he just wants to like, I, I don't know his motive for it. We'll I just know that say about like, you to the <laughs> if you watch the, title, the video, I mean, like, they, Jackula come on. And Mako, haven't necessarily shown there's also the a reason why he doesn't play out the video like he actually thought that the scion strategy he did was the same as the lane swap he would play out the video the reason he like when he like i think what happens is he 
is like, oh, we used to do this strat with Scion. And then he like starts the clip and then he's like, wait, this isn't the same. And he realizes that it's like not the same. And then he keeps on going with it, which is the malicious part to me is like, once he realizes that the example is not actually, or the example he's trying to use is actually not what G2 is doing. He continues going through with it while knowing that it's bullshit in order to just make Monty look bad. But um, yeah, I mean, the reason he hates Monty is because Monty uh, and Thorin went in really hard against Lena when Lena was the president of TSM. They were just saying that she was like unfit for being president. They were calling her an idiot and stuff, saying that she, you know, was bad at her job. And that's obviously his girlfriend. So that's why he hates Monty. That's why he would probably go hard on Monty. best champions that is by as well i feel True. like vlg yeah. are one of the only teams that it feels right is there a reason you're not doing best and league show anymore yeah just time knowing that shun will be able to wanted to make my schedule a little bit less like demanding this year looking towards didn't want to have a bunch of talk shows to do on top of the, the co-streams i mean to be honest like i'm doing uh lck co-streams now too so i'm like covering four regions instead of three and then i also doing cb law from time to time as well so like i'm doing four to five regions and doing a talk show it's a lot Bro. I just wanted to not have to do yeah, coming into the series particularly too too much LG and we we're saying okay they're on the back foot here top esports gave them a little bit of a run for their money when it came to that macro which is something that we were praising blg on for particularly but top esports tried to play their own game tried to take blg for the macro didn't work out so what instead do you think could be that missing key element here you need to have some answers in either mid or bot lane one way or another i think we're agreed on that now bot lane hasn't been easy to find them Dare I say it, I wonder if there is a pitfall that maybe BLG could play into because I think we need to see Cream on some of his specialty champions. Do we let through Ari and see Silas locked in for Cream? Uh -oh. Do we let that happen now? I don't know, I'm, do we? I mean, because I, I just look at Cream and I think Cream has been developing magnificently as a player on top piece. Well, he has to, right? You've got so much experience around you, but I want to see him on something that can really just take the game by the reins and just say, look, I'm carrying now. I don't know I how Dill has any fans after scabbing the fuck down, out of everyone like, in the, the LCS. I mean, it's the same thing that people um, are doing now, right? Like, they just don't believe Double is down, malicious with anything. How JDG overcame NIP in that series. You like, do you think he's like a lovable idiot type, you know? things as well in terms of i guess that's what it is it wasn't necessarily that visible because every time he does something super fucked up like he completely undermines the walkout goes on his stream like selfishly goes on his stream and then just like says that he's gonna play no matter what as like the most popular player in the entire lcs completely fucked the entire walkout and fucked over like a bunch of academy players and all the lcs players completely sabotage them in negotiation they just do like the he didn't know any better like he didn't know that the uh, <laughs> walk out yes like meant that he was supposed to, to me, walk like, out like has been so much about this series but the series we also watched yesterday how they handshake a lot of the fist fights in the mid lane so they're not allowed to join their teams and i feel like at this point it's hurting top esports more with cream not being able to uh, influence side lanes especially with his corky i was expecting some package time as janeiro on the lpl stream now to get that he's ahead. just starting top to work as a host in league of legends and, and yeah. she did a good job on lec brought her into lpl how how fitting would I think she does I think she does well one member who's not made an international event in cream in the between these two teams being a deciding factor by taking like for somebody who's like not been involved in LPL this entire like split that would be very fun. she either did a lot of work to catch up or she had been following along I'm not sure but she hasn't said anything that's made me like be like what the fuck is she talking or like oh like winner of the series will be locked in seems like she speaks well seems like she did the work to be updated later on this week so let's head over to our castes to break down this next game we have Lyric and Mazel once again. Yeah. Thank you so much for all that wonderful analysis on the LPL Lounge. But now we get to a point where Blue Side has been king. She's a good host, but I hate her on Twitter. Advantages. I mean, yeah, she she's like kind of edgy on Twitter, but I, yeah. I don't know. And I, I, feel like I don't like, like I don't I don't follow her on Twitter. I just see her hosting Trouble jobs, and I'm like, she does well when she's hosting. About nice. TES spreading themselves too thin with the draft that they went for. 
And I kind of think I don't, like her, even, like, I don't like the Greek accent, like, but I do like her analysis. That, be like, all right, but that's trouble. Go back to game that's two not BLG lost. Like, I think their draft in and of itself is fine, but again, you're kind of going a another niche direction. Honestly, for these teams, um, maybe the plan going forward is just simplified. I love that they've been going for these aggressive bot lanes and again, really fighting for that advantage. I, I think just keep doing that up in your other solo lanes too, right? Keep leaning on, like, let's see the Talias, let's see the Nikos. Yeah. Bring out bring out the Annies for these guys, despite the fact that they're super up based. Split. Like, <laughs> oh, these she types did? of picks that I think All right. can Perfect. fight if they've seen Angle. Well, at then I like her more. Both of these teams, again, if they can get the advantage, super. they know to push it forward. Mm. They, they both love hey, yo, being yeah. these, these windows to aggress. So, yeah. One more time, Mazel. We just <sighs> simplify. Just keep it simple. Oh, I'm running out of water. That I won't uh, add to that. So we'll I can't believe I'm going to be first. back home in a week. It's so <laughs> I, crazy. I, think the, I feel the like the time just flew when I was here. Been kind of the way that these styles clash. We set it up at the very beginning. It was like both these teams love to choke hold their opponents. They love to get advantages and never let you see the light of day. And we've seen that. We haven't seen some big comebacks. We've seen sporadic steals, some crazy Baron flips, but it has been very one-sided in all three games. And I, I think in these kinds of moments, some of that consistency is going to be needed. Top Esports are a super team for a reason. They grabbed Kareem. I can't handle how we, we were blaming Super because he said he was better than Def, and then somehow we got a worse quote. Yeah, that's just completely mental, bro. He just one-upped it. Could be final game for all right. Top Esports. Ari ban. So, so Kareem, so TS yeah, is actually sadly, banning Ari both sides. That's crazy to me. Ari banned both true. sides. Vi banned into Shun. Kalista banned because they just got railed with it. Lucian banned, Varus banned, Senna banned. So now, like... If, if you want to go to Draven, Ari that is still up. You have game. like Zeri lanes that are up, Jinx lanes. This is what is raising up. Mako did not pick Nautilus yeah. last time, I believe. Plays it at some point in the best of they just went Lucianami last time, right? <laughs> Maybe putting a little bit of too many eggs in that basket. It is a classic of Mako. Jinx? Split in one of his most oh, Jinx is always really good. It is the Nautilus first pick for Now, do they go something like Jinx Thresh? And we've already lost all the meta. I don't really like the Azir for Knight. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think his his Azir is that good. A bit higher prior, really only I'd probably rather them just play like being there Zin or something. Decide, but they, they go Azir. Go okay. It, but the scaling really being online. Jinx this Azir. Time. Night. Might not time. Have the greatest performance on the Azir, but again, I like that it kind of falls into that that simplicity that we were talking about. The playmaking potential is there. But if you want simple and you want it has been kind of a non-factor series goat status revoked also fall into that yeah i mean he's he's one of the worst players in this series for sure uh they get yeah. so much cohesion that's just kind of like i mean tian is like so pretty stable he'll well. perform in regular yeah, season he'll we'll make your team have pretty good structure presence, he just the other thing can be outclassed so by individually super skilled in players i view him similarly so to peanut you know like if peanut is that Goes against Canyon. Solidified Rex He's probably going to get outplayed by Canyon it's over so the course of the series. Strange, right? we have very uh, picks actually, I can't even I mean, say that. I mean, to be jungle. fair, Peanut actually plays pretty well into Canyon, but you get the point. It's the overall point that I have so is that, like, yeah. A lot of times you're getting the second base. Tien is a stable, role, not mechanics really down into the focused brain juggler. Of our and players role. like Shun have like the brain to match, but they also are just being very better individually, so it's kind of fucked. Was able to do with the I guess the better comparison would be like the Peanut denial. versus. Um, there are some very well, the thing is, like, uh, maybe maybe Peanut's a bad comparison. Like, so Peanut plays like Tien, but he actually does well into um, like owner most of the time as well. I don't know. Rumble is banned by BLG, so trying to window down some of those top lane matchups especially yeah, maybe peanuts just the goat bro because of the tristana mid <laughs> maybe <laughs> peanuts just the goat i don't know of comparisons are falling flat LG support and engage potential here and i like it denying the thresh doesn't really leave a lot of great op options down towards that bottom. i'm safe I mean, guys I'm don't worry right? weather is nice and i ate uh, breakfast Tom okay your motto's good still other ways of going aggressive if they wanted to lean into something like a Rakan or a Rel, but we're going to see what they go with. Hell, I guess even Enchanters are always possible when we're thinking about the BLG bot lane. Uh, definitely not being afraid of that, but those look like okay. are just going to have the, the flex of the Rel. A Rumble now. ban. I like the Rakan. That would just be a straight up Rumble top. A lot of and still a it's not a mid for Cream has been banned a lot of the time. If we think we know where that one's going. I guess the rel is technically flex. See if top esports want to play aggressive. I mean, if this ends up being a Draven, isn't Braum just fucking turbo in this game? This is not great into Tristana. Not great into Maokai. I mean, it's just good for the bot lane, I think. 
And let's remember, this time around, he doesn't have to worry about a Camille flying in his face uh, and a Vi coming out of left field. A Rex Draven pick could be really nice. It should be a much easier game to play Draven. And it seems like for 369, he agrees. Hey, there's not a lot of great options into the Rex side. Gragas uh, so sold. 369 Gragas. Okay, I'm down. Standard, but still, go. There is no Dude, are we going to, so to Sosa? I fixed Sosa, by the way, for YouTube, so I shouldn't go all live on the YouTube yep. stream. A staple of this guy, and one that he has taken down many a top laner with. Also, just a lot of team fight potential there for him as well to set up into a lot Any of CC for their team composition. There has been a consistent hover of aggressive jungle. Well, I don't like it, bro. Way. I don't like it. I it's like uh, top esports drop more right here. Classic for Soon answering three six nine. It's his kindred. I'm a bit surprised because I don't know, think kindred really is good are, here. Like, like it just you doesn't. Have buster shot. You have explosive cast. Yeah, I mean it's, it's like Gragas is good into kindred. That were already shown. There are I guess three frontliners, so maybe that's why he picked it. But I, I just don't like the draft from BLG. I think they don't have enough buttons hard for them to play. So I love it. Bet my house on top esports. All right, bro. You shouldn't have bet your house, but. Uh, oh, your house is looking so pretty bad, safe, man. I would say. He's been hovering it. He's been playing around it. This man has an over 66% win rate on this champion. He is a force to be reckoned with, and he will press the tempo of Tien on the Maokai. Something we've seen the Maokai in our playoffs be so good at is being reactive, clearing the jungle, and having those big team fight implications. But here we are with an aggressive right. <laughs> style. I'm a BLG. LPL yeah, and, lover. I mean, BLG ha having some levels of aggression there with the Kindred, but at the same time, it's actually LPL Dezer lover, bro. I've had such a good time with this series. Aggression, right? Tristana Dude, there's only you have the there's only two more days of LPL after Even this, and it's all like, over. You don't actually become super. And then I go into the LPL depression for so two months. I mean, I like MSI, but it has been the name of the game. I just so love watching like the LPL region, and I think the annoying part about MSI is like you end up in dominant victory situation where you're just like battling for your fucking early game team for a reason you're battling for your fucking life that aggression here for a game for that matters the most and every MSI time that lpl loses the series but a grand final spring ticket ready to go if you can take this best of five it would be blg's second time going to msi and we've seen top esports never at that mountaintop we are in a game four, and it's top esports versus BLG. Okay. Big series, big series, big series, big series, big game. I mean, not look like that easy of a jinx game. Oh, break those mics. All the loudness. I guess BLG but has like decent front line and stuff. This, right? It seems hard for them to win. I think we have so many big names, Lyric, in this wonderful league that we call the LPL. Top esports have some of the biggest names to ever grace the scene here uh, in this league. BLG, some of the biggest up and coming stars. And it's just crazy. So if that LCK wins MSI, will be. Book their ticket to MSI. Summer will be unbearable. Already be waiting like a I don't know. It's weird, right? Because people just don't care about finals. MSI. Or maybe it's just because yeah, LPL wins like, MSI that people don't BLG, seem to care about it. It feels like it, it, it has been their expectation this one. It's been their right from the dominant regular season that they've Twice shown hell row. again. All of these players like seeing the international stage except one except for cream and that's where i really feel like him on the tristana can be the difference maker i feel like it's an incredible pick in this meta on hell cream's only ever made it to double elim in playoffs once it was last spring and guess who was eliminated eliminated by mazel it was actually blg yep. that sent him to fourth that's four of these five players right it was only the only difference was he gal last year so i think for cream especially it would really be a great hurdle to overcome beat blg and then yeah. you know claim that ticket to msi take down the mvp of spring split make good on all those years on omg where he felt like he was grabbing the team in a backpack and pulling after shock diff the finish line. i mean is draven now just gonna murder two two on here off and we have to focus because that <laughs> it just is bro it's just murdering on i don't know first blood to cash out for jackie love maybe they get a second one that would be so dude that just looked so dry man i don't know how do you play leads lead to victory. how can you play yeah and just really nice coming out from ts and honestly maybe a bit of a uh, you know inexperience on the rel because we haven't i mean the rel just looks at all. pretty so sus to me not been something he's he's lent on like, the rel like support teams looks pretty sus when i, I see it really getting over ambitious with, with his positioning thinking they could go for that winning trade but jackie love just like end, that pretty much jackie man love gonna start rolling on his draven it's so funny we put so much focus on cream 
Uh, but I think we spent a lot of time of this entire series praising Jackie Love for the last year he's had. Him and Elk going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. We see the pro view of Jackie Love. Yeah. Just, I mean, having I mean, Alan just needed to, to start this like, really W and then insta walk into the wave, I guess, so he can't get hooked. I flash forward, I mean, he probably just gets flash hooked the afterwards the anyway. He's right probably just dead, bro. Time. Instantly dead. But, uh, get that stacked up for the big cash, but Gold is still, gold the Draven. And again, like, not only are they finding the lead, but you have Gunna's a lot here. less threats to worry about this time around. So he should also be able to do a lot more yeah. with it. Tien now going to be on this side of the map, too. Should very easily be able to turn this into Chun a going just top stuff. crab no matter what right, oh he got he rng the correct crab Ooh, yeah he's just a kindred man it, he so just rng's the, the correct the crab now this time around Tien, we'll take the i swear side. shun's we'll like i've watched so much shun i swear he rng's the correct crab like every single time man he always gets the crab on the side of the map that he wants to be on it's so crazy actually like you said it equalized but still Oh, yes, they're just diving elk. Not stopping. Yeah, there's a TP coming right in from Knight. So they actually try to go for the engage there on getting locked down. Tiana over the wall. Jackie Love doing so much damage without Bro. even having back. Bro, on took so much damage. It's so hard for them to base. From How do they base? Very low. Tiana's here. Tiana wants to stop their backs here. Bramble smash does end up doing it. They have to Sadly, walk all the way to Narnia. Bro, to this is so bad for everyone. Tien's this is horrible for everyone. Absolute menace. Yeah, and you know what? Like, Knight had to go down, cover that dive, make sure no one goes oh, down. Oh, and Knight gets canceled again. Oh, this is such a catastrophe for BLG, man. Being even more of a nuisance. Tien said, Holy fuck. Yeah, and Mako. With, with, with Holy, it's just such a catastrophe flash, for the game. I mean, Knight has to flash away there. So, look yeah, how can play, bro? And sure, BLG actually haven't really been losing gold or XP because Shun's in mid. I mean, they're losing mm. gold and XP down here, but Shun was covering mid until now. Uh, but it's really now. Oh, he's gonna up. flash over for the cannon, bro. It you know, scared me for a sec. That lead, Knight being denied, and even Shun missing out on some of this. Knight is just down 500 yeah, CS because of this. Knight doesn't have TP to get back. Cream has a giant CS lead now, and as well as very close to a first plate too. And especially oh. an experience lead. Like you think about it, he's gonna hit. He should hit level six so much sooner than Knight. And then that that threat of the all in is gonna. 100. percent You are not. 100. He'll hit. Divide to be able to send him blind. Six way sooner Hell, than Knight. He might be six before be Knight is five. Way, if things don't go your way too. I want to see the movement now from both sides. Tian is actually going for the grubs first. I think it really behooves them to do that because they will have a lot of pressure. Hey, Tian on grubs. Get the siege going, their composition. Maybe playing Especially blue side is the answer. The Tristana. So they take the first three right now. <laughs> Holt was right. Traded because shouldn't read oh, nice. Let's just leach experience mid map. too. Objective nice. Will not be traded right now. And that's big. Let's just leech experience from Knight. Yeah, Knight yeah. will be level five not, at the end of the game. Cool, guys. The opportunity, not feeling the Orphan. confidence. They, they group up mid first to make sure that this gets going. But still, what is I going on, man? What are they doing? With what they've taken so far actually gets all of them. Dude. Wow. BLG five manning top right now. They actually can't what play, bro. Decision. Game's so BLG over, man. They won't find anything with that five man top. They'll actually move Knight back mid. And Elk actually just going to stay up here in the top side. Try to scoop up some of this farm while on and shouldn't play aggressive. I mean, I think they acknowledge, right? Like, they've already committed to some up here. We need to keep them farming. We they have to, like, swap the lanes because they can't even walk the turret the versus the Draven. Sure, the Got to make sure this Rek'Sai doesn't catch the wave for free. Regardless, right? Mm -hmm. DS would just be stronger. So, oh? I think overall it's a solid play. 369! Oh! Oh, the cask was there, but He's sadly, not it, enough. Oh, my goodness. That's so close. 369 ult. This guy's deadly instincts. And they're making sure the Jinx isn't behind, but it's like... Classic and so tough for night man night is actually night. suffering so hard for this both junglers passing towards bot side jackie love and mako have a huge lave crashing into bin this should enable top esports to get the first dragon of the game too and right uh, th this was expected of them they they're already winning 2v2 they're gonna have pressure in mid from tristana hell even more pressure again from the amount of time that night wasted like look cream is six night still only level five so, they're just continually yeah, swapping. I mean, they are playing against Grubs, them, too, so their tempo is completely fucked. Yeah. I don't know how they play this, man. It looks completely over to me. They're going to go uh, topside with Elk and just kind of leave Bin down here. The Dragon can go over to top esports yeah. as well. I get, I'm actually surprised it took TS so long to start this one up. I, I think it'd be a fair assumption that BLG... BLG can't mm -hmm. do that. Like, BLG is your motto here? Son, I think opted in this fight. Your motto just watching with me? So Wait, so he can never turn his stream off or what's uh, happening? To actually get an advantageous angle. So is your motto just going to watch the game with me? me in and again, TS didn't start it up right away. So or what's going on? Get the stacking online just a couple of minutes later than you otherwise could have. And now it's going to be about if Shun can get into the enemy topside jungle and keep the mark train going. 
they were well, there why earlier. Why did train? I don't know. But oh, yeah, true. Bro, they don't even have a plate yet. They just got their first plate. Yeah. I was thinking oh, what's up? locomotive train, but Oh, your motto's here? Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> so you have to do makeup right now? Or this earlier, Tien was on this top side and kind of pushed Shun out of ah. the jungle. So they've been just sitting on this mark for a while. He's going to try to move over. Ah. But the thing is, that dragon timing leads to a back for Tien coming back out of the map in perfect timing to respond. This, to this game is beyond fucked. Yeah, they were going to go for a dive. That mark disappeared. Yeah, they lost full so turret. They got a, one plate. <laughs> Excellent. There was a threat of a dive on bot. They're going to get this for 369. There's a guarantee of a dive here in top side. Oh, 369 gonna get flashed. 369 is dead. The mark on him too, so this is big. I mean, at least Jinx is getting mark. some like sadly, no arm. They're so far behind though. Tien ran through the lane, wouldn't have been able to do much, especially without the ultimate. Wait, Yamato's so here. Nice no socks. To to find the kill back, he has no socks. On Elk, so making sure they're not down and out. Wait, you walked through the, the whole fucking gone earlier in the game. City is a hobo. Dude. Mako making their way up here now. Oh, your shoes with no socks. Dude, they got five oh, plates first. How you doing, bro? Like yeah. eight minutes into the game. Jesus. Was completed, like eight, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's in prime position to do what, do what we did all before. Split and Boom. Honestly, right. for the last year Boom. for top esports and carry uh, this game. I feel like the name of the game for BLG for the next... This game is over, by the way. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know how top esports can actually get back into it. Wait, so you can never turn off your stream? I guess not. Maybe I stream from the phone or some shit, and then it turns up. I just take it over. I have no idea. You hijack your own stream? I just leave it on. What the fuck? I would be very surprised. I, I, I don't think I can. I don't have access to like remote desktop. Composition. Nothing. Could be just oh, perfect. Now, but top esports. Prime yeah, position. Just just start it up and no response. Bro, you know how you were asking me about like what BLG, what like I, advice do I have for you as a streamer? Mm -hmm. Bro, I've I've noticed every time that you either fall asleep or you don't show up to your stream, your viewership skyrockets. Like, I think you should literally just be a streamer that you just turn on your stream and you just never show up. Like, you just don't watch your own stream. Get myself into trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just permanently just turn on your stream and then just have something like catastrophic happen every time. The rest of these outer turrets. Lyric, I'm terrified. It's yeah. rub again. Oh, Bro, Jackalov is so strong. They got full bot turret, <laughs> traded it for two plates top. <laughs> oh my god, how do they live? And you know who else is it's hitting? terrifying. Maybe it's okay. Yeah. Hey, there's a cuddly cat there. It's fine. Jackie Love trying to get more plates under his belt. He's good. No, I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's good. He's good. He's good. It's getting like permaband versus him for the most part. Okay, okay. As soon we'll take yep. another mark. Yep. That'll be a third one of the game for them. Yep. They get the top side. Oh, they catch up. Damn, just like that. Jackie Love cashes in for his second. Oh, Jackie Love just cashed in again. GG. Huge swing again. This is exactly what they want to be doing. Is oh, that was so close to them being able to find Shun, and Shun doesn't have flash, so he would have just gone down. But uh, that will now just be a dream for TS. It isn't going to be able to keep up, but it, oh, it feels so hard. It feels so hard if you're BLG in this position and, and yeah. where you can realistically look. look at that man. Like making plays on the Gragas. Uh, he's a Gragas, he has sustain, he has the explosive cast to not only push you away or, or get the wave away, like, can, can bring you in. Zach like is literally just two and a half men. Yeah, pretty much. Dream, he's mobile, he has self heal tools. Like, how does really, on play? such a rough position for BLGs. We're gonna oh, he misses Q, one so he just doesn't get aftershock and he gets insta one shot. Room, but ends up getting completely taken down and taken over by Jackie Love. How can play? How can play? How can play? How can play? It's impossible to play. It's a night. Oh, a little bit of engage on a cream threatening the Emperor's Divide combo. But there is another dragon in less than a minute, and Top Esports will have priority here in mid lane because of this pressure. Oh, nice. Bro, what the fuck? He doesn't have matching. What, what the fuck are these sizes of socks, bro? What is that? Nah, Gillies can't be a real person, man. By the way, I think Gillies has been stealing my socks. I've just lost socks, bro, since I've been here. Honestly, it's a German thing. No joke. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not that German people steal socks, it's just the washing machine. This is just a German sock elf. 
The explosive charge is not going to be enough to do anything. Cream can't get the reset there, so some big tools used. Yeah, pretty much. Force going to try to take another turret. They just dive it now. Remember, they have to just go. They can just start hitting this, and it's going to become unbearable. They can also just take the fight. Oh, clean, clean. So much time. The turret's still alive. Not so hard. How can play? Yeah, it's easy. They got owned this game, bro. They got owned so hard. This was crazy. <laughs> How did the bot dive happen? Like, Kindred couldn't, like, mark it or defend it? What do you mean, bot dive? Like, they pushed him off bot turret, that's what I heard, and then Knight TP? Save them? God, Where the fuck was Kindred? Like uh, Kindred was, was uh, topside going top mark. Uh, but they already lost lane. Like, they lost lane to level 1. Draven just killed him at level 1. It's 6k gold lead at uh, 13 minutes. It's GG. And then we just go love Sosa. Bro, you have to drink out of this. He doesn't have a cup. In this series, I won't do every it. I time there is a oh, okay, the nice side advantage really coming into bear, but it's been this bot lane that has decided Check every game so far. You have to raid or host really to stop your stream, but raiding doesn't stop your stream, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. It just it stops it. Uh, oh. Oh. Does it even stop it? I, I thought that it like doesn't stop. Like raids, and then like after 30 minutes it goes back. Nice. Okay, I will raid you. You raid me? Oh, okay. Nice. Two items now. For Jackie Love, the first 14 minutes in the game. Bro, I'm telling you, you doubled your viewership when you went. Like, I'm telling you, bro, that's gotta be the angle. Like, one thing as a streamer is you just gotta like figure out what works and then just go with it, man. Like, just start like house fires and shit. I gotta leave. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, nice. Just burn down your apartment for temporary double increase in viewership. This is what actual speed did, no? He started the fire and his. Yep. Hey, you should just go the I show on, speed though. route. So show the schmied as well. Like, the cask over the top at three, six, ah, three six nine just stole the kill from Jackalove. Now Jackalove will run it down. Draven thinks. Final cask in there, making sure he gets himself. On Bro, the I don't really like two. the Knight Azir. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Don't feel like he's that good at the champ. Oh, they're getting jumped on. Wait, wait, wait. they're gonna flank. Oh, they put a turret. Wait, Rex is here. Oh, it doesn't matter. He got one shot. Holy fuck, the damage is crazy. Oh, nice play. Three, six, nine. Getting caught now. Okay. okay. Oh, Azir got the kill. The kill. turret. A little bit of gold back. Top esports over. Instead. Nice. But back at the lair. Move it's phone away. Taking a side lane turret. Only gets about half of them. Yamato moved the phone. Get the engage here. Wait, what's happening? And this is, I mean, like, I love just phone on desk. Reason, right? you, you Yamato the phone. So I have no idea. Team yep. fights so incredibly well. You open up. So People are freaking out for some reason. You're a flex pick. I think any draft. I can get this really just open Wait, was it buzzing so or something? I like what TS no, no. did. You get a one for one. You get a side lane turret off of it too. Uh, you at least get pressure in a side lane. And oh, now, it's buzzing, really? I don't know. People are complaining. It, so okay. They're just perma, the perma complaining. Holy fuck. <laughs> Look at it, bro. Look at it. Damn. So the yeah. When that rift herald goes down and they go for that push, they, they might be able to take Wait, a phone fucks PLG audio on mic? I always have my phone and it never does anything. They also have 100% of that's why my audio is here. At least neutral objective control. Okay. And that hasn't been the case in any of the games so far for either team. Honestly, it's been very back and forth. Wait, don't I always have my phone? Be, uh, a, a oh, sign of the times are changing here. Top you don't run out of battery. Really a little bit of that momentum. So, like, you just Five never get into your thing again? Like, what happened? Items. They charge your door? Or like, so, like, I tried my key on someone else's door. Yeah. And then the first one inside. They just, they're like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, sorry, like... Wait, your key works on other people's doors no, in like Germany? I just, I just checked really it like to see if there was a different time. reaction, if it was a key like, problem okay, or a door problem. Because I wanted to... Because it worked downstairs, you know, my key, majority right the building. Yeah. Okay. And then I wanted Finding to just test it to see if there's a different reaction to the key. Because hmm. maybe sometimes like the key just kind of loses being, its um, like a, a identity. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's been very and then like she was inside, the she's like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm blocked out. I'm homeless. Oh, okay. And who knows? I hope you After like, this, I mean, sure. with how this is yeah, going, you can call this number. They can thing. unlock your door, but this it costs money. Pick. I was like, I don't know, Look at me. Knight has not been able to find so what are you doing? Any What's and the, and then she told me the manager lives mm -hmm. in one of the apartments. I went up there and knocked on the door, yeah. and then his girlfriend was there, and then she left a note for the manager, and he's going to fix it tonight, I think. Nice, your stream's just going to be on until tonight? Yeah. Okay, cool. I have no money, bro. You need to carry me today, bro. Okay, I carry you. so true. Carry me. Oh, he got him. That guy's dead. But he mistimed it. And now Jackie Love gonna go down. Jinx too. Elk, my God, they just gave that animal so much gold. Maybe Elk would be on the other side. Remember that game against the Golden Guardians? Yeah. Does manage to find it, like you said, Jackie Love. Sadly, not able to get out of there with the flash. 
so they do manage to Don't the hotel have a master key? key? So if the battery does Bro, I don't know about it. They tried the master key. They tried the master key. The door just doesn't have battery. I have never had that sentence. I've never, I didn't even know doors have that, bro. Hotels in Berlin are different, man. My door lost battery was just crazy. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Oh, look at 369 with the Adam build. Is he doing the raw after our change? <laughs> oh shit, he did it, bro. He did it. Oh no. Oh, 369 just has BDS analyst. Nice. So love to see that because they can find. Well, you did say that you should get fired, and now you moved on. Yeah, he got fired from BDS. Now he's on top of esports. Actually, no one, no one nearby. He's probably completely. Bro, Thorin is. Uh, bro, Thorin. He is. He is breaking down how double up is guaranteed a liar. <laughs> he went through everything, man. You know how Thorin gets and shit like that. He went through everything where he's like, he's not been asking people. I'm like, am I just delusional? Like, or like, is he lying? And then, oh wait, playable. Oh, oh. Give them the oh. I got hyped because the Shun Kindred. Yeah. But then after the, I heard about the first time, I was like, ah, it's just fine. I push it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, everything is spoiled for us. Really? Because Gilius is like on Billy Billy. So, like, we'll always hear his reaction before everything. So, just be prepared. When you hear Gilius shout, you know something's about to happen. I've just been watching Spoiled League of Legends for. Literally a month. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, they're nine thousand yep. gold up almost a little just bit. Just bullying you into watching Billy Billy. I, I don't like that we have to cover the logo, man. That's annoying, man. Yeah. I think I stopped at a point. I didn't do it since I was here. And I didn't get in trouble. Esports already in position. Problem is, Shun isn't here, so this would still only end up being a four v four, even if BLG were like, "Hey, let's go." Maybe I'll just stream on Billy Billy afterwards. I mean, Jagulov has no flash here. A little bit scary, no? Item also completed for Cream. Bin just goes. Bin, on the bin side. just goes on Jackie Love here. Oh, that pink ward was really good from Cream. Cream catches out Bin on the side now. They're in the pit. See? Could be a 50-50, but on is getting no. Oh, oh, big! That's why he. Hey! Hey! Oh, wait. Okay, he's in Sweden. Oh my God! Fucking him, man. Oh! Oh, the Drake, the Drake, the Drake, oh, the Drake oh, killed him, oh, the Drake killed him. No way. The Drake killed him, bro. Uh, Ain't no way. Dude, they can win. Wait, they're down 8k gold. How can they win? Yeah, fake gold. Draven fake gold. That Draven just needs flash, man. Yeah. The Giddick side comes okay, through, and now flash, flash a Drake going to be able to be picked up getting gold? for BLG side. Things look a little bit nice here, to start off with. Yeah. Shana, oh. Finding some nice damage, but it's right ba -ba here. Ba -ba -ba. Through, no flash. Yeah, that's what he said when he was... Wait, you, you saw the clip of when Chovy... Uh, when he was, when yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when he was going in and he's like, ba 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 ba, and I was like, I didn't know Chovy got down like that, bro. What a beast! He dies on the Andres afterwards. Ain't no way. Apparently, ba ba just means look, look, look. No, it just means to go barren. <laughs> Every one of those counts, right? Like this yeah. is this is getting yeah. closer and closer in terms of the, the kills. Yeah, you now stopped the dragon comps, stacking, yeah, but oh well. Legendary. There's about dragons. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's Baron time. Wait. No top okay. Oh, they, they get in. It's a complete flip now. They oh, are going to take, take the fight. Nice flash onto Ben. Oh. Ben's uh, Elk is hitting for free. Oh, he got he got hit out. He got rooted outside the Kindred ult. Oh, they got they got one for one though. It's not bad, bro. They're like trading pretty evenly. Rocket jump over the edge. BLG. I worry when Elk is fucking IE that this game. Starting flips to get on to the head. point that Jason yeah. matters. I will say though, Elk was not. I think that it's like. Uh, in that I don't know. I guess it's it's like up to Cream to start putting in work when he gets items now. I don't know. Randoms are so you know, broken on both sides. Yeah. Over to me, like, hey, you can't walk in. You don't get to come over here. Hey. Can't do that. And, uh, that's how they were able to find their first one, but still. Oh, is he going over? Oh yeah, my god, Onyx is a psycho. Is, uh, here. Bro, he's no W or what, bro? Like, Jesus. That Holding that shit till next season? I'm gonna I not know, make my team mistake with Bones, I'm gonna risk the whole game. To <laughs> and Top Esports, they now have a three item Jackie Love. Yeah. They will be miles away from my A. No, it's not that long. Again, the problem is Tez have the damage, like but DLG have the range, which is yeah, how yeah, he's, he's gonna have it so kind of soon. For Top Esports to be able to commit oh, with, you don't even have the Maokai ult, so turning. Top Esports is low key harder. choking. And yeah, they can, without those tools, 6k gold lead at 13 minutes, 7k gold lead at 22. 
Ooh, Pyrexia would have knocked him out of that. Oh, they need value off of this Love fucking Draven Flash. Yeah. I didn't need to win the game off of Draven Flash. Very detrimental to his Lose health. Some goofy way the like this game completely from from top east Yeah, I mean, Knight has flash though, so he can like predict it. Plus, he has Zanyas. It's all gonna be about Knight and Gages. He has to go Toby like mode this game. Some possibility from the other I wonder if he goes um, Randuin's this game instead of Frozen Heart, or does he just go Frozen Heart? I think a lot. Feel like maybe On should get Frozen, something like that. I don't know, bro. My mind is is like considering Tisana already has LDR. Yeah, I feel like he's just damaged by that point. Fight. Yeah, saying that, that TF would be the mm. one to get those next two drakes, right? So it's gonna be frozen hard on his ear. 100%. They have two randuins. Or they have two people building it. Up his items. Shun's only nice row of stacks. Yep. He's gonna get more damage. He's gonna yeah, get he's more damage. Yeah, he's just Adam, bro. And TS, sure, their comp does have a lot of engage, but still, BLG have this engage too. Like they can use the Emperor's demise for that. They have tools like Shun's ult also be able to. For sure, that matters. <laughs> there are counters there for TS. Dumb, so would I you rather have 50 like, euro it, now or 100 euro in 10 years? Yeah. Yeah. Goes on because of, yeah. Uh, like, would you uh, rather have a million dollars now or 100 euro every single out. fucking month Ooh, for the next 100 years? For sure. so second item there, like for me, for a I would take the 100. BLG, like the thing that people don't understand is passive income. I'll take the 100 euros a month. The Baron is still there, and if we know some top esports, that they are don't be there while you speak. Yeah, oh, it's so good advice, bro. It's like, like <laughs> yeah, just commit him to the turret, bro. Like, like streaming is just about like it doesn't matter if your content is good or not. It's just what do people want from you. People want you to not be there when you're streaming. That's just that's just a fact. Showing down on the bot way, but after losing all that health. You know, like have you ever seen those TikTok streamers where they pretend they're asleep? They just have like a image of them sleeping, oh, really? and then they they have the oh, game oh, playing. Cream, cream, He doesn't have flash yet. Oh, really? it's yeah, yeah. You've never seen this? Yeah, Chad, have you seen this? Where it's like one guy who's like like this, and it's supposed to be like him playing. But they're like, they, it's just an image of the person sleeping, but they're actually playing the game. I think that's what Yamato should do. Yeah, no. I love these these homies yeah, that take what they said serious. You know, yeah. they said it in the goofiest voice. It's per so day, not per month. So One hundred dollars a month for hundred years. No, it was actually it was actually like a, a meme on Twitter. Somebody said this. Somebody like said this like, let me teach you about passive income. They're gonna TP. That's a double TP actually coming. Yes, some people have seen it. Okay. Nature's grasp gonna actually connect. They get the TP in from night. As night, relax, spawns. relax, buddy. Kindred is split off. This is not a good fight for you. You need to regroup right before you do anything. Their hand around the Baron pit. Oh, night got hooked. Drifts out though. They are a little bit split here. Elk does decent amount of damage. Ocean Drake is up. BLG has to walk all the way around if they want to do anything. I gotta say, the idea seems kind of half baked with, with, with the vision that they had. I mean, you're not getting your soul laners anywhere near close enough to be able to follow up Tien's ultimate. Oh, Knight needs to win the mind so, game against right, Jack. I first he needs to fucking dodge the E uh, to get to the castle, and then he needs to hold ult to flash after. At the same time, I feel like BLG has the one shot action in this game where they're fine. Yeah. Like, oh, all right, you take that. We're, we're getting close to LDR for BLG. We just saw another item finished up for Knight with the frozen heart, so. They're, they're, they're getting onto those, those three item I mean, for most people, a million will be gone in six months since they would think that own. money is not a problem God, anymore. Terrifying. Yeah. Top esports, they okay. have their fight cut out yeah, for them. They might have a common thing that a lot of people that of uh, like win the lottery, they just cut out. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you gotta be, like, so mental for that to, like, happen, bro. Like, I don't know, when I first got money, the first thing I did is put it in the S&P. Like, that was, like, literally the first move. I put it in the S&P. Started putting money away once I got enough. I bought a house, like... I don't think it's like, again, like that hard to game, but it's really found a way to make invest known the longer this game's gone on cream kind of the opposite a lot of but then again i look with gilius so maybe <laughs> off in the mid -game. maybe it would be just gone or cream it would be his first international appearance if he could win this game and then you know get to game five and give top esports that hope and for blg it would be a making good of their summer split it would be a grand nice bro appearance it would be a Second. Oh, on thought he was getting hit, so he tried to buffer the Q. Top esports position for the Shit, it's fucking scary for a top esports all of a sudden. Is that even a good engage? Knight Zanya's now. Get the reset, baby. Oh! Oh! One reset. reset, reset, reset. Hurricane! Oh! Okay. Jackie Love is just dead, bro. Oh, no! No, bro, they lost. It was such a free game. Oh, no! Bro, they're
there's so much standing gold on the map. They lost. They lost. It's 100 percent over now. It's done. It's 100 percent over. They lost. Yeah, and they lost all flashes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's so over, man. And 369's death timer is gonna be staggered. Oh my God, BLG just won. <laughs> and not only BLG won, Yamato. <laughs> Little 700 piece. <laughs> That's just gonna pay for your food today, bro. Nice. <laughs> I'm just paying for the food with gambling money. I'm eating the nice green beans. Yeah. No, I think I think Mako. Yeah, you just can't engage on that. And then also, like, there was no value off the Gragas ult. Like, the Gragas didn't even, like, old enemy team back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rogue got such a big engage, and then Knight swooped in, got knocked, went on Cream. I mean, it was a good buffer from Cream, but... Yeah, yeah. And I mean, what could Jackula even really do here? It ends up being such a, such a chaotic Oof. sprawl. Uh, a lot. So rap none on. What is the fuck does that mean, bro? And again, I know is that some language you speak? Series, <laughs> okay. But, uh, you speak a lot of languages, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I saw that shit. I'm like, maybe he's speaking <laughs> to you. Bro, honestly, when I saw Champions League, I thought 4 5, they're going to go Orn Kaiser. I thought this was like such a Kaiser game. Yeah. So in sync. In their they, even, like, they, they should have both won yeah. this game. Like. Yeah, they should have won this game. And elk is gonna be bro, I don't know. I was so hyped for LPL today. Like, this series, I don't know why I was, like, great, super bro. excited I in the first so game. Sad, bro. Like, I was outside, bro. Like, I was Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> no, these are the best days. Because, like, I was trying to explain to people, like, sometimes by, like, LEC, it's not only that we just, like, dislike LEC. It's just that, like, sometimes by LEC, you're just so tired. Because you've been doing, like, LCK into LPL. And then by the time you watch LEC, not only is it lower quality than LCK, and LPL, you've just been streaming for like 10 hours on days like this when there's one series, it's like perfect, bro. It's so exciting, yeah, yeah. And then it's a human hour, too. At least, yeah, over here, like 12 start, yeah, you can like wake up, eat breakfast, yeah. Otherwise, like, I fucking always fucking woke up here, it's like 7 a.m. Yeah. I woke up, had a coffee. Rachel and I played like two TFT games, there you go. Yeah, she lost both. I made fun of her, she told me to shut the fuck up. Like, it was fucking perfect morning, man. yeah, it's perfect morning for me, bro. That's like ideal. Deal for me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always like pick her back up, like whenever she's like upset that she lost. I'm like, maybe we, maybe you just lost me because you're mentally inferior. And then she started trying to kill me. <laughs> and then she started fighting me. We saw early game. Don't not beating the allegations. I'm not beating the allegations. They have this band, they're just gonna keep seeing oh. down. Knight has no flash. Okay. Oh, Jackie Love is so side. he's scaring the fuck out of me here. They just side. want to make sure they don't they end before Drake. In these tough pressureful moments oh, okay. and still find the fight they need. See? No. Helios! Look at this angle. They actually have a good one here. Yeah, it just ruins everything. Oh. 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 Bob, Bob. What's so up? Hey. Hey. Fucking Justana he just poof. Wait, is the game over? Do they just end? Do they end? And then, 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 then. They have one, one cannon, one cannon, save it! Ah, but he can die for it, I think. Bin can, Bin can die, die for it. I don't think it's over. They, they should get, they should get soul here. They should get soul. I think, I think they should get soul. But that oh, Rex, I is out. Yeah, get soul, get soul, get soul. Go hunt, Where's the stun is OP? Back, no, no, no. No, no, no. Rel is no, no, no. up too. I don't think so. Uh, I think they... Yeah, I don't think they can end. They have the six rubs. They have the Tristana. No, they're inting. 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 Oh. They're inting. They should not have been here, bro. Rex has ult. Rex has ult. Oh, he ulted to dodge the cast. Randwin? Yeah. Okay, they get soul anyway. They get soul anyway. Oh. It's not enough. Cream and Top Esports make that live. They do blasting damage to BLG. Uh, yeah, it yeah, it's like the wrong choice. So soul. Oh, the time on Tristana bomb just fucking one shot all of them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's still Cream's the goat. Enough, might be, huh? yeah, all right, 369 go row a second. Oh, because he has Adam's analyst, I guess. Look at this first bomb. Good. What happened to Jinx? Good flame from 369. Jinx got. This woody fruity. He got woody fruity. All woody zero fruity on this one, bro. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Nitro so is the people out there. Yeah. I mean, I, like Draven would have been in though. Like he would have just stayed outside and just all hit them. I think it was probably good from Knight. 
and following through. I really I think it was just uh, unfortunate for getting that. Yeah, soul, I mean, Jinx yeah. just we had no flash. That. Didn't know 369 was on that side. It's closer to a game five. There were two again. avenues there. Gia Knight could have played it defensively with the Emperor's yeah. side, but he played it aggressively and it uh, delivered. I mean, big Elk has sums and he's so strong though. If we get an actual and fight, I, I think we have seen a little bit of desync mm. from BLG, which is not something that we normally see. It's been small. It's been in little moments, but it's making the difference right now. Yeah, in these comps, they have enough damage for sure. In these comps. It doesn't matter that much. So what are we doing after we're going restaurant? Restaurant, bowling. Okay. Some alcohol. Honestly, we go. We go and pick food from trees or something. That's what I can do right now. Nice. Okay. All right. Cool. Don't worry about it. Don't look at it. Steal some blue bars. Yeah. Dude, we should just go to that uh restaurant and just steal their candy. <laughs> I guess, though, he didn't really control Bro, Yamato takes a full handful when he now leaves. You know, like the jar of candy at the uh, like at the be again, at the beginning of a restaurant. He just grabs a, lot of a full handful sides, and just puts it in his pocket. He says this now, but everyone was eating these candies. I was distributing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone is a necessity of the crime. Yeah, but it was like it was already done. The crime was committed, and I was like, all right, well, I mean, I might as well eat them, you know. <laughs> I was like the service was so trash. This, like, this, yeah, I didn't. That's the one thing I like about uh about being in Europe is like tip, like tipping is more. Uh, yeah, it's more of a choice. Like, cause their service was horrible. So it's like if you're not gonna give. Fuck your service, but there's a fire. Whoa, Jackie Love is dead. Oh, Jinx. Oh, Jackie Love is not dead. Oh, oh, GA. Nice flash, Elk. Does Elk just carry this or no? Oh, so he's just not zoning it, man. Oh, he's just getting zoned, perma. It's GG. They, just, they get ended on? Or what? Oh! oh. GG! GG, man. Alright, okay, I guess the money is not safe. Okay, now we're just poor. <laughs> Excellent. And we see the GA making the difference Shit. for Jack. Shit. Back to life and Bro, how did they win this game? I thought this game was over. Now you got some decently long that dead timers. Was crazy. On the yeah, the mid fight just ended everything. For BLG. So Tez, we're gonna see what they could do. Fuck Kindred, man. I yeah. see the base crumbling the moment that top esports seized. They have okay. regained oh, their moment. They personal. have regained their glory. They have heard those silver scrapes oh. calling their name. Game five of this banger. BLG Bro, I think Noah's here in game five. I don't even think the Knight played it that bad. It just doesn't seem like his thing. Like. Yeah, that's what I said. The same thing. I said, I said, bro, Polt was right. Polt was right. It's just blue side gap. I don't get it, man. Like this is a a magic. All right, it's time. And I should. Hope it doesn't play on the YouTube stream. I always turn it up in my headphones for it. Hmm. But fucking, I saw the fucking clip. Fucking double lift calling you a fucking parasite it pissed me off, man. Yeah. I'm so fucking angry, man. Yeah. I started listing all the fucking bullshit he's done. <laughs> you started listing? Yeah, yeah, man. This fucking guy. Yeah, it's fine, bro. Hey, bro, I'm fucking dumb, dull with drama. I mean, there's not drama, bro. Like, bro.
God damn. What the fuck is this? The fuck was that, bro? What the hell just happened after Sosa in here? God damn. Relax. The fuck was that garbage? Ain't no way. Now I was just talking with Yamato and Gilligan. <laughs> it went hard. Wait, was it actually a banger? Wait, what was it? Okay. Oh shit, that's big ass the plug, bro. This guy is from Texas. That yeah, kinda goes hard. Kinda goes hard. I like his voice. Please, you and Yamato, kiss. I need it for my sack fanfic. I will not do it. You will never get that out of me. Hell no, bro. Hell no. All right, I'll mute this. After the occasion in this particular one, and what a great way to push his team to game five, especially when he's surrounded by so much experience to be the one to help them go through. Now, the end of last nah, year, bro, it's Silver Scrape. Oh my God, I, bro. The thing that triggers me the most is they play Silver Scrapes the entire break, full volume. Then when they go to Analyst Desk, they have Silver Scrapes in the background. And then during draft, you hear in the arena, they're still playing Silver Scrapes. Like, come on, bro. Enough is enough. Just play it once, man. Please. It's just perma silver scrapes these days. Like how much scraping we got to do, bro? Just scrape a little bit and then we're good. They play it for like 30 minutes. It's always so long, man. Wait, your model still has 500 views? Dude, I'm telling you, he's just got to not show up to his streams. Wait, the top win? I left my drink? Yeah, yeah, top one. Going game five. Going game five, bro. It is what it is. I mean, game four, I thought the draft was mega BLG. Uh, a mega BLG clusterfuck. They lost. I think the last two games were really draft dependent. I mean, BLG, once they got, like, into the late game, their draft looked fine, kind of. But overall, I just didn't like the draft. I think a bot lane is just hard losing. Like, Kindred is not even good in this game. Knight did have some big plays, I will say that. Knight had some pretty big plays. But it just felt, like, very hard. The fucking dragon with the Leandres here. Holy shit. All right, game five. I want to see the draft. Three six nine is on the flank, which finds the eighty carry 
up to that point, that jinx elf was looking so Dumb. scary in the team. Dumb. Yeah, is winning him inside, brother. You think so? Yes. You think Chovy can one win night like that? Letting him inside, man? Yeah. I mean, it depends on Genji's form. I feel like everyone was dropping the ball besides for Chovy in the last series. Yeah, yo. You know, the more I watch this, uh, this just who do you think wins Hanwha Life T1? How many clips there are in put them all in. Put them you can in. just put them all in there. And every time you go into these team fights, you are just again reminded of the fact that everything is a well old machine. And everyone plays their part. And everything here is almost on the line. There's one way ticket. A guaranteed ticket. Yeah. I like Zeus. But also, the loser will go back down into I like the bracket. And but they have like fucking bodily issues. Bro, bro Hanwha Life, should I just message Mowgli and explain how the link swap? They figure out the link swap, bro. But why? Why do they need? I mean, it's the ultimate T1 counter, no? Bro, I think that what you should do is just show them the double in video, <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll know <laughs> exactly what a lane swap is, bro. <laughs> it's too fucked up. He explains it. And a trip to the grand finals. Losing goes to a very hungry God damn. and ramping up. If God is real, HLE wins. What a game five we have on the cusp. I think HLE wins. I got HLE winning. Fighting teams. Blue side has had dominance. Bro, can we get into draft? Bro, what is that, bro? I need something like that in my, my stream room. Yeah. But it's not even bricks, it's just uh, something on the wall, no? Yeah, yeah, it's like the stuff you put on, it's like a wallpaper, essentially. Yeah. Bro, I love, I love Mazel, Mazel. Mm -hmm. Man, when he says telegrubbies. It may, yeah, it makes me cringe. Yeah, the telegrubbies, man, he needs to drop the telegrubbies, man. Yeah? If he drops the telegrubbies, gold status. Boom. Damn, telegrubbies. Now, I don't like any of the, like, I don't like when anyone calls them grubbies or anything. I just like void grubs, bro. Grubs. It's flat. What the fuck but they really just can't do anything. It's like, man, who, bro, you who know what pisses me off? Mm. People say game. Kevin's, bro. Well, Kevin's. Uh, Kevin's, bro. Yeah, fucking Kevin's. Kevin's. Who says Kevin's? I don't know, I bro. I was listening to uh, we'll was it Super League? Was I listening? I think I was listening to Spanish I cast, Super Liga, and I just heard them say Kevin's randomly. Like, come on, bro. Ain't no way. Kevin's like that. Six Kevin's. And when we get to these top four teams, it is insane. The level bro, Dom is nice to you guys. He never pumps ads, bro. Oh, yeah. I guess I should play one right now, actually. <laughs> no, I don't pump them, bro. I just do one. I normally, I, I either do it after draft or I do it, like, in between. But then it's, like, when I play Sosa, I just go Insta Sosa. And then normally adds after. Bro, I really like your layout. I'm, I'm about to fucking this? play this, man. It looks like a little... I'm tabbing now. I'm fucking... I'm... You tab and stuff? You don't have... How many monitors you use? Two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third monitor for... I chat on the right side is way better. Because when I look left, I miss the game. For some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, chat on the right. OBS on the left so you know if, like, your shit's fucked up. Mm. Discord. Oh, this, is, this is a very good set. So, so you can see all the Thorn Flame to double lift. I like, guess you got everything you need. And I got like a little YouTube chat here. Pop out. Nice. <laughs> I don't know, just put it like here. Man is drinking at 12 with water, man. BLG to potentially pivot away from that. As yeah, three monitors. Did have a better game last game than he did the one before, right? Especially that one huge shuffle we, we, we saw. You'll be controlling right? NASA but from here, boy. He's just streaming for you guys. Bro, I was watching. Did you see all the presents? Did you see all the presents when they were walking in? Presents? Yeah, from BLG. Bro, BLG is walking in. Each player has like 50 bags of shit. <laughs> like, it's so insane. I've never seen anything like it. Bro, like I, I was in Korea for one split. Yeah. I got so much gifts. Bro. Really? I got an award for my efforts at Sandbox. I have a, an award. <laughs> what the hell? Crystal glass <laughs> inscribed with my name on it. They bought me a tie, tie clips. They gave me crazy snacks, none of it poisoned. Damn. Yeah, I remember our like sometimes we got stuff baked for us with Team Liquid, and our manager always. <laughs> He would always be like, "Yeah, we we gotta make sure they're not point. Like, we can't we can't give them to you, bro. There could be anything in there." And then I would just like look in his room. There'd be a half empty like eating brownie thing. <laughs> that was pretty basic. Like a joke of Steve, man. Towards the center of the rumble, being down there, if they wanted to go towards something more aggressive, like like a Kalista, right? So there are still different looks. Yeah, bro, close the door. At least it comes less loud. I mean, you'll still hear it, but it's like it's not as distracting. 
That one's still, okay. he's gonna Rumble ban. Is Rumble ban fake for 369 and Ben? I think it's, it's a Mako ban too. Oh, Mako yeah. played it, yeah. Is it, did you go Kalista first? Like, yep. Is this going to be Kalista or not? I mean, what do you even lose Nami into it? They Varus without Ash? What do they do? Varus. But I think they should. Oh, Vi is bad. Because okay. the first game, I think they made a mistake by not picking Vi and Talia together. And then Jay I mean, the thing is, like, do they have to Zin Zhao here? Bro, because I feel like this is just like Zin Zhao, Renata, and then you're just suffering. Yeah, but they can also drop a Rek'Sai. I wouldn't mind Rek'Sai. Yeah. Because, like, the, the Camilla was pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, I would be down with just uh, Rek'Sai, Renata, even. At least, like, Renata against Varos, as they're showing, it's not, like, super strong. Yeah, I mean, but, it, like, it wasn't even strong last time they picked it and they just smurfed. I think they're just too good at the lane. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was also, I think that was also such a massive outcome. Yeah, yeah. Again, that Tobias was draft was from a different year. Oh, 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 Bin wants to win. Oh, oh he's vibing. Damn. Damn, bro, look at him. Damn. Bro, the thing is, like, I've watched so much Bin I can tell his like micro expressions and stuff like you can just tell like his mood bro he's got like he's got a vibe to him Papushka. He's a pretty base Papushka is the one to carry Yeah. Did the nice Camille with Renata ban as well now? It so it's going to be what? Renata ban and what else? Do they go Rex on themselves? One of the best poppies in the LPL if not the world. It's probably going to be Renekton banned from Jack's really good. You can. But it could be right Yeah, it could just be Jack's jungle. Oh, the ban came in anyway. Okay. Yeah, all right. Respect it. Should just come with an alpha house. Yeah, probably Renekton banned here, no? Nico. Nico support ban. Varus Nico support ban. Okay. Setting up Renata. Yeah, Renata's ban. Uh, all three like common line supports are gone. Yeah. Could just end up being like a Blitzcrank or some bullshit. Yeah, but it's kind of blind into Poppy, I think. So just, yeah. I thought they were going to go for the, the previous game when they signed Camille. Camille as well. The Renata towards on, oh, taking blitz. away the combo of Calista. So they had to grab the Jax the priority of that. On Barl. Nah. On Barl. Not versus Zero, I don't think. That Mako could have with the Varus. It's gotta be Rene go Rek'Sai, really. I was gonna say, the they just pick Rek'Sai, even if it doesn't necessarily fit. Bro, don't you just slam Renekton here? Slam Renekton, counter pick, uh, support on five. I'd really like to see Tez save support for last, because you even have some defensive options in there, uh, depending on what BLG do end up going with. So things like the Renekton, again, being a bit higher. Damn. Bro, I feel like that is not the matchup I would want to play into Binjax. This is going to be Binjax here, no? Pick, which I think is huge for how important bot lane's been this series. Is there any real like poppy fucking champions here? Like, I mean, the thing is, the things that, that I like to play into poppy all destroy it, like Udir jungle and shit, destroys poppy. But people just won't ever play like that competitive, they just want to be able to move around. Okay, Jack's jungle, TF top. And I think this is a nice pivot by them. It looked like they were gonna like be out team fought 100%. Alistar? The going. So what the fuck? Hey, pressure, pivoting into having some pick pressure too with the TF. I think it's going to give them oh, a window to have a win condition. I mean, hell, even that That's with the Weaver's Wall, it's... right? There's a lot of opportunity to make plays. I don't like Bard here, though. I think it's a hard Bard game. Like, my God. Rakan? I can fuck with a Rakan. Right, so either you want to pick a useful champ or you want to pick a champ that's good against Poppy. <laughs> yep. They could have gone even further down the rabbit hole, but the TF Talia should be enough. It's not a thresh, is it? God, I love the Rakan. I highlighted it so often for On. Uh, on top of missing being so dominant on it, it feels like On has been uh, <laughs> very, very good with the three. Bro, best of one for MSI. Mobility gives on right here. Homes. That has oh, been an oh, thank God for the fucking format. We're gonna get this matchup so again, bro. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Who knows about JDG? Imagine BLG doesn't go to MSI. Oh, that would be insane. But it's not happening. You know why? BLG is winning this game right here. And I like it too, right? They were considering going between the Heimer. The Heimer gives them more lane dominance. But this gives them more flexibility. Ooh. They have the safety there with the right. lantern, but now also having more oh, gauge opportunities. All right, they let's see it. To a situation where they need to turn. So I think TS in the five v five should be outmatched. Well. BLG. Which one? It is about pulling them apart. Oh yeah, yeah, it's for tomorrow, yeah. Smaller skirmishes earlier yep. on in the game too can work. I think when you have the Rakan 
he wants to just fucking bang Fairy Rexa. So a lot gonna be up to BLG this time around. Yeah, they should they should never try to. I feel like they always like Guma always tries to cope and he like plays some Zeri. Like he's the type of guy that's like, no, I can play Zeri, man. Like why could I not play Zeri? Of course I can play Zeri. Zeri's easy champion, man. It's like, <laughs> like you just suck at Zeri. Just play fucking Varus every time it's up. If it's down, like I like his Ash. He's Ash, Varus, Draven, Kate, 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 Lux. If if you have an opportunity for it. TS needs to beat D Dom's match fix. The kingpin put the fix in. That's all I'm saying. Right now, bro, this guy has been nonstop. This guy wants us to kiss so bad, bro. Look at this. Nah, bro. Yeah, we don't roll like that, bro. Kiss a homie, please. My fanfic. Chat, please help me convince them to kiss. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Oh. Nah, bro. Hell no. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, it's the fix. Ah, oh, it's just a fix. Oh, he. Oh, you don't go so long. Damn. They don't want. I guess it was W. LG looking for that level yeah. one. We've seen them consistently try to find as well as top esports in multiple games. BLG have them been the ones on blue side to always go top. Yeah. It's good to see. Well, I hate this fucking every time. Like random people say, Jackie level for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, like, it's happened like five years ago. Like, yeah. No, 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 bro. It's forever. And in this series, he hasn't played like particularly as well as he can. So. It's just like the only series people watch. He plays like not as insane as he normally is, and suddenly it's just like a whole shit fest about him. I hate him, man. We know BLG's bot lane should be looking for aggressive trades in early four v fours, especially they can contend. Oh, they're swapping. Oh, this is pretty dry, no? Bro, I saw a hundred thieves do this. We are taking a page from the book and BLG wanting okay, so, to make so sure that they get that aggressive Right now, in this moment, according to Double Lift, mm -hmm. okay, they're gonna okay, dive like both and they're gonna be back <laughs> The Scion is coming. <laughs> this match is so late. Yeah, they're missing a lot of melees, bro. Did they miss all of the melees? Oh. I mean, out on Damn, Damn. Out on he's getting there. Early. By the way, in this case, they did it. They did this for Ben. They didn't do, do it for the both because, like, yeah. at least the Rakan don't mind. They don't care. But three six nine got three medics. I think Ben missed them. Who is XP? Yeah. So then the next conversation becomes how do jungles utilize this? Because uh, you can talk about lane swaps all you want, but it's also about really, really match, match so late, so they have losing match up on both sides. Cleanse? Mako. Oh. He hits those. Bro, if I, if it's me, I'm just running in a straight line and flipping it. Maybe see some adaptation in jungle pathing here. Oh, well, actually, the thing we were seeing adaptation was potentially mid because oh. Knight was already oh. hovering oh. over oh. after he pushed out that last wave. I need to get home. Right now with how badly Bro, I, one of my teammates used to call it ideally, Toppy. You could have seen Knight He's like, do you want like do should we go uh like if, if it was gonna be like Poppy support or or Toppy, I'd say, do we want Toppy here or should I play it? And I just I got so cringed out, bro. Hi. Was it, uh, no, Zekin. Yeah, Zekin. Toppy he would call it Toppy, and then he would sing to us, bro. Do he would sing. Better than Zayn's spot. Uh, yeah. Really? No. <laughs> but he would put his all into it, bro. It was an emotional performance every time. And I love the community like, and Schaefer here. They are be constantly pinging over to Elk saying, oh, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Can make it yeah definitely. Nice. He's, he's the goat. He's either. down here still. It looks like they're going to commit okay, to this swap back or Rooney of just keeping... Wait, so what's happening here? In the, uh, uh Rakan is just going to lane with... For now. I mean, let's remember, yeah. right? This is ADTF. I mean, he's... Functionally an AD carry, so it does yeah. make it somewhat a normal 2v2. And I like yeah, having the Kalista top because with, with, it brings uh, us back to 2020 no when the Shy yeah, just would not <laughs> let top play the champion despite hundreds of games <laughs> on his own. Oh, Jackie. That was a red card there. Maybe we want that yellow card to get some CC on Jackie Love. Tian has made his way around. Oh, nice flash for Ben. I think W didn't know. Grand entrance out of there. Really good positioning from BLG's bot side, but some big summoner spells for yeah, it's good. I think is monumental. Sadly, not much you can do after that. Just trying to get the wave in top. On the recon, 
I'm always scared of the Talia players just taking over games like this, though. I feel like Talia is such a cheat code champion. Oh, they're committing. The Q was bad. Oh, big. Mako, man. How good is this guy? Wait, they're like going to win this game. It's horrible. It is a Yeah, so late, Bro, they got just outplayed on the map. The 2v1s are coming back. Mako back and buffing. I mean, basically, also probably. Yeah. An MSI patch is going to have 2v1s. Nice. Highest pressure game. Of them all and it being started off by me surprise riot just lets it lets it go that sucks man they have the patch cycles really this patch was done really for, for two weeks awesome. already <laughs> probably for them was this is the first time getting a wait what is a uh, msi patch 14 8 okay so it's 100 percent lane swaps and everything nice yeah, yeah. they're able to find so much Dude, pressure that's why top yes, are second seed that's why they found a lot of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Against some of our better please teams. just don't make me lane against these guys that replay and exactly how it started off i mean on going to clear out the vision oh. mako just playing nah he's the goat or what can't see great look from him and back, man. i mean he's he's he's, he's like just legitimately the goat though yeah i, I actually think he's also the goat. Really yeah i think so too like especially after this fucking year <laughs> yeah i think was a player who had stagnant times on edg kind of similarly to scowl with how i mean he has everything msi championship multiple domestic world championship and insane longevity over everyone and he's one of the best for a 3v3. in the world right now. Yeah, and he's just actually they just still insane right now. Nice. Going to TN. They do end up getting the trade though. For first I don't know why you'd pick Jax there though. I feel like the Jax pick is really out of place in this game. Like Jax looks so hard to execute. Not too shabby for TS. But I look like a cop. Like we're gonna pick Jax because we don't want the enemy to have Zin's out. And right, this was originally what they were hoping for. Have this pressure on bot. Send the Jax in. Look for the fight. But isn't going to be able to do much with how far forward he's aggressed. We can see on the minimap, on isn't like shadowing in that tribe rush. Like supports okay, typically do to cover the, for the play. But look like at the map holistically, right? Bot lane, yeah. even at this point, it's crazy. Top lane, the Cassante is even because Vin of what, no flash. what happened There's earlier on. They get like first trade. Right. This first lane yeah, is like right now, bro. Oh, he has Ghost, though. So I think Ghost is like so OP. And 369 is going to be a wall in these team fights it's gonna be very so p versus uh Cassante now because he has no slows yeah, just ghost out and there is a lot of walls can't play uh, but I, I think the important part is the execution well also i think bin doesn't want to have points in q he just had to because of like in the way that they could trying to crash the wave in their damage compensation yeah i actually think much higher is we actually get a, a spot of they actually get <sighs> kind of like restabilize the, the lanes now i mean i wonder if they can actually base here though like bot aren't they gonna not be able to crash this wave seems really hard to crash it from my end being able to spot out where everyone is oh my god just walk straight bro that's actually the tech you just walk straight if the cleanse is down same with knight on the weaver's wall Oh, oh my uh, god, what the fuck? Angle is fucking insane, Yo. by the way. <laughs> oh, no way. That's so unlucky, bro. 369 is dead. He can't get over the wall. Rip Bozo. He got E. Oh, man, that was so unlucky, man. That was so unlucky. But why are? I mean, he thought that the guy was not next to the wall. I think it was a fine. I think it was like pretty unlucky, man. He was out because he had no spells, like, was correct. But it was just no, but it looked, like, it looked like it wasn't there. It looked like it wasn't close to the wall, right? Didn't the, didn't the Poppy E him away from the wall? Uh, maybe, like, the timing of when that Cassandra, like, registers. Maybe it was, like, just at when he clipped the wall. So chill like this. ...can present and not necessarily the big focus that we would think for Knight coming into this format. I want to rewatch it. But the mobility, the right, ability the to move back. into these side lanes, oh, oh so important in keeping. Let's do an LCK replay. Replay the whole game from minute one, starting right now. You know, the crazy thing is, I was just watching the minimap too, and Knight that whole time was, you know, doing what you should do, like just playing in fog of war down towards that, that bottom half of the map. But Jackie and Mako didn't care at all. It didn't matter if Knight wasn't showing. They were still hitting turret in that situation, feeling just incredibly confident, having both sums up. I mean, Mako still would have a lantern available, and with Knight not having that Weaver's Wall, it just gives them even more freedom to play out through this 2v2. But our next question is going to be in about 15 Bro, is this really a Lethality Callista game? Just always Lethality Callista, no matter what? They're going to be interesting to try to at least get that five mark. Okay. 
They will have so people don't like this, but like when you go that, the text speed one, <laughs> uh, that, uh, one shot wave in now. Like the text speed one is like there's so many, yesterday. like not, after not every base is now mm -hmm. the you the buy rookie. long swords, you buy lethality, you buy the right sword. Side, the yeah. Yeah. the other ones, like you don't have recipe for What I love about the LPL playoffs so far is that we have seen shades of Yeah, I mean, I think the weird thing is like, right? Like. What well, people say is like, oh, this like Lethality Callista build is is really bad against tanks, but I don't think that like the Bork Callista build is that good at killing tanks. Like, I never feel like if Callista is playing versus a lot of tanks, you actually like can kill them easily. What is this? Okay, bro. That's nice. You know who knows? All right. Maybe IG picked it up from these teams, who then other teams also picked it up to eventually. Holy, it's big too. Look at that ball. <laughs> no, that's too much. Uh, I like it. I agree. We got grubs on the screen anyway. That's Wait, what, what are we learning? Beautiful. It's going to be not all six grubs. That's what I'm learning for BLT. They will be denied that yeah, one. We will push so back to them. Like we're going to get the full on split there. There is a dragon in 45 seconds, but top esports are going to be in prime position to contest that like, one. The scaling wise, I feel like. And now, uh, I mean, you have first item coming out for Ben. Static sheet picked up. Scaling. Destiny. Yeah. I think Talia is like. So just so broken in every game I see it. Like, I, I don't know, like, if t does Talia just outscale everything? It just seems so OP later on. Bro, this guy said, just noticed Yamato is there in person. Bro, how did you just, how did you just notice it now, man? <laughs> the way he said it made it sound like he was watching the stream for a while and he just actually figured it out. Oh, good flash from Mako, man. That was not that easy. And you can see, Bin doing exactly what we were talking about. Leaning down in river, just in case anything did break through. But that's fine. They're good. Back on midway. It seems like they were able to just push TS away. TS do answer in midway, which kind of pulls BLG away from the Drake, and both teams still just sticking to this side of the map. Yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit of a shield for his bot lane and Jackie Love and Mako. Looks like things will go a little bit more quietly. And yep. that's oh, I like this. I when like, you know I like the that the pressure and the weight He's of this series and... is heavy. When He's teams that have been fighting two yeah. and nail for the first 10 minutes in a game, Night have a, two kills. I, I mean, I think. BLG just yeah, give it here? I think they should give it and maybe try to make a play top cross map. I mean, they don't look strong enough to fight. Oh! oh they're okay. I don't know. I feel like Talia on one item is just like, I mean, or not even on an item, but like Talia here is so weak. Yeah, this is, I think this is really bad from BLG. I think they should lose this. Wow. On saved his ass. Okay. Elk is dead. Is on dead too? No, he's fine, I think. Uh, maybe. 369 is looking for him. He's got W soon, though, I think. Yeah. On saved that guy so hard, man. Yeah. They're making it so, um, at least I think what I read was that they're making it so you get the void grubs earlier like the um void mites yeah like yeah yeah one, one, two, one, four, five, six. yeah maybe it's like one is it one one two is that what they said I think okay wow. i'm guessing that at least would make sense it's like three void grubs on six <laughs> yeah <laughs> or two on five i think in the bin basket a lot of hope for that when it was the jacks we thought but even more so on the tf We've seen Flandre literally destroy games by himself no, on this pick. This kind of and Ben's gonna have to be big here. Mako the Jacks and Talia went for the war, exactly. so he definitely another, did not another Mako moment yeah. in this game, right? Talia Earlier, the pick and bot was him. This time, yep. forcing the Jacks away. And then I mean, on literally just saved Shun. He R flash W's in and just to get the heal off on Shun and save his life. Idea. You could tell, especially when they went, they went for the lane swap of sending Karina up top so that they were not gonna let this trade go. No, they're racing. 
very tight knit stuff. Elk just trying to find the angle they get with that flash there. Full turret for Ben. Ben is going to be really strong. The pressure on this top side he as Ben will take know. their turret. Yep. So this will be first turret of the game to BLG. Got the last plate too. And it's actually really big money for them. A couple plates for turn, but that was all five in the top side before 14 minutes as well. Still though, look at Bot. Man. I mean, yeah. we're down to two a second ago. I think that he should go like. The icon. I mean, this is like a Kraken game, no? Yeah, yeah, right. Fire Kraken. So the goal people really always go storm raise around three they love it blg right now but they'll take anything that they the only get. one i saw i think was zeus he did that's what uh, i want to talk about uh, a little bit more so into Ginju so oh consistently just been looking for picks TN? speaking of they just completely oh, oh tn 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 no mako standing there with his friend in his hand i don't know why he goes here like there's no way the camps are up yeah, and also yeah. this is not in the end nice by blg you said they were constantly looking for picks that's what they need to do cleanse from elk this is the middle you need to but oh, uh, the back and forth is there. But Rift Herald now going to be pick, picked up for BLG. They're they're playing a composition that that wants to be keeping that tempo high and kind of uh, making TS play catch up. And yeah. hopefully the Herald can be a catalyst to do more of that because right now it really feels like yeah, they get Herald the here. Be in the solo lane basket, which you know for Knight. <laughs> Leandre's void going to come in from Knight. Series right MVP of the league. And for Ben, it's quite nice because it has been super well too. 160 at 15. See him hopefully step up on this TF and take over. Bro, I, I swear every Talia is just so yeah. ahead all the time. Like this champion just has no counterplay to its laning. Oh, okay. They're going for cream. They have like shun dive it. Like what's the play here? Uh, I guess they're just leaving. Like a bunch of sharks. They do have. On the way. No TF ult then. I guess it was a decent time to look. He should have it have up soon for Drake. Probably not, but they can look for a play during it. A game late, but they have to make it there. No flash so on Elk. Might just be the case. Good E. A little bit of gold in their pocket. Shoved back by Knight. I think top esports are perfectly fine with it being a much more even. Goes back top here. Oh, exactly. I, I think they are perfectly content with, with where they've ended up. Yeah. This is where we'll really start to see cool BLG goal? able to ramp up. Do they have rapid fire? I mean, I think if they have rapid fire this they, for this, they can maybe fish. You can just play from range. I love BLG position around bot. You're pulling you top esports to cover for cream, yourself. which then allows a small opening of where Knight can look for the angle and make sure it didn't end up turning into anything. But it, yeah. it's those like pushing yeah, but he gets an extra that, six uh, gold dominion, so who knows? Help BLG get the picks that they need. Full <laughs> TS down to one increase. lane. You yeah. see another member somewhere else. Weaver's wall, Destiny again. You have the tools to make it work. But now Jackula can, can actually make it to his second item, Edge of Night, mm -hmm. in pocket. All right, Edge of Night. Really big. And uh, BLG, they still do have the Rift Herald available for them as well. It looks like he must have it. No, Ben just based right here. Or is he just going to base to do something else? And I think that's where we can kind of bring back in the conversation. Oh, he has it. Holy fuck. Okay. A single yeah. team deciding if you go to MSI for the first like time Dorans. for top esports, but also for cream. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense to sell Dorans, I guess. Finals for the first time in his yeah, career in LPL fun. would be huge. I would go like to BLG setting moves records moves two moves splits in a row. Trying to maintain that dominance. He just wants max damage or something. Yeah, and he also just hammering home that whoever loses yeah, is not done. The you know, they get another chance to yeah. hope. Yeah, they can <laughs> just enter for free. Uh, yeah, they will still have the opportunity to go face JNG, but now it's all about the straight. No destiny available. Yeah, um, bro, I'm telling you, this so this is the bush that LPL loves, bro. This bush is like everything to LPL teams. No one cares about this bush. Oh, oh, oh my God! Close ult. On. On is a fucking monster, bro. <laughs> Instantly saved his mid laner. All right, they're giving it for sure. Go top. Should he just ulti to the top here? Or are they ulting to? Wow, they're gonna ulti to contest. Break them off to, and then take like this? I don't know. Not cutting them off though. I love the top is not like all hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Again, trying to find a trade. They really should be able to answer you might someone i'd be making it yeah i mean they cover their play he did have to blow his flash in the last change. okay nice top so esports will just be able to get out of there just fine and sure the turret isn't necessarily down yet but you know anytime a wave comes blg will be able to finish this one off get that little bit of gold and even potentially start poking and prodding into the enemy jungle 
another death sentence lands and the flay on top of that one. I'm getting oh. his, his grand entrance out of that one. We did get second. They're gonna dive this. For Looks like they're looking for it. On a flank. Maybe TFO to break the thing. No, no more. Waiting for the turret to go down, but he pulls his card out early. The thing about Edge of Night is like it's like almost false sense of security versus TF because like they just look at you and then they just as soon as Rakan's going they just call the TF ult and they just break it instantly and just snap your neck. I don't know who it was yesterday. Was it uh, JDG? Yeah, yeah. The combo it under the turret. Yep. Fucked up. Yep. Pro on is just a hero or what? By Elk to be able to get away there. Elk also took a bunch of damage uh, getting up that close, trying to dish out some of his own. And you know, I went and I checked the. I mean, ben is not, uh. Okay. Yeah, he has not played much TF, yeah. so I don't know how, like, good he's going to be at it. Is this his first TF game? I can't even remember another TF game. Like, maybe he played it and it just, like, wasn't a factor in the game. I don't think he played in any, like, really big games. I don't know. Yeah. Really, really be the one delivery for TS. He has been the shot caller. I mean, I've been, been generally had like a very forgettable like split. Past, yep. Or EDG. The victim of how good and it's, it's been. It's been a, so. a wonderful yep. split. So now, what I was him. saying is just like, they just think the top lane is not that strong right now, so they just don't play through top. Like, they don't think his champions are super OP. I don't think they would have a problem with Jax coming back in. Yeah, yeah. Billy as well as I can talk about how to play with some support AD. They fuck you up. You gotta be really careful on mid here, by the way. Which has yes. been one of his big picks throughout his career. Hasn't been able to find any huge, you know, impact play yet. But still, BLG are 2k gold. Gotta be really careful so on mid there, when you're doing this. Is, you look at the state of the map. Really Dark Love does have cleanse, though. Control. Even Knight is actually going to cry. That cream is really pushing in. Weaver's yep. still there, and he's constantly hovering. But just no this is his first TF game, Shocker says. Yeah. God, it's. I love that Nymera brought this up. I mean, Kalista can kill Thresh, Cassante, Poppy. I mean, it's not about that. Like, the, like Bin actually will have damage to kill Frontline later on. Like, Knight does damage to Frontline, too, once he has Void. You think you should go Crypt Loom this game, or you think he just goes Void? I don't know how fast the game will be. Like, he just needs to be ready for Elder with the item. Yeah. Shadowing the TF, trying to open the up this last it matters, turret. Is Resix on Tien? Actually, want to scrap? Like you Red buff is fucking damage. popping off. Some yep. from three, six, Can they get turret? The top can get turret? TPing for it. I'm just seeing Zazen does not stay. Wave is too far away. Yeah. Again, they just try to Staying now, I guess TF is just going to go top. top e they are fine TF, and TF will just go top out of base. For this next dragon to spawn and they have yes, the oh, he's going Terminus. I don't like that, man. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like it that much Actually, either. Is, is Terminus OP on TF, though? Because you do, like, both types of damage. I wouldn't say so, no. still like 30%. Yeah. Not going to that TP to rely on now. Bin. The oh. Oh. Stack. Okay. oh. Nice. No. He has a. Uh, he has. Seraph so. Oh, oh. On us here. Action back to him. Ons now here. Enter another. Oh, run out. As BLG approach with three under the sun. Oh man, they're just gonna win the game off this. Oh. Do they start Baron here? BLG who use it to their advantage, taking two. Are they just gonna start Baron? Or do they play to the nice wall? It looks like they're just doing Baron. They have Kalista. They they're actually a team that that values the Kalista smite thing. I've noticed. They're pulling a play out of top of here, here. Is Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty flip, bro. It's pretty flip. TN, Poppy ult. But Tian always misses these, bro. Flash ult. Tian always misses these. Oh, he missed it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. He didn't even spite. He didn't spite. Oh, he always misses that though, bro. He always. I told you, bro. He always misses that. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, bro. He's crazy for not our flashing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Flashing. Yeah. That's crazy. Gonna be able to generate pressure that was an insane play from BLG. Trying to go for the recall, Just win the game like that, man. Just dry off this. Wait, you know what's so fucked up? Knight blocked on, so on had to W over the wall. That's why he had to flash here. When he goes here, he has no he has no W because he W'd over the wall, bro. He had to, he's like, bro, but I love that. I've noticed that about like LPL players. Like, if something like this happens, it's like they just go no matter what. They're like, oh, I just have to flash this wall, or I have to just W this wall. Then, like, it is what it is. It's not even like they think or they consider or whatever. Bro, I think you just don't care about this Drake that much.
clutch, do you? I don't think it's worth losing the game. I think you just go mid. Yeah, it seems really hard to enter. Oh, nice. Yeah. I mean, on is like, he's trying to just cue the Drake. He's like, please give me some HP. Okay. Now they're trying nice to get in. just trying to deny entry in from Tribrush. But it's so oh my intense. god, it takes so much damage. Oh. Oh. That's such a good wall, man. Oh, oh. Like oh. It's it's so dude, they're play they're just not playing them. Out of nowhere, bro. Look at the gold lead. Out of nowhere. That's crazy. Make sure that they didn't. Bro, what a fucking series, bro. What a series. Yeah, it looked really sketchy, man. That, it takes balls, man. It takes balls to make yeah, that top yeah. play, like. Because I feel like, um, really start ramping up just the way that, that teams play in LCS and LEC, they would just, you just always come down. Like maybe G2 could do, would think about like risking this, but almost everyone's just playing around the soul, right? They're like, yeah, we just like, why would we make a play right now? We could lose soul off of it. Terminus completed. What does he go now? Three sets gonna be able to come through. TF Still gotta be cracking, no? Or does he just go like, go like Ginsu or some bullshit? Like, what does he go? Longer, so we'll see if BLG really yeah, have the ability to okay. use it with where the map states right now. I think really he's gonna be able to get too much more. Yeah. I think they should be feel, be feel like. I think Terminus is about Ginsu. We saw Ben be able to pick up his turn off the last base. Yeah. Even take some more components in there right now. Well, it's it's three times now, no? Something three six nine can't deal with. Look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. One, oh, one and a half, so almost two. Okay. Oh, no, right now. Oh, GG. Such a disparity in that fact, but also uh, no slouch to damage, no slouch to backline access. Shouldn't on oh, this Jax is gonna start being a problem, and I think there's a reason why Jax had been banned out. In the Ooh, phase, like looking for this onto three six nine. Pretty good play. Looking on the side lane for three six nine. They'll set up some. W or no, he didn't W yet. Them out. That turn is going to start doing some work as that armor is doing. They're going for. Oh my God, bro! What is T? Dude, TF is so broken, man. You see the fucking once the terminus got stacked there. How much damage it started doing? Holy fuck! That was crazy. Dude, Bin just murdered him with Terminus. He just murdered 369 with Terminus. Just fucking, like, it was him and on. They just made a two-man play. Once that shit stacked up, it just fucking one-shot him, bro. Like, it was crazy. Bin is so racist. Let's fucking go. Okay, bro. Jesus. Thank God there's 10 Chinese players in this game. Like, or else we'd be fighting allegations. Okay. Knight walled them. Ah, uh, this is like kind of a shitty wall though, I think. He should have just been hitting mid, no? Oh! Oh, he got hooked? Oh, Cream? Oh my god, Knight is not dead yet? Bro, how is Knight not dead? Oh! Oh, they, oh my god, and Jonah's just going under the turret, he just doesn't give a fuck. The TF is going too, what the hell? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought he just, I thought he poured it under the turret, okay. Do you see Shun though? Shun just sent it, bro. He just flashed. Fucking Houdini, man. God damn. Kraken, man. Coming through, bro. He's got a one shot. Bro, what are you eating? Oh, you got one from the thing? Yeah. Get this and tell you. Those are like three years old, bro. Okay, bro. All right. If you say they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like three years old, bro. Nice. <laughs> they smell like crayons, man. If you open and you smell it, it smells like crayons, bro. It tastes like apple. It's supposed to be mint, but it tastes like apple. Yeah. Bro, look at Shun here. <laughs> he just doesn't give a fuck. Look, he's just like flashing this on the turn. Like, what the hell? All right, bro. I guess. Could then follow up on it and finish it off. So. Yeah, but he he ate a like a uh, cough drop or whatever. Last him auto stream? Nah, bro, his stream will stay on no matter what. Like if he dies, his stream will never turn off. So it actually, I guess, technically would be your last stream. It just would be a never-ending stream. Oh, Yamato Cannon Raid came in. Hey, Yamato, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you for the. I hope the raid. Good stream. Yep. Side. Hope you had a fucking sick stream, bro. Shout out to the chair. Shout out to the chair. Uncomfortable as fuck. Shout out to the batteryless door. BLG are in the driver's seat. They have all the decision making power right now. It would be crazy if this just came down to like 
Like level 14. Another Baron or no. Dragon yes. no. Because it looks like DS at least getting the vision. Ah, uh, this, this TF. Look at the items on the TF, man. Look at him. He looks like he's played a different game than everyone else. That TF is better. TF is so fucking stupid, bro. I can't believe it was more OP than this. And then Riot said, when it was more OP than this, Riot said, we don't think AD TF is out of line. <laughs> you fucking serious, man? Oh, clean from, from Knight. Oh, that's just a free kill. QSS. Or uh, Mikhail's, I mean. That's my owl. Bro, everyone says that. <laughs> yeah, they're just lying to me. It's like double lift. It is just scale potential. It was all lying. How is lane swapping? Nah, they can't do anything with this. That's the turn for relax, bro. Just send the TF bot, no? Doesn't TF just go bot here? He can just murder that wave. I mean, I guess it's already slow pushing out. Yeah. I mean, I guess they get glo enemy enemy global red is actually so OP when you have TF. Mm. Like how OP is red here with their comp? But parasite chatting. Yeah, I'm a parasite. I am parasitic. Did you see Thornton's tweet on that? No. He's like, he's like the real parasite is the guy who undermined the entire fucking walkout for selfish reasons on his stream and fucked over tons of pro players. Something to that effect. Almost on these full item spikes for Bin, which is just insanity. They will just start up the Baron right now and force top esports out. I don't have the energy for that, man. Yeah, man was given so much time, free time, free time in that top lane by himself. Him. He is a huge yeah. right Bro, I'm in wars like pretty frequently, but like. Exactly where TSR What's happening here? Sure What's happening here? Tien? Okay, okay, they learned, oh, they oh, okay, hey, Tien. Tien. Oh, Tien. He's in the he got oh, Azir got it. Oh. Azir got it. Do they win the fight, though? Bin? 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 Bin is he's opening up, he's opening up. He is ult, he is ult. Is he gonna go behind on Jackalib maybe? Where is he? He's just going straight, he's just walking in. He's not gonna... Oh, he does way too much damage, man. Yeah. Do they, do they try to like get mid? I guess they just take mid and him, no? Bro, Azir got it. So far we've had Azir get it once and Talia get it once. Mid lane is balanced, nice. Then BLG, I think they're coming out of that a lot. Uh, Bin used both sums there, though. BLG will be able to get another turn off of this, but they really can't think about overstaying. Oh, I see. Oh, my. <laughs> that was one shot, Oh! 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 Hey! Including the fence? Oh, he got it's, it's an empowered one. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the fleet. Bro, how broken is And then he uses the plan for the move speed. Uh, and he could just walk up and just mm, yeah, yeah, him. Bro, so no, 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 uh, no barons. Zero barons. Lasting damage. I might go. Bro, that was a slow W2 from Knight. He just flashed forward and just like walked at him. <laughs> Looked stiff as fuck, bro. He like paused for a second, bro. Misstep away from being knocked into yeah. the lower bracket. <laughs> Dude, the TN combination is crazy, bro. Oh my god, the TN combination is something else. Honestly, Inspire is so right about mid. Like, mid, you, you can't be vegan, bro. You need to yeah. fucking get these the channels for OP. Like, every yeah. champ can do a million things. Yeah, bro. Oh, nice from Bin. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I didn't even realize he did that. That's a Taylor Swift flight. Wait, the game was maybe over if he ulted correctly? Did he just click the minimap? He must have clicked the minimap, bro. He actually just griefed so fucking hard. And he's gonna have his Zanyas now, too. Nice. I mean, the good thing is that at least AP scalings don't belong to TF as well. So if he buys his Zanyas, it's completely useless. And the longer it goes, right, we already have people like Ben at full build. So we're gonna get closer to Jackie Love Cream 369. Taylor Swift, man. Ain't no way. A real threat, as we can see. Ben, not exactly there yet, sitting on the Seekers, but incredibly close. Buying a little bit of time, taking scraps where you can take them.
Yeah. Every little bit gets you Buff AD, bro. Fighting position. Buff AD. I built it's full lethality into Poppy Thresh Cassante, and I can't carry the game. Oh, and their mid laner's going full tank too. To that well three times in a row, and I mean, low key. I can't be the main character. Then. Oh, you got lucky. Yeah. Got Twelve. To find out. Maybe no, what I was gonna say is like, I think the biggest thing for top uh, esports is they're getting outclassed you know, they could be, they could uh, be mid jungle this series. Of, you know, mm -hmm. Other types or of better, you know, drinks that, that make you feel really good. Get a cola good, well be... for the LPL, please. Uh. But, Mizell, that actually doesn't matter. The well is not important right now mm -hmm. because we're 20 seconds away from another Drake. BLG already have full control. Zanya's completed, bro. I don't know, man. Four items on the Varus. I do gotta say, Cream is pretty much gone, like, like the full tank uh, Azir yeah. build. So not gonna be outputting the same amount of damage. They have as, global you know, red and global blue. Azir would, but still, if the fight goes long enough, you know he's gonna be no flash though. The now with the stream of they can go bot. They can leverage bot here. Bin can yeah, pressure bot. Going. Yeah, they, they don't need to do anything. Yes. They're gonna start up the dragon. Bin can okay. maybe do some so, crazy endings. They have a yeah. all and like fucking buy time. Oh, they want, maybe they, they get cream. Maybe they get cream. Yeah, fighting, man. I think. I think they're just fighting so we can end. I think they're trying to end. I think the idea is you're ending. I think. I think the idea is end. They're fighting so the end can come through. Oh, yeah, it's over. I think. Wait, is it? You can TP on the second turret. Too late. Too late, no. Oh! 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 oh. Damn! What a series, bro! What a fucking series! Damn, that was fun, bro! I love the LPL. I don't know. People say like, people are like, dude, you're so LPL. How could you not love the LPL, man? My LPL is really fucking. How how could you not love the LPL, man? I just don't get it. It's just so good. It's like fucking cinema. It is just like that is a series that I showed up for today, bro. Five hours, complete banger, went all the way. Like most of the games were close to. Got to see outplays, got to see different strategies. Like almost every single game actually had different strategy. Fucking cinema right there. We're gonna get it again, bro. We're gonna get yep. it again. Yeah. Or worse, like even there's a case in JDG against Billy would be hype as fuck too. Yeah. Like, the bracket is fucking. Thank God that shit hit, bro. Thank God that shit hit. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? And what a series. Cream no way we don't see a night trophy best of five, right? Of course, bro. I'm curious though. JDG against fucking just. Uh, oh, nice. Like draft wise, you know? Because they played against Ari Varos three games straight. Yeah. Like Cream was not the same player today without. Yeah. And without, and like Varus was, was, was a big deal. Jackal have played it really well. Yeah. yeah. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm not as out on JD. Like, I think JDG is definitely underdogs, but people think it's like a rap. I don't know if it's just a rap rap. Their prep was just garbage in that series, I think. Yeah. Alright, bro. We start our day. Alright, man. Okay. Alright, chat. We're done. We're done here. We we came and we watched LPL. Just LPL hard as fuck, bro. LPL was LPLing today. You know how it goes. So, today, so I'm off the rest of the day, not doing any more content. Yamato, me, Gilius, and Rachel, we're all going to just go out. We're going to go hang out. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm just taking the full day off. That's Yamato's last day here. Um, so, we're just going to spend that doing random shit. And then I'll be back on Saturday, Sunday. Super weekend. For the super weekend. Yep. So, that's the plan. As well as thank you all. Uh, Alright, that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Here, uh, to cast this five game series. Lyric, it has been a pleasure uh, to cast with you this split. We're going to send it over to the LPL Lounge to round us out. See you there. Welcome to the LPL Lounge. Thank you so much, Mazel and Lyric. Oh, nice. Absolutely. But you know who is making content? Thorin says, don't worry, I have a vid coming where I collate and link to everything and Giga Stomp, Doublelift, and Reddit. Oh, Thorin banger, bro. Nah, don't fuck with Thorin, man. Don't fuck with Thorin. He's, he's making the video. Look what he just sent me, bro. Look at what Thorin just sent me. Thorin video coming, bro. Thorin video coming. All right, guys, I'm out. I'll see you guys later. See you guys on Saturday. Peace, peace, peace.